And the wheel turns once again. Welcome in, Furbogs, Namidians, that last Parthenonan. I know you're out there somewhere. And yes, even you humans, welcome to another Dominion stream. I hope everyone's had a, a good week. I've had a pretty good one myself. I've uh, been super looking forward to this stream. I've uh, been doing some <laughs> way more than normal pretender testing, trying to see if there was something I was missing about a heavy bless or what else was going on. We'll uh, chit chat here for a minute or two just to give people a second to hop on in and let me see if I can get some feedback on the music volume and my volume, if everything's sounding good. How's everyone been doing? I see I got uh, Joshua in here. Welcome, welcome. I was just reading your comment you left. Uh, yes is the short answer to that. I'll, I'll respond later. Oh man, it has been it has been a uh, interesting time with Formoria. I really, really want them to take a bless, and I just don't like the blesses on this nation. Uh, I am a sucker for blesses, though, so anything I can do to make them work, I really try. Bruh, welcome, welcome. Good to see you made it. Hope you didn't have to get up too early today. Wazarus, thank you for the sound feedback. Always appreciated. I am traumatized by my uh, sound issues from my Yomi stream, so I'm still working on getting over that. Working on getting over that. I'm looking forward to my, my plan is the first upgrade I'd like to get for the videos and the stream is an actual standalone mic. I'm using a gaming headset right now. Uh, it makes me sound extra like Kermit the Frog than I normally do, so I'm, I'm hoping that a higher quality mic will improve things for everybody. All right, I'm seeing people filtering in, and I'm seeing chat going, so we'll get started here in a sec. Let me pop this uh, chat out, make it a little easier on myself. Another nice upgrade would be a, I have a, a non-widescreen second monitor, and normally I just throw a video on there while I'm gaming or something, and it's no big deal. Let me tell you, when you stream, you could have five monitors, and you'd probably find something to put on them. So looking forward to maybe being able to do that in the future. Welcome, Trip. Good to see you. Uh, Trip says, honestly, kind of shocking to me there aren't more people doing Dom 6 content. Even from the usual suspects. I think that Dom 5 had a much bigger niche on YouTube fairly quickly. Wonder why. Um, yeah, I'm a little surprised myself. Um, we're seeing some new names, though. Um, there's a couple of people putting out some really high quality, uh, in-depth testing that I wish I had the time an inclination to do but I just this is kind of my busy season at work for the next couple months and just just preparing my my video and stream is taking up a lot of the time so I'm, I'm not able to do that but there's there's several guys putting out some great stuff make sure you just do a Dom 6 search and sort by newest and just kind of check out some of the new names but yeah I'm hoping that some of the older crowd comes back too I, I greatly enjoyed their content for years so hopefully we'll see them back too I know that for me my you know, I say my channel blew up. I'm <laughs> almost to 500 subscribers. Don't forget to like and subscribe. But yeah, some of those other channels are, are really big. And I have to imagine that people are hungry for the content. I mean, otherwise you wouldn't be watching me here. So yeah, hopefully it continues to grow. You know, Dominions has a long life cycle. You know, it's not a flash in the pan type game. So, and I think we've seen more people enter the series than ever before. And I think as, you know, time goes on and they play a little more, maybe they want to look up a guide or something, we'll see that that grow a bit more. I know Steam forums for Dominions has been pretty popping, so that's also good to see. Seeing some new names tonight, I love to see that, love to see that. Okay, let's get to this. I want to get going right away because I want to look at some pretenders before we actually start a little bit so as as it says on the tin we are going with Formoria the cursed ones um none of my opinions particularly about the nation have changed since the video on Monday other than just the discussion around blesses and scales so let's actually back out of where I had us here and let's view created pretenders so this is not the full body of <laughs> research but these are the ones that survived long enough that i was thinking about them and 
yeah, there's there's a lot of nuance here, and I think you definitely could, especially in single player. I think in single player you can almost do whatever you want and make a nation work, but I think especially for Formoria, you could definitely say a bless can work in single player. Um, I messed around with larger, and it was interesting. I'm very interested in the mechanic that they added in Dom 6, where if you are four sizes larger than another friendly unit, you can push your way through that unit. So if you give large bless to your unmarked, they can push their way to the front of your melee line and do something. Now the problem I'm having is what are they going to do? Because large isn't exactly a super cheap bless. You could go regen and then they just kind of stand there and make your front line probably less killy because you're going from three attacks down to two. Uh, you could go fire shield, which is kind of my go-to for giants that have trouble killing things is like regen and fire shield and let other people just kill themselves on you. But eh, I, I just wasn't impressed by it, especially because for our giants, at least they're cap only. So you're never going to have a billion of them. The fire shield does have the bonus that it's pretty good on your kings. If you want to go with thug super combatant type things, fire shield is always appreciated there. And we don't have native access to that. Unlike, say, the, the Dione that we did. And that was a pretty key spell in the super combatant builds that we were doing on, on Yomi. So I think that's a contender there. Uh, some other people had some other kind of interesting blesses, but I think what we're going to go with tonight is Formorian Sun. And this came out of a comment. Um, I'm sorry, I should have written your name down, but somebody commented that awe would be pretty useful. And I, I definitely agree. It's good on our super combatants. It's good on our main battle casters. You know, if somebody jumps on them, having awe can buy you a couple rounds for something to save you. Or they're decent uh, casters. They'll probably do a melee lightning spell. And so that would help them there. And I also wanted to stick with the three times shock resistance. Because that gives our sacred units at least 15 shock resistance. So when we're spamming lightning spells or possibly even getting to battlefield wide lightning, we're not going to zap ourselves out instantly. Uh, this guy also, it basically came down, this was the cheapest chassis I could get this on. So that, that is why he was picked more than anything else. He has Inspiring Researcher. It's there. I mean, maybe uh, he's mobile. So if we want to do a Dance of the Morgans thing, it's very handy to have your god there to auto bless your Morgans. And this blessing actually does really well on the Morgans. I did take one test game up to summon some to test it. Morgans have such high defense that adding awe onto that really makes them survivable. Plus they have the life draining Morgan Spear. Plus, having the shock resist, since they come from all over and they just kind of go wherever, there's a lot of friendly fire if you've got a lot of lightning flinging around, and so that just helped them there. Uh, this guy also brings some magic diversity that we don't normally have. I went with three fire so that we could get fire spirits if we go up that high in conjuration and maybe have the availability to do a, a surprise flaming arrow. Could, could happen. We can do some... Uh, it used to be called Crystal Gear. It's something else now. But the, the Earth Astral Cross Path boosters, this guy has it available. I also wanted the ability to do the new Glamour spell where you can project yourself into a combat without actually being there. I have not tested that yet, but this guy is capable of casting that. Uh, we're very close. We're just Earth Boots away from being able to do Riches from Below, which would be very handy for us because we're going to be resource um, capped in our capital, most likely. Now, to pay for this, I had to take a lot weaker scales than what I would like, but I kept it at two production because I do feel like that is our limiting factor in our capital. Those Namidian soldiers are just so good that being able to get those out, I feel, is, is just, it's too good. Unless you're going with a, a super bless that you found that works, I feel like this is the way to go. Uh, otherwise, Sight searching also is really handy on this guy. Um, I wish I could have gotten maybe a little bit of nature or a little bit of death so I could ease off having to have other people search too, but you know, 
you're, you're limited by your point buy. So, yeah, I think we're going to have fun with this guy. Let's see. Love this nation. I think it's three sizes, not four. Um, I will have to double check that, Joshua. I, I very well could be wrong. You know, I always say streaming takes 30% of my IQ just off the top. So I'm working from a handicap here. Um, I, I thought it was four larger, but if I'm wrong, then that makes them much better. Much better. Maybe we can test that even in this game. We can just throw a size six guy behind the line at some point and see if he can shove his way forward. Um, when it works, because I did test it, it is pretty nice. Because the other problem is, if you do a line formation of giants out front, you don't want your giants really taking a cav charge or the initial just hit of damage. You'd really prefer somebody else takes that initial hit and then they join the combat. So it's hard to get them in place properly uh, if, they, if they have to start in the front. I've seen humans pushed by size 6 giants in a lucid stream. I'll take your word for it then. Then I still would maintain that size seven's good because... That gives you full size 10 used in your square. You're not at 6 plus 3. But that does take some of the pressure off of needing to go with the larger size. Bruh says bring vengeance for our cow god. I'm not sure why Formorians would care. But yeah, I think we can add them in since I forgot last week. Craig saying the same thing. Okay, well, I'm, I'm happy to be wrong about that because that helps chariots too. Um, I don't know if anyone caught that, but next week will be early era Arcasophale. And if their chariots can push to the front, that makes them a lot better than if they can't push to the front. So I'm happy to hear that and glad I'm mistaken. Okay, let's actually get in game. We've been chit chatting here for a while. All right, we are going to stick with our standard donut. I've been trying to do circle cave, thinking that maybe part of the problem with the cave entrance spawning on the donut is like a mishmash of like what's above other parts. But I haven't had any better luck, honestly, with donut. So I don't know, maybe this will be 20th time the charm, but I almost feel like I need to post on the forum that there's a bug because what happens in every one of these games is all the entrances to the underworld seem to spawn in like one quarter of the donut rather than what you would expect, which would be kind of spaced around. So we'll see. We'll see how it is. So this is going to be EA for Moria spelled correctly. Hopefully stream. Hopefully we will not hit a stream two like we had to do with Ur. Early era. We're actually going to add one extra player here. Um, I found that that helps make the donut a little healthier, so you don't have quite the choke out points that sometimes it can spawn with, especially if it randoms into a ton of underground nations. I had a game where I think there were only three of us above ground, and the, the donut was very thin. There was a lot of choke pointiness to it, so that keeps it a little healthier. We are, of course, going to go for Moria, and as requested, we will add those jerks, fire giants, and we'll see what we can do to them. Hopefully we don't have a uh, repeat of Ur <laughs> happening there. Otherwise, we're going to stick with our standard settings here. For Moria, uh, if you haven't checked out the preview video after the stream's over, if you're feeling like another hour of babble, you can definitely uh, check that out. I thought it went pretty well and was pretty interesting. Here we are going to load in our Formorian Sun, as we checked out before. Do note that uh, one thing if you're a new player and you're playing around with Turmoil Order uh, scales, note how it adds a lot of events. So if you go with lots of Turmoil and lots of Misfortune, it can be pretty painful. It can be pretty painful. So when you're looking at what to dump for scales, just keep that in mind. And conversely, if you up turmoil to high order, it kind of counteracts having a little bit of misfortune because you'll just have less events in general. Just random thought I had while doing tests. All right, for Morian Sun, let's see what you got. We're going to remember to turn on renaming. I am going to put on minor story events. I had a 
pure misery one the other day where it spawned this like roving band of barbarians that conquered my cap circle. It was literally game over from a random event. That was not too fun. So hopefully we don't get that one. We're going to stick with our eight points. However, because we've added the extra nation, I've been going up to 10 thrones. I found that with only eight, sometimes you don't get very many on one corner of the map. It's just like a dead zone. So hopefully this will keep it a little, little more interesting, a little more spaced out there. Let's double check chat before we gin up our map here. Of the new eight, uh, Trip says, of the new nations they added, which is your favorite so far? The Sinocephal nation seems pretty fun. They went pretty crazy cannibal blood dogs to snooty democracy dogs with shiny armor. Um, confession, I actually have not played a single one of the new nations. Not, not because they're not interesting and not because I don't think they're cool, but I just haven't had time. Like, the game has 102 nations. Like, it, it boggles my mind as as somebody who's played, like, I'm going to pick on Total War here, Total War Warhammer. Uh, it's got quite a few factions now, but I would say that they play more similarly than a lot of these nations do. And I had to pay like 20 bucks for some of those. So, yeah, um, I think those guys look really interesting. And while I'm not sure how good they are, the new cavemen guys... Um, the name escapes me at the moment, but they, they're EA, and then as they roll forward, I find interesting. Um, I don't know how good they are, though. But that never stops me. My One of my favorite nations is Agartha, so that tells you about where I land. All right, let's go ahead and roll that and get that rolled up here. Pyrene, thank you. Yeah. I do find it really interesting that we've got some more um, splinter successor nations coming out of... Uh, a middle age into a late age, just like we had lots coming out of Ermor. Now we've got some coming out of End, which I thought was a really cool nation, too. There's a nation that you have to think really hard about your bless on. You definitely, definitely need to rely on that. Trip says, I think Pyrene is based on Basque myth. Uh, if their name is a play on Pyrenees. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I know very little about Basque myth. Um, I know a bit about the culture. My godfather was actually Basque. And yeah, it's very interesting. It's such a unique culture in its area. And, you know, how that popped up and, and stayed so distinct for so long is, is very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Let's actually get in here. The wheel's turning once again. All right, I already like our start. <laughs> we have more than one way out. That's a good sign. All right, I'm actually going to turn on Dominion Candles and Impassable Borders, but I've actually kind of weaned myself off of Income Box because I feel like it makes the map a little harder to read. And with Stream already being a little iffy, especially if you're on mobile, that's just adding a lot more clutter to it. Let me know if you find that useful. I mean, I can definitely turn it back on, but I do feel like turning on candles for yourself is a very good habit to be in, especially if you're ever playing on doing some multiplayer so you don't oops yourself and get Dom killed because you're not paying attention to candles. All right, so right away I'm seeing a possible second uh, fortress right here. If we could rush this and get a super early one, that would be pretty sweet. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to be pretty low on resources here. We didn't end up with any resource bonuses in our capital. So that is a downside. We are going to set up our scout. We're going to set up our leadership here. I am going to go a little greedy. Um, I was playing earlier today just to make sure I was back in the Fomorian groove. And if I can hold out to profit... Uh, one of our Formorian kings. This is pretty greedy, but that saves 270 gold a year. So I feel less bad about trying to grab an early king for some sight searching and or just like helping with a major fight if we need it. And I think I'm, I'm going to try for that. We'll, we'll see if I end up regretting it. 
For our initial one also, I don't like that our starting commander, good old Furbolg champion here, doesn't have formations. Uh, our guys really would prefer to be in formations. So for turn one, we're going to grab a champion, and he's going to actually lead our initial run. If I wasn't playing greedy and saving profit for king, I also would consider profitizing one of these guys. They are infinitely more survivable than this guy. I was profiting him in my test games, and an uncomfortable amount of times he died to a random arrow or a random bird or a random skeleton. I, I did not like that. I don't know why, because he's, he's relatively survivable with 16 defense. Maybe they were just getting head hits. I don't know. But yeah, not not very impressed with that guy, which is which is sad. If he would if he'd stick a helmet on and get five more leadership, he'd be infinitely better. And for initial, we are going to be doing expansion with our Numidian warriors. These guys are the bomb. If we could recruit these in every fort, this would be a ridiculously overpowered nation, frankly. All right. Um, I think we are going to scout with the assumption we're going to try to take this. So let's pop over here. This will be an easier fight because we already have Dominion here, so we'll have better morale. Um, I have had the odd occasion where I've, I've lost my turn to expand due to morale routes, which, again, Formoria doesn't really have a problem with. I mean, 13 is totally fine. And 16 on these guys. So it's, it's generally been this initial army has just had something go wrong and they bounced and it's painful you really don't want that to happen because we want to ramp up our Numidian warrior production asap as soon as we can get that going because those are such good expanders such good expanders okay otherwise so we'll just patrol with him let's check our magic see if we got lucky um it's okay it's okay alteration one's really nice i like to get this early for eagle eyes um if i'm gonna send out some druids I prefer to send Air 2 Nature 1s because they can Eagle Eyes and they can Personal Bark Skin. So they're the safest guys to send out. Um, Blurred Bodies also a buff that our Numidian Champions can use. Same with Skeletal Body. So a, a real nice one to have here. Uh, Evocation's another one. I really like to go early Evo 2. What that gives us is Web, which is... Whatever, we don't have too many guys who are going to cast it, but it, I like web as a spell in general, but it gives us lightning bolt. So in a pinch, we can pop some druids out and have them lightning bolt pretty efficiently. Um, you can get a lot of lightning bolts before you pass out. So that can help with like an, an odd expand, like if we run into trolls or, or something, or like some, some minor amounts of heavy cav that can be pretty useful. Um, yeah, it just, it just gives me the ability to flex into that. Other things to think about early. Uh, unfortunately, I don't like the black dogs unless we're going to go underground. Then I may grab some. And our next one isn't until four. And I like these. And our bless is okay for these. But going four straight away, I don't feel like it's worth it. Because we have other things we could do. Uh, under pressure, we could pop out some elementals. So that is a good oh crap button. Um, we're not going to have storms, so we don't need storm power. We don't have mages that can do earth power, so I'm not entranced with that. What I've actually really been liking is rushing construction three and grabbing just some early alquils. We don't want to go too crazy on them because A, we don't have hammers. At least we won't until our god wakes up. And B, we need air gems for tons of things. But a few in the early game will help kickstart our research. Uh, other things early that are nice... Sleep isn't bad, and we do have our other unique spell. Um, I always pronounce that Gaius, but somebody was telling me it's more like Geese. I'm, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce that, but this is okay. Um, when it works, it's hilarious, but I, it does give them something they like to spam a little bit that's pretty expensive. So you have to really think, do you want your sorceresses casting this or not before you unlock that? Uh, otherwise, enchantment's really good. We get our uh, some precision buffing that we can do, some other buffing we can do if we get an Earth 2 from somewhere. 
Uh, it gives us the Cloud Trapeze, which is really good on our Druids. It gives us Raise Dead and Horde of Skeletons, which are really good. And at six, it gives us Riches from Beneath, which our God will be able to cast once we make him Earth Boots. So this is another direction that uh, could be gone. Oh, I should also mention, in Alteration, we have Storm. And we really want Storm. Ideally, before our major first war, we'd want Storm and we would want Thunderstrike right here on four. So that's a level six and a level four. So quite a lot of research. Uh, that's our ideal world. Uh, are you going to get there most of the time? Probably not, but that's something to strive for and think about how you're going to get there or when you're going to get there. The other thing to note in evocation, false horror, which summons like this illusion horror that loves to scare the crap out of people with fear. It's quite good on its own. It's quite cheap. They love summoning these guys. It's fast. So this is really good. But it combos really well with Wailing Winds, which is another big spell that we're going to want to be able to cast. This plus our Awe plus our other units who have fear is going to be very strong. Um, I don't know if we'll make it here. Um, you know, I always say I set these games up to kind of end within one stream. So we'll see, but... If I don't make it here and you play Formoria on your own, I would I would play a game that you get Wailing Winds and try it out. I would play a game that you get Wind of Death and try it out. And I would play a game that you get Dance of the Morgana and try it out. All three are incredibly powerful, incredibly cool spells. So food for thought on all of that. I think we're going to grab Construction 3. We're going to grab Ebo 2 because it's cheap. And we'll come back and think about this again. All right, that was a lot to say about turn one. Uh, do we want to peek and see who we got? Nah, let's not peek. Craig says, I returned to the game after I must have played a much earlier version many years ago. All the nations seem are new to me still been playing around to find a favorite and keep coming back to ea makone those are such a cool nation those are such a cool nation they got a lot going on for them and they're another nation that isn't a bad one for beginners i feel like it's got some more advanced mechanics than the go-to uh middle age ulm but they're not like super complicated but they've got enough tricks going on that you can learn a lot from them and i love i love the nations that they turn into they have such a, a cool storyline. And that, that's something that really draws me to a lot of them. Venice Mir says, I wish they had Middle Age for, uh, for Moria. Well, uh, unfortunately, we don't make it. We don't make it. So, you know, this is, this is the end of our story. And that's one of the things I think is so cool about Dominions is that you have nations that are just at different points in their life. Like, we are high points back when we used to guard the the realm of the drowned dead and due to our own hubris we brought all this horrible stuff that happened to us on our own or what's another good early era one oh Therados Therados is like a nation of, of Greek ghosts and they're at the end they don't go on any further and they're kind of sort of like Lemuria in late age that evolves out of early age Ermor so it's just so cool it, it makes the game feel like just slices of history rather than just a game that has a bunch of, of factions. So I think the lore is a big part that a lot of people really enjoy about this game. All right, I'm getting chitty chatty tonight. Let's see if we can get some forward motion here. All right, um, light calves, not gonna be a problem. Hopefully some interesting units over there, but not too bad and ichthyids. Okay, this isn't bad. There's nothing here that's super frightening. Although these could be pretty powerful. Let's check what's over here, and then that'll kind of determine where we go from there. Set up our initial expansion people. Uh, whoops, we gotta change leaders here. We are going to advance and cast spells. We're gonna cast specific. Um, no reason not to bless ourselves, so we'll just do it. I prefer to get that out of the way rather than after he's already advanced forward and then wasting a turn when he's in range of something. 
And for now, I think we'll throw on Skeletal Body and Blurred Body. We'll just make him as survivable as we can. I haven't had much trouble with these guys getting uh, ganked out. The only time I've really lost them is if I've routed or lost a battle pretty handily. So that, that's nice to not have to worry about your leaders too much. I've been working also on trying to get a little better about the uh, keyboard commands when setting up uh, troops. I'm not there yet, but I am I'm working on it because it does make you way more efficient. Way more efficient when you get good at that. All right, we are going to fire and keep distance on... We'll do it on archers, but they'll probably end up on closest. I do quite like this formation. Um, when you have guys that all have javelins, hold and fire here. These guys will draw the archer fire, and I don't care if they die, frankly. And I'd much rather they get shot up than my more expensive line troops. And sometimes you get really lucky, and it'll trail the enemy in at a weird angle, and you can hit them really well with your front line, and they're all spaced out funny, and you get nice surrounds on them. Doesn't always happen, but it's noticeably good when it does. So we'll see if we get lucky on that. And this dude's just going to patrol at home. He can he can run some reinforcements out or something later on. Turn two, we're going to grab a researcher, one of our Furbolg druids. And we'll grab as many of these as we can afford. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. And then next turn, we'll grab a leader and another set. If you're really good, I think you could probably expand with this plus one of these every turn. I feel it's a lot safer to get two turns of recruitment and one leader. So I get one researcher plus a set, and then I get a leader and a set, and then send them out. So every two turns, we should be able to send out a force, unless we get a different type of mage for some reason. Let's double check my scripting, hold the attack closest. I really wish these axe guys had javelins. They would be so much better if they did. Let's roll that one through. Mercs. Yes, we should check Mercs. I don't have the money. Um, I want to get those um, Namidian troops out so fast. But yeah, we should always check them. Yeah, I mean, Wet Ones is not bad. Could we? Well, we definitely are not taking a throne with Wet Ones. Um, are these the armored Wet Ones? They do have shark skin armor. Um, I'm not sure they could take Shark Tribe, in all honesty. Shark Tribe are surprisingly killy. They do wield daggers, and they really chomp you up. Um, in some of my test games, I would send out a... Oops. Fomorian King and five or six uh, giants, and I would consistently lose to Shark Tribe because they would just stab them so many times. Um... Let's see what our recruitment looks like, and then we'll make that decision. So, if we needed 250 gold, how many guys could we recruit? Only four. I feel like the safer recruitment's better right now. Uh, if they're still available later, though, we might revisit that. And I already spoiled it, so unfortunately. Let's see how we did here. See how our scripting went. Yeah, as to your comment, Joshua, I'm much better in single player about not spoiling fights because I'm the same way. I don't like to know how it turned out. I, I want to see it happen. But it's hard, especially on stream, because you're trying to make sure you don't forget things. At least, at least I am. And so sometimes I just need to get through that and do something before it leaves my train of thought. Uh, I will try to be better about that, though, because I agree. It's much more exciting to not know the outcome. We didn't know there were heavy cav here, by the way, so that was a surprise. We knew the light cav was here. Luckily, it was not much. Another spell I've actually been quite liking lately is our uh, Bewildering Lights. If you go up against some indies that have lo low magic resist for some reason, that is surprisingly good. It's another small AoE stun, just like that wind spell is, that when they get hit by it, their defense goes down to like three or four, they're very easy to stab. So it helps out things like these Axemen who don't have the, the best attack ever. I mean, 12 is good, but it, it turns it into an almost guaranteed hit if you hit somebody with that fascination. Yeah, not bad. We, we definitely took a little more damage. Ouch, right there. A little more damage than I would have liked to see, but I mean, that's what happens when you don't wear hats. So 
you know. We're on the we're on the theme of not not wearing hats. We're gonna have to break that streak next week. All right, that went okay. Let's let's see what the losses were. Yeah, most of the slingers, but slingers like for example, just to put that in perspective, a slinger costs eleven gold, two resources, and twelve recruitment points. That's nothing. That's nothing. I would I would lose fifteen of those guys rather than one of these. So. I'm, I'm happy enough with those losses. That being said, though, this initial army, because it is mostly these furbogs, it's going to struggle. We may have to reinforce this army sooner than I would have liked. All right. And over here, Heavy Cav is the main one. We're definitely not taking that with this initial army. I think what we're going to do... We're going to have to circle back. If we were mostly Numidians, we could take any of these, I think. But with this army, I think we're just asking for a route. We could have him lead in reinforcements. Could we take 60 Ichthids? I think we could. Let's, let's be a little risky here, just because this would be so much better for us. So let's uh, fire and keep distance closest. And you guys are going to hold and fire closest. And we'll have both units go in together. Let's get this set up properly. Yeah, I, I think we'll be okay for this. Um, I'm just worried if they have nets. Uh, nets take your defense to basically zero, and so they can actually hit our Numidian warriors, which makes it a little iffy, but I think we'll be okay there. And then we're gonna get a good commander and troops. So we go here, we take this, and then maybe we search for a turn and get reinforcements, or maybe we can we can move that far. No. So I think we're going to have to get this one extra turn. Or maybe move down here, depending on what we see. Or here. Yeah, I just want to be careful. I don't I don't mind being a little bit slow, but I don't want to lose an expansion party. That would be pretty devastating. And those guys are hired up by Purine. Okay, okay. We actually haven't seen a ton of people. So we got Makone and Tian Chi. Okay, so another giant, very similar kind of makeup to us, almost. And TNG. The AI seems to like playing TNG. They're in almost every game I play. Interesting. You know what, what we haven't had? I don't think I've seen Ermor a single time in any Dom 6 game I've played. I don't know why it's not getting randomly chosen, but for whatever reason, it is not. Let's see what people are saying here. Does Okay, so here's a good question. Does all work against arrows and range? No. It is a melee-only thing. So, generally speaking, though, if you're putting on something, you, it's a melee-type thing. So you're, you're hoping they're not getting shot, or they're basically immune to archery anyways. Corp Construct? Yes, yes. I guess we should talk about that, because I don't think I mentioned that in my preview video, unfortunately. Um... Uh, Corpse Man Construction is very good on us. This will give us a unit, it's like a Frankenstein basically, that has shock resist. I think they even get better when they get shocked. So this is an amazing chaff unit for us. Um, we're we're going to have Sacreds that also can be good for it, but these guys are great and there's a couple items that make them even more efficient. This is one of the most efficient chaff summon units you can get once you have a I think it's called a storm spool and a staff of storms. You get like 15 of these dudes for like one gem. Now, admittedly, you're investing some gems in the other equipment, but those can be quite, quite good. One of the other reasons we can't go too crazy on Alquils. Um, yeah, Soldiers of Steel is also not a terrible spell for us, but we're not going to be able to cast that, particularly just our 
Pretender, and I don't know, maybe we can come up with somebody else who can do it. But yeah, that is a good point. That is a really good spell. I'm a little shameful I missed that when I was talking about the nation. Alright, and for scouting, I think we're going to keep out in front of our army, because we, we might actually go this way. We'll have to see. I am also noticing the caves are in the southwest of the donut again, where I always see them. So if we don't have caves up here, I, I think I will make a forum post and ask if they could check that. Because it feels to me that those should be spaced out basically equidistance, you know. There should be some everywhere, not only in one part of the map. It seems a little odd. Especially because we picked the donut, so it should match underground to above ground somewhat. Craig says, awe plus fear is nice. Trade it with the Hound of Hades. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I like those uh, Hades Hound units. Awe is, awe is a really good expansion um, blessing if you have enough kill power. Uh, I really like those on Kailasa. Like, if you can... Because they have, they have Recruit Anywhere Sacreds. And so you can really make some cool blesses with them. And while they're not, like, the best thing ever, they have, like, a spear and a kick. And so they have two attacks. And that makes them so much better than what would otherwise be much better cap-only sacreds. All right. Oh, we've spoiled it again. Let's see. It's going to happen. We are an omnipotent god. You know, sometimes I just know things before they're going to happen. All right. I'm not seeing anybody that should have nets. So I think we're going to be fine. Oh, he says as they get netted. I thought they had a graphic on you when you had a net. Did I fever dream that? Alright, well, luckily they netted the guys I don't care about. So, <laughs> yeah, that happened. Alright, yeah, that went pretty well. What did we lose on that? Probably a couple fur bogs, yeah. And two Namidian warriors. I, I guarantee you they got netted and then chopped. Yeah, that's dangerous. Keep that in mind. That is one of the good counters. Like, if you have to fight a unit that's similar to Namidian warriors. So, you know, I've got glamour. I'm hard to hit. I still have three to a square. Anything that immobilizes them. Net, tangle vine, vine arrows, earth meld, false fetters. Um, Bonds of Fire, any of those type of spells completely neuter your defense. And you go from very hard to hit to a 10 protection, very expensive unit. So keep that in mind if you need to counter these type of units. All right, we're going to just transfer over to him. He's going to head home. 80 units. I don't know. I don't know. I think we're going to have to wait. This is terrible expansion, by the way. I think we might have to wait. How many do we got? Ten of these guys. I think we can take this one. Hoplikes, Ekthromos, and Slingers. I think we can take that. I really don't want to wait another turn. We're on turn four and we've only got two. Yeah. Don't suppose you can make two. No. Just a little too slow. We could meet him here, though. And holy smokes. Um, okay. That's a thing that happened. Oh, man. Are we cruising for the same bruising? <laughs> oh, man. What the heck, AI? We're going to need magic to kill those giants, too. I know for a fact that our Namidian warriors will not win against those fire giants. 
they will fatigue out from the uh, heat aura. Maybe if we could hit them in the winter. Oh, I'm already having flashbacks. This is terrible. Okay. Um, whose idea was it to add these guys? Bruh, was it you? I think it was you. All right, well, let's go see what they're cooking. Also, did we get a scout? No, we have not got an independent scout. I do miss that. That is one nice thing about Ur, that we could get our scouts everywhere. Like, I, it is noticeably, like, having one scout, I would love to have, like, three out right now. But I can't, I can't not recruit the power. Because we really, really need to expand. Full bug swingers are much better than six. No, I do agree. I do think uh, all range in general are better than they used to be, and fur bug slingers especially. While I always go on and on about helmets and shields would be amazing on slingers, these guys are actually precision twelve. So with their sling, they're precision ten. So that's actually a really accurate sling. Um, they're not as bad as people generally talk about. And it, slings also have 15 ammo instead of 10 that most archers have. So that is interesting, if nothing else. It's something. Um, ammo, to my knowledge, there's no way to buff ammo in this game. Like, you, you have what you have. Maybe some fortress upgrades might give you a little extra ammo when you're on the defense. I seem to remember that being a thing. I, I don't know if that still is in... in 6... That might be something for the higher level fortresses in later ages. Okay, I really now I'm really hoping we get this because we need to have a decent expansion because we're gonna we're gonna have to go to an early war with these guys because yeah we're just too dang close. This this is not this is not good, you know. Luckily, we actually have a decent choke point. If this river doesn't freeze, they have to come here. So we at least know where to fall back to. Depending on the population here, we might even fort this. This is get, definitely going to be a better place, though. Don't like that. I don't like that one bit. All right. Yeah, they're weak to lightning. That is that is a saving grace that we have. That is uh, our our best school is going to be lightning by far. Hey, Ermore, I was just ranting that we never see these guys. Let's see. Prince of Insects, Lord of Trickery, King of Disease. Sounds like he went really high death. I think I think death is insects. If not, then it's got to be nature. Or maybe growth. Interesting. So what would they have on that? Pro Knowing my luck, they'll have withering weapons. Because that's what the AI always fix when I play on stream. Alright, let's check our uh, expansion party here. We definitely will have a better time fighting the fire giants than Ur did, because we have lightning. The the type of magic that Ur has just is not a uh, giant killing magic. You basically need to rush like Frozen Heart would probably be really good against those. That'd be the spell I'd probably rush if I knew I had to fight them. All right, now I'm, this is an interesting matchup here. So these guys are protection eleven. Defense 11 with a length 3. So neither one of us is going to get the repel. We just have the glamour and a little bit better defense than they have. So hopefully we'll wipe these out pretty quick before the heavier guys come in. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Yeah, turn around, buddy. Yeah, you can see here, lots of zeros. Lots of zeros. 
They're hitting our shields, essentially. Yeah, Sling's getting a little bit of work in there. I do find that the slings are accurate enough that you don't do too much popping of your own glamour. But when you have a lot of slings, you'll, you'll start noticing it. Okay, getting some... When you see one damage, that's likely a repel going off for somebody. Our axemen can get repelled by those. There's the bewitching lights going out. Let's see if it does anything. Nah, he missed. Not bad, not bad. I think I think we're gonna see again though that we've just lost a few more fur bogs. They're just not as survivable as the Namidians are. Okay, I don't think we need to finish that one out. Let's see how that actually went. They did get one Namidian. Okay, not bad. And there they are. There they are. Yep, with with heat scales. So we have no hope of fighting those fire giants when they're not in full form. So we're definitely going to need magic before that happens. I have not added any PD and I definitely should add some. Alright. We are not going to surprise them. We're going to finish with some expansion before we try anything sneaky sneaky. Um... All right, so he can bless both of them, so he can do other things. Get his skeletal body, get his blurred body, and just start advancing sooner. And actually, these guys aren't too worried about getting a straight arrow, so I'm going to bring them a little closer. I find that this position right here is asking to have your commanders or mages get hit by a straight arrow, because the AI is mostly going to target right here in your line. So if I'm worried about arrows, I go back one or even two, but these guys I'm not so worried about. And this gets them closer for their spells once they start advancing. All right. Um, hopefully with the next set of recruitment, we can head a different direction. We really need to get a second expansion party going. This is, this is not, this is not good. All right. And, or now that I say that, he could bring our current guys up forward to here. Heavy cav. How, how many could there be? 20? I don't think we'd survive 20. This is where I'd like to put a, a fort, though. Although this is actually not a bad spot. That's, that's fine population. Man, I'm, I gotta think about that for a second. For more weight, death, glamour, and nature. Yeah. What are your thoughts on the enchanted blood bless? One HP every two turns plus one of our allegedly stops bleeding. I actually have noticed it does, it does stop the bleeding. Um, I took it on EA Agartha, or shooting not Agartha. Um, Abyssia. Um, they're, they're dual mace flange dudes. Uh, I, I noticed that they tend to get bleeds a lot for some reason, and that fixed it. So generally I would like a region bless on those guys. I think in the future when we play Abyssia, I'll probably go Enchanted Blood. Uh, just a little bit of region because they're already pretty tough troops and not bleeding out, and then you can afford to put something else with those other points that you would have spent on regen. Yeah, burning ones, thank you. Merman village. Yes, yes we do. That actually is super helpful. I find that those giants, even though we, they can go underwater, they really need some chaff. They really need some chaff to go with them. So that will be super good. We're probably gonna fork this too. So we'll be able to recruit those up really quick. I guess the decision we have to make here is this guy could go forward with reinforcements. He could go here this turn and join this fight. Or he could move here and start trying to build a fort. I 
This would be a better fort. Like, infinitely better. This has a lot of strategic value, though. I think we're going to go with the aggressive fort. Well... What does this party do next turn, then? They can't attack the throne. Do we chance that? I just don't think we'll survive a heavy cav charge with this number. Yeah. I think we're going to play it safe. He's going to come in with reinforcements. Yeah, so I'll move there this turn. Alright, if that's the case, then we don't need him. We can grab another researcher. Hmm. Yeah, Joshua, hopefully he does. I mean, I don't think... I, AIs usually don't Declare in like before year one. Um, we're on turn five. If he did, I don't see any of the big boys here yet, so that's at least something. I think we do want to keep kind of a close eye on this. We're not going to be able to afford a fort next turn, anyways. Maybe we recruit a commander down here, though. So we have somebody in place if we decide to go with that route. Because, yeah, we're only going to be about 700 gold next turn. Yeah. Mercs, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, we can double check those. I'm, I'm just so broke at the moment. Those uh, Namidian warriors are very expensive. And we went turmoil, so we're, we're down a little bit of cash that we would normally have. All right, we need this fight to go well so that we have a chance with the heavy cav. So hopefully, I don't, I don't think we're going to have any problems here. The um, heavy infantry only has 10 attack. They're really going to struggle to hit us. We're going to be repelling them too. So it's more along the lines of just how many lucky hits do they end up getting. Okay, you guys should have been on hold. That was a little iffy. Yeah, just scrape that line right off the bat. Yeah, okay, so right there, these heavy infantry were probably scripted to attack closest, and they went on to these uh, slingers. So you see how they got stretched out funny like this? Now, unless these guys get lucky and they make a bunch of morale checks and somehow end up over here, we're just going to massacre these guys. They're just so out of form formation. Hopefully these guys turn around and flank them, and we'll just wipe this out really quick. No, unfortunately not. It's alright, though. We'll just end up in their archers. That's fine, too. Yeah, they just chased those slingers all the way back there. And we just killed them one at a time. Look at this champ. Diseased and limped, and he's still taking swings. Way to go, man. Nice. Yeah, that was perfect. That's that's what I was talking about with that uh, fire fire and keep distance. Um, it can be really good when it works right. I mean, those heavies did nothing. Three full bogs, one Namidian. That's about as good as we could hope for. Tiernanog. Lord of horses, god of plants and trees. Sounds about right. All right, let's drop... Minimum PD. I'm 99% sure it's 1,000. Yeah, so we can't afford that. And frankly, we're probably going to do this one first. So he can just chill here. He can collect some, some guys. So next turn, we're going to make about 600 gold. So we need to keep about 400 in reserve. Say 500 just to be safe. Grab a leader and more. Um... We'll be greedy. 450. Let me double check my math here. 700. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We can actually get probably one more. I want to make sure I can afford this fort right off the bat. Because it's already turn 6. 
and I'd love to get a fort started. We get this one started, and then we get this one started. This is essentially our eastern expansion finished, and then we can concentrate on here. Here and getting some more researchers. And we'll, we'll recruit druids down here, so they'll be our battle mages. And we'll have them just ready to go. All right, and let's actually check. No, nothing, nothing new. And those are junky, quite junky. Although, I would love these monkeys to take the charge for us if I had them. All right, everyone's going here. Nobody is stealthing. Let's get this set up. We want to hold and fire. Hold and fire, hold and fire. Okay. Yeah, our front line's starting to look pretty thin. Uh, which one of you guys is in the same place? That one. I'm considering if I want to turn around with this guy, but I think I honestly, while his magic isn't super good, I think it's better than nothing. So I think we're going to have him join this fight. Like, this is a pretty key fight. I would really like to win this one. It's down to 20 on this scout report. So we're somewhere between like 20 and 40 total. So like, let's say 10 militia, 5 or 10 light calves. So maybe 10 heavies. That's not too bad. And actually, um, yeah, I'm sorry, team, but uh, we're, we're not going to fire and keep distance. We're going to... Hold and fire cavalry. And you guys, you also are going to uh, hold and attack closest. Sorry. I would much rather lose those than lose my expensive good guys. <laughs> so they're going to have to play screen. Oh, and there's the big boy. Two of them. Oh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. Um, yeah, we could try and nap, but we also could take their capital. <laughs> um, that would be pretty sweet, like an early second capital. Um, I'm going to guess their gems are probably water, fire, and I don't know what else. Do they get blood? You know, blood slave? I haven't played them yet, but that would like double our gem income. Plus, you know, vengeance. <laughs> We also do have a really good choke point here. And with their heat domain, we're probably not going to have this river thaw. So they'd have to take the throne or this place to get to me. So I'm not super worried. Maybe I should be. I'm just hoping we can take the war on our own time once we have lightning up and running. How are we doing on that, by the way? Slow. Slow is how we're doing on that. It'll get better once we don't need these as many of these commanders. Once we get more money, we'll switch over to our cap-only stuff uh, that are not him. So having a few of these out early is nice because they are our better leaders, in my opinion. Fire, air, water, death. Yeah, that'd be perfect. I'd love all those gems. All right, first level of construction. Let's check how much heavy cap there was. All right, they're only attack skill 10. These aren't particularly nasty ones. They'll probably whiff, hopefully. Okay, this this was about as good as we could hope for. I'm glad it was at the low end of that roll. Still. <laughs> you lucky slingers. You lucky, lucky slingers. <laughs> Yeah, this is going to go fine. I'm not too worried. Let's see if we can get some bewitching lights on that heavy cab. That'd be really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's look at that. So he got hit with the bewitching lights. Defense skill three. He's stunned, so he gets minus 75%. So hopefully this square will attack him. And we'll just wipe them out while they have no defense. That's a surprisingly good spell. I've actually been shocked how good it, it is. It's 
It's always nice when you have a decent spammable one path spell because you know that's what your mages are going to do. So it's kind of like getting web. Like once you get web, they, they're just going to web. They, they don't care what, what you think they should be doing. It, it's web. So don't have to worry about friendly fire with this one. So that's pretty handy. Nice, 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 nice. That went really well. All right, and we are, we do have the money. We are going to immediately start fording this. All right, now that I took these guys out, they can actually do a hold and fire. And these guys, uh, you can be on guard, Commander. Thank you for your service. We'll uh, call you up again next time we have some heavy calf. <laughs> Back to fire and keep distance on these guys. All right, and then from here, now now we've got some, some room to move a little bit. I wish I knew it was here, because this is where I'd like to go. We're expanding so ridiculously slow. Turn seven, I've got one, two, three, four, five. I guess we do have a good fort coming up. Well, I say good. That's actually not that much population. In fact, this one actually has more, but still. A fort I'm not worried about losing instantly. Yeah, we're going to go fort here. Back at home, we can fort a druid. Hmm. I think we're gonna I'm just debating whether I want to stay here to build the infrastructure with this guy. I think we have somebody here who can move out, so I think it's fine if he stays. Let's go ahead. What else do you have on your scales? Growth and order. That's not misery. I don't care if that's in my area for now. All right, let's do a quick search. We'll just see if we get lucky and get, grab a site. Or find out that there's a death site under my fortress, which is usually what happens to me. But we are we are in here tight with this guy. Not loving that. This also gives us the ability to recruit some of that heavy cav. And while this is pretty junky heavy cav, uh, it gives us options. Because we don't have cavalry normally. And having at least a little bit's nice. This gives us some more um, flexibility. Yeah, let's move that on. You forgot to check what unexpected event. Oh, I did. Um, I believe that your fortresses cannot pull across impassable. I very well could be wrong about that, though. All right, let's check our battle. Not expecting to have a problem against these guys. Okay, we got strung out a little bit on that one. That's all right. Very good. Lost two, unfortunately, but that's fine. Still don't know what's over here. I mean, what's the worst it could be? Like elephants? Usually don't get elephants unless it's a farmland. Trolls, maybe? Because if I go here, maybe we could just take the whole river and that could be our front line. I really need some more scouting. Like, really badly. It's illusions or nothing. If it's illusions, that's probably not a good sign. I've never seen an unguarded province at all. 
So it's, yeah, maybe it is illusion, because it does say free from military. All right. We're, we're going to risk it. We're going to risk it. This could be really nasty. Like, that could be really bad. But if we get this, I feel like we've got one or two more, and maybe we can hold the whole river. That's got some pretty heavy strategic value. We really need to get this too. Like we've really not done the best job of getting our cap circle. Let's get this guy set up and uh, heading out that way. So skeletal body. No, he's by himself. He needs to bless skeletal blurred. Hold and fire closest. Did not find a death site. So hopefully there will be no diseases popping up right underneath my feet here. I think I'm going to save the money and try to start our second fort. I think we're just going to be super duper greedy. Okay, he's expanding the other direction. I'm, I mean, I wish he wouldn't expand at all, but if he has to, hopefully he doesn't have this. Because if not, then he's only got these. Swamp doesn't have too many resources. A plane won't have too many. Hopefully he's nice and slow. Nice and slow. Hidden Pretender chassis income. Yeah, it's going to be like some sort of Titan of Illusion. And it's going to have like five sorceresses with 20 gems each. That's usually what that happens. Numidians do have magic weapons. Yep. That is one of the Numidian troops, man. These are so good. Like anything with this golden spear weapon. Lots of units have this. It is such a nice weapon. Rank three, so you're not getting repelled most of the time. Um, it's got one bonus attack and it's mag like five magic. That's so good. And just having that in your pocket takes a lot of pressure off of your sacreds. Um, What's the, there's some other nations, like EA Hinnom, I think. They have, like, Dawn Blades, I think they're called. They're, like, a cap-only non-sacred unit, but they have a magic weapon. Like, that's the, that's their special thing. And, man, that helps. That really makes you get, have a lot more flexibility. And while it matters a lot less in single-player, having that in multiplayer is huge. Because if you go up against somebody and you need magic weapons and you don't have them, you are going to feel it. You are going to feel it for sure. All right, double check, swimming men, Bernard's men. Um, I like Bernard's men. Those guys are pretty good. If we bid 315. We do just under enough to build a fort next turn. I think I'd rather have the money for the fort. If I had more scouts, I would definitely bump it with a scout. Um, I'm, I'm feeling that. Maybe we should take a turn off of our capital recruitment, as much as I hate to do that, because I'm, I'm really feeling blind here. I have no idea who my neighbor is to the north, and I haven't been able to ping anything. Okay, it was, it was, <laughs> it was illusion, guys. And it was one really nasty one. All right, well, hopefully we will chop through all these. Uh... Oh, we got normal swordsmen and illusion. So we'll pop these really quick. Not too worried about that. Yeah, this could this would have gone very differently if we didn't have magic weapons. I say that like we've already won, but. These guys, man, respect Glamour. Like, seriously, that false damage is really nasty. So what do you get? Oh, you're chasing that. Eh. That that was to our detriment that time. Majorly to our detriment that time.
We got stuff on our commanders. Oof, do not like that. They're surrounded. Ooh, the slingers were a mistake on this one. Okay, hurry back, guys. Come on, come on. These guys are probably dead. They're already too surrounded. We haven't even started seeing big lobs come in. He must have passed out or something. Yeah. We'll see how morale holds. I'm gonna speed that up even more. This is the long one. Okay, one of them retreated. Oof. Yeah, that, that slinger trick, that was the complete opposite of normal. Uh, that, that cost us dearly. We probably would have lost hardly anything if our men had been in a proper line. So, food for thought on, on trying that trick. What did we end up losing? I guess it was only six. It felt way worse than that. Felt way worse than that. We got 187 kills, although those weren't all real units. Interesting. Very interesting. Whew, I, well, I won't lie, I was sweating that one a little bit. <laughs> what do we got up here? Lion Tribe? Perfect. I love eating Lion Tribe. Militia, Heavy, Archers. How greedy do we get? Make sure these guys don't stealth. Man, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we, should we take across the river and go for Greed and try to just take more of his land? Or should we go for just the safe pick? I'll have to think about that for a second. Okay, Giant Palisade going up. Giant Palisade going up. We'll have this guy search quick. He is really pushing my uh, Dominion back. I need to get some temples up. That's a little worrisome. We don't have our profit yet either. That's also costing us candles. Yeah, I think we go cheap because I want I want the troops. All right, let's see what people were saying on that one. Maybe a good idea to get your lightning online sooner rather than later. Yeah, I agree. I think we're just we're 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 getting greedy trying to get construction first. Spanning underground. Yeah, he could be. We have no sight on that. We actually wouldn't do terrible under underground. We have dark vision fifty on these guys, so we're not completely blind. We also have those summons, if we get that far, that would do decent. I think you picked up some magic items. Um, we might have. Where was that? Um. Where is that treasury button? I always forget that one. Not there. Talking here. There it is. Uh, missile protection. It's all right. I'll probably I'll probably hand that off to somebody who needs it more than this guy. But you know, free is free. It's the right price. Well, they, let's see. That's actually a good question. Although, unfortunately for us, we already have good glamour magic. No, no, it doesn't. We already have good glamour magic anyways. So, I guess we don't outside of our capital. So that could be interesting. I'm noticing there's a lot more heavy cav available from indies than there used to be. Like in Dom 5. Alright, I'm not seeing opinions on this one, so you guys are going to leave me to make the mistake, huh? Alright, um... Well, we can take this one, and we're guaranteed to be able to get back... 
It's going to be deeper winter, so this is not going to thaw. So maybe we could take this. Let's take these guys. Yeah, we'll go here and then we can check underground quick. We'll take this one. Some nice, normal humans to beat up. No trickery. We've got recruiting going on there. We started a second fortress. If we can get these two up, we'll be in a much, much better position. Once we get the full infrastructure, we can start getting some druids. Because we're going to need as many as we can get our hands on. So we can have lightning spammers. We're not going to have very many uh, kings. We'll probably have like two. One or two by that point. We really need to get one out too. Maybe next turn we just bite it and get one started. I'd like to just get him out and prophetize so he can preach, frankly. That is a super, super greedy move. You should not do that. I'm being very greedy on that. I was hoping to get him out on turn 5-ish, but our expansion was so bad that we're... Yeah. What are we on? Turn 9? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Turn 10. We'll have 9. I guess... We'll come up to at least one for one, so the bare minimum. The Master Assassin. What would we assassinate, though? They're all going to be giants. There's like no way he's going to actually win. Do I do it for the lols? No, he's, he's not going to kill anything. That'd just be a waste of money. I'd rather, I'd rather have one Namidian than him, I suppose. Bro says, what's the difference between Phantasmal and Illusionary Warriors? Um, off the top of my head, they're ex if they're not the same unit, they're exceedingly similar. You'd have to go into Dom Inspector and, and check that. Shoot for a year two winter fight with Mussy when they're in the cold. That that would be good. We'll see what our research and our mage core is. Right now we don't have a single combat mage, so not we're not there yet, that's for sure. Phantasms have less HP and armor. Good to know. Illusions one HP, yeah, there you go. Pokemon they pop. Okay. Ah! Spoilers, spoilers everywhere. Alright. I'm not expecting this to be too bad. It's just some more of those Greek-type troops. We've already shown that we are definitely the superior spearmen when it comes to these guys. Even the heavies. One thing that helps us there is we only have Encumbrance 5. These guys are rolling Encumbrance 9. Like, round 1 of combat, they're already at 16 fatigue, essentially. So, we definitely have that advantage. Plus, we're, we're knocking, them, knocking them out a little bit with that Dancing Light. Nice. We did end up losing four, though. More than I would have thought. Dual woods. Not expecting anything crazy here. I feel like I'm playing with fire with these slingers at this point. <laughs> Might be time to retire that. It's starting to cause us issues. We just don't have enough melee life. If our line was a little longer, we wouldn't have that issue. We'd catch the edge of them. All right, and then we had an unexpected event. The wolves are hungry this winter, and locals are being attacked and killed by the score. And we got attacked by those wolves. That's a lot of wolves. Well, you know you're in trouble when your heavy cavalry is getting eaten by wolves. It's not a good sign. Yeah. Um. We're not getting income here because we can't trace back to a fortress. So I think I am going to turn around and take care of that. That's unfortunate. I think we're also, as good as that strategy is... We're going to knock that off for now. Our line's too short. 
we're just causing ourselves grief. All right, you come back to pick up reinforcements. How are you doing? 11 troops. Shoot, okay. Um, pick up troops, He and then he'll search here, and then he can give him the troops, and then he can continue on. Not the most efficient. This has been a really inefficient expansion. That's all right. We just playing for fun. All right, let's start a king. We do need to get that going. And we'll just grab as many as we can. We've got two turns on our Palisades and four turns on our Palisades. And then a lot of our problems will be alleviated once we get that money coming in from those. All right, let's pop our noses underground for a second just to see if he is down there. If he is, that does mean we could have a surprise from here. So we do need to be kind of cognizant of that. You know, I never thought about that, but when you have a uh, cave entrance on your capital, it sucks up some of your dominion to go down there, which you may or may not actually want to have happen. It's food for thought. All right, let's keep that rolling. Bro says, could always assassinate some indies with the Assassin Master. Yeah, uh, Assassin Expansion's a thing. Um, I've done it with Agartha before. Or not, I keep saying Agartha. Abyssia before. Um, it's it's actually decent until it's not, if that makes any sense. So when it's working really well, it's super good. But it can fall apart pretty easily, too. Alright, this is us attacking the wolves. I don't think this will be a major issue. This This force probably needs to go back for reinforcements, too. We're just too small. It's unfortunate. I was kind of hoping we would have multiple expansion parties out. And then as they attrited, they could just group up and combine. And that just hasn't been the case. Just the weird route we had to take. All right. So he, this guy is going to grab those reinforcements and bring them to him. He's going to search quick and he's going to have to come back for reinforcements. Grabbing our king. Let's. We're getting really close to our god coming out. I'm just starting to wonder if I want to start getting some unmarked. No, not yet. I don't think. These are just so ridiculously good. All right. Head down to here. We'll just make sure. I think this is probably his entrance by his capital. Yeah, so this is definitely not aligned with the donut map above it. This is all in our little corner. Like, that whole thing is, like, right here. If, if these really are those two that are close to each other, these two, and we came in this one, which was over here. So again, like this is what I see on every map gen like this. The whole donut's right here. And it seems to be that way on every time I roll it. I was expecting it to be like one here, one here, one here, you know, spread out, even though down below it's actually smaller. It doesn't line up one to one. So interesting. It's just weird, a weirdity of that map type, I suppose. And there's Makone. Uh, definitely not what I wanted to be seeing. Shoot. Oh man, do I, do I chance that? I don't think we're gonna... We're getting close to where they could just surround us. I really don't want to lose these guys for no reason. That stinks, though. Not surprising. I mean, it is the end of year one. Interesting that it's, it's a giant royal rumble <laughs> in this corner of the map. What are we doing on research? We're getting close. 50. Okay, so. Three turns until we get construction three, and then we'll see a little bit of a spike. Oh, did I miss another unexpected event? Man. Are you sure that was the wolves last time? I think I caught that one. I'm going to have to be a little more cautious. I'm trying to move too fast, I suppose.
Yeah, if, if the caves are empty, and I don't think we have anybody who's particularly interested in caves, right? Like, oh, I guess, yeah, I guess uh, Pyrene would be, he's probably down there somewhere. Because these guys are cave starts, right? I believe they are. But I feel like we do okay against these guys. I mean, I guess they do have nets. That's so ironic that a random, undisciplined, like, dude with a net and a spear is, like, the bane of my elves. But these guys would actually be a problem. <laughs> it would be quite a problem if we don't magic them to death. Nets are such a good unit. Uh, anytime you have a unit with a net, you should really think about it. Because you can, you can mess up some expensive units on the cheap with net units. I mean, you haven't checked the current one? Oh, this one? You are correct. Um, an omen that was seen that spoke of the decline of Formorian Sun, King of Stellar Lights. Rumors of this ill omen have spread widely. So sad. They just don't even believe. They just don't even believe. We'll show them, though. It's all right. We'll show them. At least it's not that dumb false prophet event that I get every game. Uh, I'm not sure how you'd pronounce your name. I'm, I'm going to say uh, Milo. I'm just going to shorten it to that. Uh, yeah, your your last video was really good too, by the way. Uh, your big from Orion Giants are size 6. I think they're immune to nets, or at least... Yes, you do get a bonus. I know. I don't know if it's specifically size 6, but at a certain size, you get a bonus slash immunity to nets, webs, etc. So you might be right on that. But that, that being said, we'd have to start recruiting those guys. So, And they don't have the uh, dark vision. So they would really struggle to hit things down there. Even barring the, the net issue. Alright, let's try to be a little better about our events here. So, uh, unearth some treasure for 68 gold. Alright. Unexpected event, disease, minus 40. Don't care for that. And we have our first level of construction. Oh, yes. Yes, money spike. I need that so badly. We're going to immediately reinvest that into Fortress, though. But that still leaves us a little cash on hand. And what did we get? Oh, nice. We got a death three right off the bat. Pretty good. Pretty good. We're looking for a Stormcaster, so we're looking for an Air 4 guy, ideally. But nothing wrong with this guy. Let's get him immediately profited up. He is going to, unfortunately, have to do some utility work for us for a little bit, but that's fine. Have him on the field. If nothing else, just being a prophet, he generates another dom check every turn. All right, we get this set up. All right, back to expanding. And then this guy... Let's actually have him get the reinforcements, and we'll have this guy stop here, and he can build a temple. Because I am getting a little worried about this dom. I, we're not in, like, super danger, but this is just uncomfortable. I don't I don't like their stuff touching me. Not, not next to my capital. We should have our god out pretty soon, and that'll also help. I think god generates... Is it three dom checks every turn? One of which is automatically a success, so... That'll, that'll help quite a bit here momentarily. We also need to start thinking about getting a Sight Searcher out. Uh, I think our Prophet here... And I think, I think for this week, our Prophet, bruh. Thank you for uh, coming into the streams, man. I appreciate it. So it can be, bruh, the Formorian King. Long, long may he, he uh, survive. All right. Um, okay, one more turn for this. No, two turns for this. Four for that. We'll get the temple and we'll try to get a lab up here quickly so we can start getting some druids. We got two turns and then we can get some alquills. This unlocks lightning strike. 
I don't think we're going to be able to get to Storm in a year. If we're going to shoot for a year two winner. So if we don't get that, what would we want? Thunderstrike, probably. I guess only our kings could cast that if we don't have Storm, though. Orb Lightning's likely to do more damage to us than the enemy. Per Perpetual Storm is something we would really like to cast. That'd save us having to spend combat turns casting storms. Yeah, I don't I don't think Thunder Storm is the way here. Without Storm up, it's we just have too few guys casting it. So I feel like Lightning Bolt is the stopping point here. What could we get from Glamour? I guess Ephemeral Blast. Uh, the Giants have pretty good magic resist, though. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is magic resist. Yeah, magic resistance negates. Don't think that's going to do much for us. Ghost Wolves could be some good chaff. Evolutionary Army. Again, just better chaff. That would take us on a way to Perpetual Storm. We could also go Enchantment. Skeletons wouldn't fatigue out from their heat aura. So grabbing somebody to do a couple um, horde of skeletons wouldn't be bad. That also would take us towards riches from beneath, which we would like to have. Uh, yes, my yes, it does help against that, but I'm more worried about hitting my own Namidian front line. Um, yeah, because they, they are not going to have any particular lightning resist. They're not sacred. Man, if these guys were sacred, if this was our sacred unit, this would be a totally different nation. <laughs> you saying that, though, makes me think that we should probably start getting some unmarked, though. Because, yeah, we're going to start doing lightning stuff. And, man, we are just still really broke. For the I, I really would like to be done recruiting these guys and switching over to Formorian Druids, but they're just too expensive at the moment still. Let's start in on getting some uh, some of these guys. Grab a few of them at least. Okay, profits coming out. We checked all those. Temple coming out. So we'll probably we'll probably search a little bit and then preach here. We'll try to get our dominion at least up to him. We probably won't be able to get it on his cap, but. Maybe, maybe if we get a second, second temple right here. Doubtful though. He probably went pretty high dom because it takes two uh, holy points to get one of those giants. Just the same as for us. It's one point for these guys, but it's two points for these. So we could only get two of these per turn, two and a half. Yeah, let's go ahead and roll that. Joshua says, I really think with Giants weak to Lightning on both your borders is really important. Yeah, yeah. I mean, really, that's kind of luck. The fact that, like, Lightning's a, a decent spell path, in my opinion. And oh, I'm going to pull this up anyways. Um, I really have actually been impressed with, what's that new? With these type spells, the Gust of Winds and the ones like it. Uh, stun is just so good. And if you do friendly fire with these, which they they tend to have high precision, like bonus precision, so usually you don't have friendly fire problems, these spells are actually really good. So I feel like air is in a pretty good spot despite losing some of the buffs that used to be pretty key to air to glamour. Um, Shockwave's another decent spell. Uh, Stormwind. Again, the huge 8 plus, and this is only a level 3 spell. Range 40 plus, area of effect 8 plus, bonus precision again, super cheap, and it stuns. So, at minimum for 2 air, you're going to be looking at area of effect 10. That's big. That's a big spell for uh, just a tier 3 research. 
The damage is whatever, like that hardly ever goes off, but the stun is good. I quite like that. I think there's just a ton of value there. And it helps out crappy troops too, because your crappy troops generally can't hit anything. That's their problem. And so having somebody who can do that Yeah, you can have some guards for now. Yeah, and so by making him the prophet, we don't have to pay the 270 gold upkeep. Uh, in this game, it probably didn't work out. I probably should have had the early prophet, like the turn one prophet, but whatever, it's fine. And do we search or preach? I think we do a little searching first. We could go these and then we'll preach up here. Because we really would like to find some more air income and some death income, if at all possible. We're not sitting very pretty on that. Okay, uh, we got our temple up. We also need at least a lab. We need to at least get the infrastructure up in one of our forts. So back here. Yeah, I, I think we have to get a sorceress. I need to get my site searching started. And then that way we could we could spam out elementals in that first war if we have to. Although against giants, they're going to be kind of questionable, I suppose. All right, let's get back here. So, ba -ba -ba. okay, our god awoke. Let's check, yep. I guess that being said, we could go out site searching with him instead. That was kind of one of the things we wanted. So we have to make the call. Do we 59 research plus inspiring? That's a lot of research. That's double our current research. Or do we go out and get those sites quick? I think we get the research. I think if we're trying for that year two war, I think he has to research. There's just so much. So much research there. Skelly spam? I'm going to have to think more about that. It's really important. Whatever we choose is going to be the, what magic we get for that first war. So we have to really think about that. If we want to try to push for Storm, if we want to... Go for some skelly spam, for some chaff. We also really need to switch over to getting these two every turn in our capital. Um, Formoria really suffers from cap dependency for its good mages. Like these guys are perfectly fine, but they don't only have air access essentially. Whereas these are our big air and our death and some other utility that we're not gonna get elsewhere. Boy, you are just really cutting me off up here, aren't you, buddy? Alright, he was supposed to bring the reinforcements to there. He's going here to search. We're going to research with Formorian Sun. Yeah, I think, I think that's the play there. I was impressed with Stormwind, which is 2A and causes stun for 8 squares. Size 6 negates so your giants will be okay. Yeah, I'm really liking those new air spells. Um, when I originally was reading people talking about, oh, air's garbage now, because not only did it lose some of the buffs, it they, they split up the spells so that there's more graduation between the early and the big spells. So you have like a small, medium, large for most offensive magic. I think air actually came out ahead. I think air is better than it used to be. Um, you still have Cloud Trapeze, which is like the big utility spell. You still have Aerofend. You still have Mist Form. And I feel like you have some more options for things that you can cast. So I, I quite like air. I think air is in a good place. Although, that being said, water actually. Um, testing another nation that's coming up. Um, the water spells are much better than they used to be. Water used to be kind of a joke to me, unless you were underwater. The spells were so terrible. Nowadays, they're much more respectable. 
But we still only have one scout, too. Can we get a scout up here if nothing else? Can't afford it. All right, we got to... Oh, and we're not even recruiting anything. Jeez, we are broke. It's like the Inkadu are running this place. Yeah, that's that's a ridiculous amount of research, frankly. And like I said, for, for where we're at right now, that doubles our research. More than doubles, because he's also inspiring. All right, we are going to take a second off of research, though. And we are going to build, what can we afford? Five. All right, because can we build? We can't build the hammer, right? We could build the hammer. We don't have the earth gems for it, though. Okay. So we are going to have five of these guys forge quills. I'm kind of considering, let's get this guy out. We'll, we'll, we'll take the hit on one researcher because he's got earth. And let's see if we can find an earth site. Because we could get a... Uh, a hammer, and then we could get some boots out, and boots would let us cast uh, riches from below, which also needs earth gems, so we need to get some earth income coming, and it's going to be a while, I think, before Fomorian Sun gets to leave, so we'll, we're going to do that. Search out here. Alright, and this turn, unfortunately, we need to start our fortress, so one more turn of being super poor, and then we'll finally have some money back in the... the income again. All right, we'll grab a druid, and we can now afford at least a couple scouts. Finally. Yeah. Yeah, Formoria definitely would love loves capital uh, resources and income. So, I can't complain too much. This is a lot better than I originally thought this was going to be. For as low as these other resources are, our production, too, really saved us. All right, now the question is, where do we go? I think I'm fine if we chance to bump. We might even just win whatever he's got expanding. And I just, I just want more territory. So I think we're gonna do it. There he is. Look at that golden god. I'm looking forward to playing these guys at some point too. They're a fun, fun faction. Okay, um, this is the reinforcement guy. Okay, so this party can head out again. Maybe we can still make it make for that area. This guy. I think we're going to move down here because somebody has to build infrastructure. Uh, he does He does appear to be down here just recently, but he hasn't spread out a lot. That's unfortunate. I have a feeling this is going to be a long, bloody war. <laughs> Hopefully we can blap his big dudes and sit on his capital. I really, really hope so. I, I, I'm thinking he's broke, because I'm not seeing a ton of income here. Like, Hopefully he's completely broke and has no other forts, and we can just sit on this and choke him out. We don't have that many turns until winter, though. I don't know if we're going to be able to make that. We'll look at that research again. It's going to be a lot higher with our Alquils and whatnot back on. I'm just considering if we try to, to blitz to Storm. Storm would really help us. All of our kings can cast it, so I know I'll have somebody who can do it. Storm power really juices up our uh, druids. They can basically, I don't know, 20, 20 plus lightnings if we have that combo up. Versus Skelly Spam. Skelly Spam gives us more chaff that doesn't care about the heat aura. 
We're not going to have a ton of people who can do it, though. We're not going to have boosters for it. I think I'm talking myself into Storm more than I am talking myself into the enchant. With Death Gems 2, you could get some uh, Revenants. You could just, yeah, they, that's true. And, and they don't have upkeep. They don't have upkeep. So that would be something. Uh, they also would give us somebody else who could go out sight searching. That'd be another bonus. Did Baconi cut off your province north of Methlehem? Um. Yes, technically. Yeah, so we're not going to be able to get over there because it's not frozen. <laughs> Boy, this is this is quite sad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oof, 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 oof. We would need some conjuration if we're going to go down below. So I think we're committed to this war. I, I think I think that's got to happen one way or the other. I think we're we're going to try for storm. We're going to try for Storm. We're just going to sprint it. Do I need five? Five for Storm? Yeah. That also means our god could join the fight and do some uh, group stone skins. That would be rather handy. We also get um, some other big death stuff here. We also could go for Soul Vortex. That would be really good on our kings. I think we, we, we blitz for that and then Bonus if we get there, we would want to get to Thunderstrike at four Evo. Oh no no, we need to get hang on, hang on, get ahead of myself. We need Conjuration 2 to get summon storm power. And that also gets us some black dog, so we can have an emergency chaff button if we need it. And then we go up to five. And then Evo, what did I say Thunderstorm was? Four. And then probably back to Alteration for Soul Vortex. That We're definitely not finishing that in, in like 10 turns. Nat McCone. Um, yeah. I don't have any eyes on them, so I don't know how well they're doing. Like, their capital could be right here, and this could be their only expansion. Let's... We're getting scouts, finally. Let's go peek at him before we make that call. Just chance it. I think I'm going to risk that. A lot, of, a lot of people are saying nap. Yeah... I, I see the reasoning, because, yeah, if we get double teamed, we're not going to win. That's for sure. We searched for magic sites, but didn't find any. Oh. All right, well, we at least got one more expansion off. Oof, going to eat a heavy charge to the face, though. This is the junky ones. Nice javelin volley. Yeah, these, these are not bad. They just can't hit us with our high defense. They're hitting us before we start getting any fatigue or anything, so. And here comes the uh, heavy infantry, but too late. That went really well. Went really well. All right. Um, I, again, I, I don't see an end to to his expansion. Do need to grab. I have a couple of these I didn't. I couldn't afford any. Let's get to at least six. That protects against some of the super duper low events that can happen. Okay. Um, 
you move on, you search. You guys are not going to be able to do anything over here. This is not too bad of a throne. Um, I would be tempted to even take that. I don't know what magic is going to have. Let's ping that. I think that's probably worth risking us uh, one of our new scouts. No, nope. we'll have this guy go north while the other guy do it. Let's actually see what that is, because we might be able to take that once we have our magic online. All right, now we quill up. This is going to be nice. Each one of these is plus six. All right, let's see. Now we have 177 research a month. Much better. Much, much better. Okay. Um, we're sitting on a decent amount of cash. Start getting some giants ready. He's got three turns. That's going to be the end of him having to build. Grab the temple. We're, we're putting a lot into infrastructure here, but I feel like we at least need to have that. We probably also need to be looking at like one more fort up in here somewhere. This one's not too bad. It's got 9,000 pop. And I've got two of the three of the connections. Do we do we keep being really like we're really putting pressure on him. The more I do this, the more likely they are to attack me. <laughs> but I feel like that's the, the expansion. It's what I've got left. See how mad I'm making people here. <laughs> Just don't want to see... Yeah, the, the dog pile thing would probably be a round ender. I just don't foresee us. We didn't expand super well or anything. Um, we at least have the forts, though. So at least we have that. I think I'm still going to wait for, for reconnaissance. I, I don't want to nap something I haven't seen. If this is just literally like one expansion party came down here with a weird stretchy arm, I would rather take the territory, frankly. I think we're just going to chance it. This is a strong expansion party too, so if we bounce, I'll probably kill whatever we bounce off of. This guy though, we, I don't know what to do with him. I guess he just kind of guards our borders for a minute. I guess he could search. Maybe get lucky. Okay, moving and searching. Build the giant fortress. Build the giant fortress. Build temple. And if I back off at those a little, I can start, I don't know, 3, 370, not 270. Um, I think we're going to grab one. And we, we've got to get started on getting casters. All this, all this research is for naught if nobody can cast the dang spells. Well, despite our, our lackluster expansion, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, they didn't insta-declare on me, which was probably their best opportunity. We've learned, we've learned from previous mistakes with uh, these guys, so I think we'll be alright. No lucky Earth Sight, unfortunately. Alright, and that's finished. Let's get him moving over there. All right, now we can start getting some mages in here. Finally. Finally, finally. Um, Troop-wise, what do we want? A little bit of cav for some diversity, maybe? Just a small cav uh, group to maybe try a cheeky little attack rear. And from here, I do think we're going to need another giant... That's going to be most of our money this turn. That way we have two, uh, in case we have to have two Stormcasters. Uh, 
by this guy. He built a temple. He's looking to do a lab, but we don't have the money this turn, so he can preach for a second. I don't remember, did we even check this fight? I really need to get in a better habit of watching the fights first. Like I said, I sometimes I feel like I need to get something done before I lose the thought when we start a turn. And then once I do that, I'm off I'm off rails. <laughs> I, I might be doing anything at that point. So it's it's hard to keep track of that. Something I'm gonna work on. One one percent better every every stream, remember, that's the motto. 1%, and someday it won't suck. All right. Um, search for magic site, search for magic. It was battle, finish the construction. Okay. We are, we are being super cheeky here, but I like it. <laughs> I need the income, like, really badly. <laughs> so I'm going to take every little square I can. We'll see how much of a regret I have on that. I don't think either the calf. Um, they have the lance, and you know it, it only takes one lance to to cripple a guy. I, I think a few. I'm gonna grab a few just to have the chance. You know, I'm just gonna roll the dice on those. I'm not gonna go super heavy into it though. Not that that fort can even recruit that many anyways. And he's putting down temples. Yeah, I love spamming temples. We're doing research here. Okay, we're gonna get level three this turn. We might, we might be able to get alt five. We'll see. What the supplies look like down here? Six hundred. This is gonna be a bad supply spot, though. That could be a problem. That could be a big problem, actually. It's interesting that this is cold, too. There must be a site here. Because he didn't take cold scales. This isn't on top of a cave entrance. That's interesting. There's something there. It's got to be. All right, next step of alteration. We found we searched for sites. We had two battles. Okay, this should be our throne ping. All right, what do you got? A death blood, but only one path and a couple gems, few slaves. Ditto. Yeah. Here's the big boy. Not actually that much. We might take the throne on our way to the capital, because I'm really worried about marching through that swamp. We're going to start starving. Um, I don't think we have the nature gems to be able to forge any uh, supply items. All right, this is our cheeky expansion. Okay, bronze heavy cat or heavy infantry coming in. Um, these guys are actually not bad. We're just slightly better. Oof, ouch. Actually got a guy. I got two. I do wish the AI was a little bit better about getting your guys around the side. Like, maybe not all of them spill across, but like, like right here. These guys should be moving over here and here, at least, to try to like stop the flank. That's interesting that these guys started running that way, even though we're on attack closest. Normally I would have expected them to just move up and attack those. All right, slingers aren't going to do anything to us. What do we lose? Three guys? Okay, not bad. An unexpected event. More plague. Okay, so we have a death site there. There's got to be one here. Because that's twice we've had a plague event or a disease event there. 
All right, let's go see if we can get bruh diseased. All right, now we finally reached the end of the cheekiness, and we'll, we'll get one more victory one and then head home. Big thrown up there. Not seeing a ton of units, so that's good. All right, let's, let's actually take a second and think about thrones for a minute. We haven't really done that. We can get underwater if we have to. This is not that bad of a throne. So let's count this one as doable. We have Mermfolk. We have our giants. Uh, we can tech up to water elementals if we need them. So let's count that. That's one. This is definitely doable. Two. Three. So we would have to go through Makone to get to one of those. If we went underground... We have one here. So one, two, three, four, let's say. That's okay. We could do that. Okay, let's let's do the nap. I'm okay with that. As much as my bloodthirstiness says let's just kill them all. Um, we have the victory even if we can't fight these guys. Let's let's try it. So we're gonna it's S to send diplomatic message. And we're gonna send that to Makone, and we're gonna propose a non-aggression. Let's see what happens with that. All right, and oh, our scout bounced off the other side. That's fine. Come down here. Let's take a peek. See what he's got sitting on his cap. We haven't really seen a lot of units, one way or the other here. Okay, now I think I think. I'm being super greedy this game for some reason. I, I know I keep saying it, but let's get the lab and then no more infrastructure. We'll, we'll start one more fort, but we're not going to infrastructure it because we need to get troops. Like, it's great to talk about this war and all, but so far we have like one mage that's going to fight in this war. Two mages. <laughs> okay, we got that on recruits. We're already paying for that guy. Let's get another scout down here. Already getting him for this turn. Get some giants, and that's all of our cash. These guys, what were they doing? I think they're just kind of like doing some light searching while they're burning time, essentially. Man, if there's a disease site here, I'm gonna have to march my army through here to get to the throne. It's annoying. There's always disease sites where I need to be. The Argartha game had a really nasty one. We had to keep marching through it like to get to a throne and then to get to Zabulba. We just kept having to go through that same disease province. Super annoying. I think this guy's just gonna wait here to keep an eye if they expand. I think that's valuable information. I'm really hoping that this giant comes out as air four. That would really make my storm casting a lot cheaper. Let's roll that one through. Vesper, welcome in, welcome in. <laughs> Craig says, I really get to fight AI Makone because I'm usually playing as them. <laughs> yeah, it's a cool nation. It really is. It's, uh, when did they, add they added that in, in Dominions 5, not on launch though. If I remember right, that was one of the added nations. Or, or maybe I'm thinking of one of the later age ones was the added. Some, I'm sure someone, someone will remember that, but. Yeah, that was one of the cooler ones I thought that they added. Nabah is pretty cool too. Um, I don't like their early age incarnation that much, but I do like Nabah a lot. They have the Avite troops I really like, and like genie magic. So it's a good good combination there. All right, um, our last indie battle that's not a throne for a while. Shouldn't be anything bad here. We jab up the calf, perfect. Light calf comes in and gets stabbed, perfect. Yeah, textbook. 
We didn't decay ourselves. That's always nice. Or weakness, I guess that one was. Okay, good, good. Unexpected event. Uh, rumors of a plague in a neighboring province. People are suspicious of foreigners and trade has been hampered. Armed men could probably seal the borders, but it would further decrease commerce. Yeah, there's something going on. That might be a whole story event that popped. Abundance of rules and regulations slowing down commerce. Okay, it's whatever up there, really. All right, you guys, stealth on home for me, please. All right, enough of you guys, because we're going to start third and probably final Palisades for now. You guys are coming home. You are just doing some light searching. Okay, we finish Alteration 3 next turn. Maybe this extra fort's too greedy. Maybe I should just get some more troops. There they are. There they are. Wait a minute. Did they actually take heat? I don't think they did. I think that there's a volcano site here that ups the heat. Because this should not be cold right now. It's only fall. This definitely should not be cold. Okay. Early fall, so we have a few turns to get in position. I think this is too much. I think we need the money because we need to get some more. We need troops, we need casters. We're not gonna not gonna win this war with hopes and prayers. Or changing our, our flag to Formoria. Alright, um, we're getting a scout into his capital. Let's get one down here. Search there, move up. Search here. There's got to be a death site here. There's got to be. I can't believe that there's not. Alright, he can preach. Um, and we didn't see their capital, right? No. Okay, so let's keep moving until we... Until we find that. Okay, they're coming home. He's doing some light searching. He's gonna wait till I have money. Um, we could get some more Alquils, but I think we need this for combat gems at this point. Out of curiosity, we don't have any rituals that are useful at the moment, do we? Summon some ogres. We could distill gold. Unfortunately, his turns are worth too much to do that. Otherwise, I would. No. Nothing particular there. We're just going to keep the research going. Yeah, 16 is not terrible for one of those little dudes. I, I do think that this guy's worked out all right. Having the inspiring researcher... Well, I'd prefer that he went out and did some site searching first, just to get the gems uh, rolling. I think for the circumstances of this game, that was the right choice. What is she going to cast when we get into combat, though? I guess Ephemeral Bolt or, or that. Eh, I guess it's okay. I don't like having these um, Numidian Sorceresses do air magic, if I can help it. Because we have much cheaper air magic guys. I much prefer that they do death or glamour things. Check the mercs. If I was ready to go on the throne, the green horde wouldn't be bad. But I don't think we are... You guys get home two turns. I think they need to come back. This is, we're going to need to pick up troops. We did get that air four. Good. Okay, so. Early fall, fall, late fall. 
winter, midwinter, late winter, spring. So we're already off on our timing slightly. I think we go through the throne. We'll have to see if this is a disease site or not, I guess. But we may still have to go through it either way, because going through this swamp, I don't think there's going to be enough supplies for the amount of troops we're going to bring. I think we're just going to be starving when we have to fight. We really don't want that. Alright, so we're going to get a few more turns of these guys. We'll search here and here probably, and then the Prophet will have to come into combat. We're at Alt 4 next turn. I think I think no matter what, we just wait for Alt 5 at this point, even if it means our timing's slightly off for cold. It's not going to change that much. The Lightning doesn't care what their protection is. We still 90% sure it doesn't care. Yeah, armor negating. So it doesn't care what the protection is. So if it's hot, it sucks for the line troops, but doesn't make a difference for our magic. I always do di diplomacy from the pretender list. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple ways to get there. No big problems on that. Bra says, need to go, man. Hope you won the war. Me too. Me too. Have a good day if you don't make it back. Uh, this could be perfect timing if you catch them in the cold. Yeah, I think my timing's off by a turn, unfortunately. But having Storm is way more powerful than slightly colder scales. So I think I think we're committed to the Storm, basically. So we need... Two, three turns of research, and then we can march out. So yeah, we, we missed the winner, unfortunately. We're still not seeing giant armies, though. So hopefully this is all they've got, and we can just win in one big cataclysmic battle. Alright, so here we're getting him. Let's also get... I guess we're going to get repelled no matter which type of troop we get. So I think we get the axes for more damage. And down here. Alright, you guys, I really need you back. ASAP. Right, he can lead those troops. He can pick up these guys and those guys. Alright, so Harold returned. Okay, they accepted. Okay, so we've got that non-aggression. That's good. We finished that alteration. Yeah, it's going to be three turns. We could move out maybe in two. We'll have to see what that would do to our research. Found a magic site. Alright, what was it? Not a death site. So it's just an event. It's highly unlikely it's a death four site. Weird. Let's... Well, I'm out of money. I was going to say, we could up the province so we could at least get one patrol strength and maybe catch an event or something that's going on there but we are broke we are broke broke still have not found yeah still have not found any earth income we did find a little bit more uh, air and the great gold mine I think we've known about that for a little bit but a little extra income we have not, we haven't done great job searching, but boy, we have not found anything either. It's very sad. There's Makone. Did he literally just expand like straight towards me? Now, if my expansion had been a little bit better, we probably could have got like this as our border. Would have felt a lot better about that. That's all right. 
not the worst. He he didn't take up spots near our frontline forts or anything, so. A scratty was seen in the army raiding powder. That's probably the prophet. Giant fortress, yeah. Yeah, not nothing too crazy there. Not that many either. Which makes me suspicious. Now watch, he, he rolled like a glamour mage and he's hiding like a hundred giants. Yeah, I think we're I think we are gonna chance just sit well, let's move off the cap. I don't wanna get patrolled off. We'll just bounce back and forth. Hi, uh Incubus Daniel, welcome in, welcome in. Yep, my Herald made it. That's, yeah, usually it'll say, like, they sent the head back if it failed. So you kind of know right away on that one. Daniel says, I'm here really only to say I could finally play this damn game after watching your videos. Many thanks for the comprehensive explanations of what you do and why. Well, thank you very much. Um, I appreciate that, really. Um, I really enjoy um, explaining things in what I hope is a way to help people get into the game. Um, I, I, I don't count myself as an expert by any stretch of the imagination, but I think I know enough to be dangerous and enough to at least help other people get into it. And I think um, if you're the type of person that likes this type of game, it will get its hooks into you and it will get it in deep. You just have to make that initial uh, learning curve, which is, which is mighty steep. It is mighty steep. There's also the, the, the pull of, like many other Dominions players, when you do get really into it, you fall into the trap of over-explaining things, and that's just another barrier for new people trying to get into the game. Um, you know, when I, when I really dig into combat, we start looking at, oh, he rolled a 7, and I rolled an 8, and that means yada, yada, yada. That's really important, and like when you're deep in the weeds, it matters, but when you're a new player, you don't care. <laughs> you just don't care at all so it's it's a fine line to walk and especially what i'm doing what i'm doing right now where i'm playing a different nation every week but i'm still kind of explaining a little much for people i think that are here every week so i'm, I'm still trying to find that balance between welcoming in new people but still keeping it interesting for people who just want to watch a game get played and i know that those aren't necessarily the same group of people Okay, let's go ahead and roll that turn. Yeah, Thugs and Super Combatants is its own little mini game. Um, there, I, I don't remember who has a good tutorial, but I guarantee you, uh, if you just check Thug tutorial or Super Combatant tutorial, somebody has a good one. And it hasn't really changed much between 5 and 6, so there'll be some relevant ones. My only thing I'd say about that is, if you want to do that, Pick a nation that's good at it. Don't pick Arca Cephali and think that you're going to thug out their mason or something. Pick, like, Yomi and do super combatant Yomi, like I did in my first stream, because that's what they're good at, and so you'll have success with it. One of the traps I fell into when I first learned about thugs, I wanted to thug everything, and there's just certain chassis it doesn't work for, or it costs so much that it's not worth the investment. Independence attacking. Now we're getting attacked by werewolves. Man. Those turmoil square uh, scales are coming back to haunt us. The worst part about this is when the other AI immediately jumps in there and takes the territory. And you can't get it back. Because you're in a nap with them. So I hope that is not the case here. Um, I think we're going to have to actually go take that back with a prophet because I do not want that to just sit and be taken by him. That's going to be super annoying because I have other things I would rather do with this.
Okay, um, let's see. He does not need to bless himself. He does not need anti-archer stuff. Uh, we'll throw a personal mist for him just to be safe. And then I think he can just advance and cast whatever he wants. That's so annoying. That does kind of tell me, like, I need to get these up to, like, 10. See if I can knock some more of those events off the table. It's a tightrope. It's a tightrope. I really want to get these extra troops out. Um, to wit, I don't think we're going to be able to afford a sorceress this turn. Let's grab one of him. A couple more of those. Actually, no. Let's not even get him. Let's get... Wow, all the way down to that. Ugh. Yeah, let's just get more giants, I suppose. Okay, where are we at here? Okay, two... Two turns, for sure, we could move out in one turn. So next turn, we could march out. Uh, so if we did, we'd be here with our Prophet. We'd have to go back for one turn. Okay, so we're fine. We'll have to meet up probably here. I think we are going to go through the throne. Rather than down here. And he just forded that too. Hmm. I really hope that these are just garbage forts. They're on swamp, so they have to be, right? Like, what are the odds he got, like, a 10,000 population swamp? My my Inkidu are just drooling at the thought. Yeah. Okay, so we have one more turn of recruitment, and then we're moving out from here. So these two forts can still recruit for a little bit. Um, do we want to grab some slingers? Do I care? I don't think Slingers are going to do anything to those giants. At all. I think I'd rather have a couple more Axemen, if anything. They're all going to fatigue out in those Auras, though. So, I don't know. That's going to be iffy. Okay. And bring you in. You in. We'll get this fixed up properly later, but I want to make sure I throw some orders on here. Lest I forget and we walk in there just completely un unscripted. And he can wait here because he's going to have to pick up next turn's recruitment. I guess Lud could. He's going to be my Stormcaster. Do we have anything interesting we could forge? Missile protection, we don't really need it. Lightning resist, we don't really need it. True shot longbows are not bad. I really like these on just just about any commander that doesn't have something else to do, because it's twelve shots of precision thirty with a decent magic attack. So if you're on a nation that has air gems and nothing to do with them, that's a pretty decent item. But I don't think we're gonna do that. I think we need them. This is our national item, by the way, Spear of Morgana. This thing is amazing. It has six magic damage with life drain, and it adds attack and defense and decay. This is such a good good weapon. Our Morganas come with the standard if we get there. Okay, we're bouncing back and forth with that scout. I think we're just gonna stop here and just keep an eye on Makone. I think the rest of the world is irrelevant to our current circumstances, so we don't really care. Vincenar says, Lucid has a good video for thugs. Um, or this nation with the kings. Yeah, these, these guys are fine. Um, my, my personal favorite super combatant chassis in early age is the Oni. I really like them. There actually was a, a bug fix for them, actually. I think it was two patches ago. That when you go into your ethereal form and back, 
you lose the afflictions like you should. That was not working properly when I played them. Uh, people chatting about thug things. <laughs> Chad Goblin Thug, yeah. <laughs> Make it happen. G good luck. You you find a cost effective way to do that, and I'll I'll do it. I'm honestly curious if there's a good scout chassis. Um, check the later era giant nations for sacred scouts. I know one of them has it. Um, their problem is you have to have a way to bless them. So you have to come up with how they're going to do it. Because I don't believe they're priests. They're just sacred. So you have to use an item or uh, somebody else to get them going. Shouldn't you be making quills? I'm holding off. We're going to use a lot of these air gems in the war. Um, that's our emergency air elementals. And it's storms. Of which I don't know how many I'm going to have to cast. And I'll probably give everybody an air gem. Just to give us even more oomph. Ideally, we hit him here with all of his big guys, and we blow all of our gems on that fight. That's kind of my hope. Okay, um, we have... We have to stay here for one more turn of research, I feel, before we move out. So next turn we move. Quills are the least efficient gym booster. Uh, you might be right about that, especially because I don't have a, a hammer. But uh, I think that's because they were left on Construction 3. All the other ones, correct me if I'm wrong, are Construction 5 or up now. So Construction saw quite a lot of, I guess you'd say, nerfs. Things got moved to later. Like, I was shocked earlier. I was looking at boosters when I was de designing uh, Fomorian Sun. And I, I kept thinking, like, why can't I find these items? Well... They were all like staff of elemental and whatnot up on construction seven, whereas they used to be five or five ish. So I like it though, because it means your national paths mean a lot more. While I'm thinking of it, let's take this item. And Formorian Sun could actually use uh, some protection from missiles. So he'll, he'll actually appropriate that for the greater good. Okay. Let's get people set up into squads here. How good of a leader are you? You are pretty dang good. Yeah, that'd be plus two morale. You should be leading these. Alright, so you can just chill here. Okay, you're leaving, you're leaving, you're leaving, you're leaving. We're going to head to there so you'll have a chance to get your gems. From here, we're going to move here so these guys don't need to move yet. They've still got a couple turns. Even though the bulk of people are leaving, I do think we're going to at least get the sacreds here. And up front, we're going to grab more axemen just for bodies, essentially. These guys are going to die in droves. It's not a good day to be a Furbog Axeman. Okay. I suppose we didn't watch that fight, even though I think that's a foregone conclusion. Yeah, yeah, see, they got one of those sacreds. I actually got... Both of them, wow. Okay, maybe that wasn't a foregone conclusion. That actually is pretty dangerous. Does that cav kill the leader? Oof, okay, that was way more dangerous. Got a limp. Yeah, those sakers just do not do much. All right, back down here. Got as much defense as we could afford for now. You guys head over. Yeah, you can make it in time. Let's keep moving back and forth here. I 
Uh, Item-wise for death gems, I haven't really seen anything at uh, Construction 3 of particular note. Um, Champion School has its ni very niche uses, but I wouldn't spend the, the mage turns on it, frankly. We're in such a research, like, panic at the moment. In fact, I think she might be our new site searcher. Because we still, we have got to get that done. We need to find some more gems. I really wish we had gotten lucky and found some earth gems, even though that was unlikely. Okay, we got a bunch of unexpected events. Winners come reducing and hindered the plague from spreading. Okay, this is that event that's happening. Okay. Yeah, we got like a whole plague event going on. That's pretty iffy. <laughs> it's pretty dang iffy. iffy. Alright, um, bounce back to there. All right, we finished our alteration stuff, so let's get ourselves set up. He's not here yet. Okay, we'll do that next turn, because he's going to be the Stormcaster. It's kind of the centerpiece of that army. She's going to go searching, still researching. Okay, we will actually get to Thunderstrike, so that'll be good. That'll give us a lot more oomph. And I guess he can search for a turn... No. Let's have other people search for a turn. And he can actually preach. Because our dominion's still not full here. Alright, and you can carry on searching. Okay, we still can wait one more turn to move these guys out. Uh, you, good timing, bro. We're just marching out for the big war. We we hit our research goals, so I, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I You know, you'd always like more mages than what you have, but I feel like we're, we've got an okay amount. Uh, you did catch a limp, though. You, you were losing a battle with some uh, uh, werewolves, which I guess we stole one of their... I am glad I caught that. Oh, it can't be removed! Oh, no. Okay, well, you're now a werewolf giant prophet, and it has instant berserk, so he can't do any prophet things. What are the odds? What are the odds? Can I, can I get him to, to cast shoot? How are we going to bless our guys? Oh, man, that. Do we wait one more turn and have our god come up with no items on? They just took the throne, so next turn would be the turn to hit him. Oh, man, what are the odds that our prophet, that our prophet of all people picks up the stupid amulet that gives him instant berserk? I need to, like, get you twice born and killed. <laughs> as soon as possible. Yeah, because you're not even going to be able to self-buff. You're just literally going to run in there. Well, take a few of them with you, bruh. Wow, what, what are the odds? I cannot believe that. Alright, well, Mage Core... Actually, hold on. I do want to give you guys all one gem. I, I 
I'm aghast. I cannot believe that. And the fact that it is a cursed item that I can't take off. That would have been totally fine on any other commander. I wouldn't have cared. All right. Lud, <laughs> you are going to be the Stormcaster, so let's check your uh, script here. So he is Air 4. It is Air 4, so we could cast it for a single gem, but that would give him 100 fatigue. So we're definitely going to want to give him a, a decent handful of gems. I think we're going to put him on conservative gem use. Um, you're going to just cast spells. In fact, I want you to do personal mist form. Although the giants will probably pop that right away. It's better than nothing. And then you can have eight gems. We're going to be optimistic and think we're going to win a couple fights. All right, and then all of you guys each get one. Yeah, see, this is... I, I'm being pretty generous with the gems here, but I, I really would like us to win that fight. I very strongly would like us to win that fight. I feel like if we can take their capital, we can turn off their fire giants... And I'm not scared of anything else they can do. It's just those fire giants are so much better than what we have. All right, let's get troops organized. I think everyone's going to go under Stormcaster because he's our best leader that doesn't go berserk. Oh man, I'm going to have to script so many blessings. <laughs> this is going to be annoying. We don't have any other magic items. Nope. Um, we do have some glamour gems. We could give some glamour or some death gems. Okay, so what what are you going to do? Throw some drain life. Not really that big a deal, though. Not against giants. Okay, we could do... Nightfall. No, we need to do Twilight first. Okay, so we could do Twilight. Twilight gives Glamour Mages plus one skill, and it lowers Perception minus two unless you have Dark Vision or True Sight, which I don't believe our Druids have. No. That's fine, though. Um, they're just going to be Huckin' Lightning. <laughs> yeah, we didn't hit any of the big spells, I feel, for these guys. We could throw Shadow Warriors. It's not bad. Ephemeral Blast or Ghost Wolves. Shadow Bolt's not bad. Bolt of Unlife's not bad. Yeah, I think I'm just going to kind of let them choose. I'm going to set them up with some self buffs and some gems and just tell them to go to town. Alright, so we'll have them summon Storm Power just in case they start storming stuff. We'll do Air Shield... And then I think I'm just going to let them do what, I, what they want. See what people are saying here. Yeah, that's, that's the uh, downside to being a pessimist. It, when you're right, you're not happy about it. <laughs> 
yeah, I think that's that's gonna be fine. And then they can just cast spells. I don't want them getting closer. So that'll be her. That'll be her. Unfortunately, we didn't roll any glamour threes. I was hoping for. We only got these glamour twos. Okay, and then we're gonna give you like four glamour gems. You can really go to town. And same with you. Okay. Then we need... Okay, do we have any druids? Okay, we do have some that have nature. Okay. So, the non-nature guys... Now, Storm doesn't come out until... Round 2, essentially. Round 3, depending on how you want to count that. So, we're not going to have the Storm Power right away, but we could cast it. I think we're going to grab... Personal Mist Form, and then Storm Power... And then we're going to start rolling up the... Oh, we don't have Thunderbolt hit yet, though, do we? I can't queue it. And we're probably not going to get it. We're going to be stuck on Evo 4. Oh, no, we have Thunderstrike. What am I saying? Did I just miss that? Oh, there it is. It was grayed out because without Summon Storm Power, we're not there yet. And we're going to try for three, but we, we won't. We'll get two off. And then... Cast spells. Alright, so this is going to be the guys that are not nature. So him, him, and him. And then the nature guys are going to do air shield. No. They're going to do Mist Form, and then they're going to do Eagle Eyes, and then they're going to do Storm Power, and then they're going to Thunder Strike. The Eagle Eyes will really, really help them. And that's this one. Luckily, oh, but we need to do all of our Blesses, too. As soon as they go off script, they're all going to start Blessing. It's going to be so annoying. Okay, so you could bless. No, no, we're going to have to change these. That's not going to work. Dang it, dang it, dang it. We're going to have to do some blessing. We're going to have to do like two. And then we're going to do summon storm power. Oh, I can't. That stupid werewolf amulet. This went from being a super simple, very strong... He just blesses everyone when we're good to go to not. We're not good at all. We're quite the opposite of good, actually. All right, so I'm going to give that to the non-nature people. And then we're going to have to organize people really carefully. I hope this is enough chaff. I guess we're going to have a little bit more coming from down here. All right, all of you people move here. All of you people move here. And then we can... Script from both. Right, Non-nature guy. Sorry this is taking so long, guys, but this we, we got to make sure we have a decent script here. Or we're going to be done. Luckily, you can do the uh, save and paste. All right, and then any of you guys, I need you to just... Spam blessing like no tomorrow. I hope you just do that the entire fight. We're gonna have, we're gonna end up having so many people not not blessed. It's gonna be so annoying. <laughs> okay. We need to get our enchantment up so we can twice born that guy and then get him killed. All right and. Information. All right, so let's think here. We've got our giants. We don't want to be very far forward. We're going to need some time for things to happen. Um, I think we're going to have them try a hold and attack rear. They're going to get chomped alive by giants, but maybe we can get into the back and get some lucky hits. This is our... Berserker. Um, 
sure, he, he can go there. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. All right, and these are the nature. Okay, so one nature guy there, one non-nature. One non-nature, one nature. Try to pair them up so that they buff the nature guys. Okay, this is the storm caller. It's gonna be back there. That's a nature, non-nature. Nature. Non-nature. Non-nature. All right, more Furbog Warriors. I think we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to try a cheeky hold and attack rear. A little bit. And if nothing else, if, if we're getting flanked, they'll just bump into that. All right, these guys are going to try their darndest to get a whole lot of blessings. Whoops. A whole lot of blessings off and fail miserably. Okay, sorceress, sorceress. They might go into buff mode, so we'll put them closer to the line. Nature, not nature. Okay. Fortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, I would normally prefer these nature guys because they're they're better thundercasters. But we really just need people to buff a bunch of blessings, so that's annoying. I think that's as good as we've got. All right, this guy's out searching. We'll go check that with a scout, and we'll have this scout come up to the capital over here. Still recruiting that. Still recruiting here. We're going to go cheap, and we're going to get some more these guys. These would really struggle to kill those giants, I think. They're going to have a chance to get repelled, and their Hedar is going to pass them out before they whittle them down, I feel. So that might be a really bad matchup for us. We'll see. We also don't have an accurate count. Like this could be five. It could be more. We're not seeing any up here, though. Maybe they've just been so poor they haven't been able to buy them. I mean, we can we can hope, right? Okay, one last check. Evo complete. She... Found a site over here. We found an animal cemetery. I would prefer literally just to have a death gem rather than summon some worthless skeletons. So that's unfortunate. The plague continues and the plague cult is gaining followers. Please don't plague my entire army when I move here. Pretty please. Maybe I need to stop uh, doing these streams with the uh, random events on. I don't know. Yeah, that's true. He, we could, we could have bounced right here. That was a distinct possibility, but we didn't. So that's something, I suppose. All right, she's out searching. This is the combined army. We're going for it. Okay, unfortunately, we did not get to see what he had there. The giants are missing from here all of a sudden. I think we're actually going to need another commander. Oops. Another commander back here. Well, no. Let's continue getting... Sorcerer. And we will actually grab... Where's our junkie guy? You come here. We're going to need you to ferry things. We were on a shoestring budget at the moment. All right, we're replenishing our casters a little bit back here. We'll get a couple of those at least, and then we'll have, probably have to stop recruiting those. All of you guys are moving up. The random events do add a lot of flavor, but they can really screw you too. Um, earlier on I was mentioning I was playing an Arcus of Folly test game and I had this event that spawned like a neutral band of barbarians but they actually moved 
So they ended up taking my entire cap circle. I don't know if it was multiple events firing that caused it or if it was the same group moving, but they like literally ended my game. It, it spawned in the first year. Oh, I accidentally moved uh, from Morian's son. That was not my intention. Um, it's not my intention at all. I don't know how I did that. That's fine. He can do his business up here. He can also search while he's here, I suppose. It's not going to change. Yeah, we're heading for alteration, but we're a long ways out. This is going to give us Soul Vortex, and that will make our uh, kings super combatant-y. And I guess we should probably think about what we want after that. I think we're going to do some Conjuration and think about getting underground. So let's go up to Conjuration 4 and then a bunch of enchantment. Alright, over here we're searching. That could have been really bad. I'm glad he ended somewhere safe. All right, moving and not sneaking, making sure we don't make that mistakes. Yeah, I did notice that they are joining up here. Hence, we're going to bring these reinforcements in here, hopefully. I guess we should probably turn this recruitment off and turn this recruitment on. And I think we'll get the guys with javelins, because we might be defending a fortress entrance. That's okay though, if they if they come up here and they siege this down while I siege this, I will make that trade. And if they move on and try to get here, then we can come out of these forts, so I'm not too worried. I would like to hit this... Like, separately, though. I'm hoping these don't get a chance to group up. We'll see. We haven't declared war until this turn. Like, this is us attacking them. Um, not really worth watching, but we'll just check it out. Now, I don't think the AI will use up all of our gems here because it's not going to be a threatening enough force. He says as he casts Storm. Yeah, so I guess they considered this threatening enough. All right, well, we at least can test our script. All right, how many of you guys ended up getting blessed? Okay, you're blessed. You're blessed. Okay, not, not the worst. All right, that's, that's not pure misery. And they did push through that front line. So the front line should be a little bit further forward. And there's Bruh charging in with his limp. <laughs> Werewolf giant with a limp. Okay, Thunderstrikes are going out. Hitting ourselves quite handily there. Good thing we have all that resistance. Bra's just going to town here. It's gone berserk. 15 attack skill. I cannot get over. What are the odds? What are the odds? There is something weird with the hitboxes of these arrows. All the time I go to click these, and I end up clicking on shrubs. All right. That seemed okay. We might want to move our front line forward slightly. Plague Cult continues to gain followers. I really need to get something over there and, like, patrol. <laughs> like, I really, really need to do that. Alright. We... I mean, is there even a reason to have Bruck come with us? Maybe he should stop and claim the throne. I think we're going to do that. Try not to go berserk while you claim the throne. And we'll march on Niflheim. 
There's another set, so they'll probably they'll probably attack over here. But they can't cross the river, so they'll come into here. That's all right. And they didn't come over. Well, no, they, we just declared this turn, so next turn we'll see if they're coming over. We're curtain more guys. He's going to come down here and pick up reinforcements. We are broke. We'll just get some more research. We are so broke. Yeah, we, we found a copper idol, so that's another air gem at least. And we'll just go back to research. Actually, no, we should walk home because he's not going to give inspiring research over here. So that was a... I don't know how I did that misclick, but should not have done that. And he does not have stealth either, so we really don't want him out and about. End up getting caught by somebody. All right, and you guys, I don't want you patrolling because I want you inside the fort. Since you missed my last question earlier, so I wanted to question you again. Do you plan on doing a late-age nation? Um, yeah, I, I'm going to move through the nations. I, My favorite age is the early age, and it's the age I'm most comfortable with. Hence, starting here, essentially. Um, when, you're, when, I, when I don't know a nation well enough, it's hard to pay attention to chat and stream and come up with a plan all at the same time. I just don't have the brain power for that. So it's easier to do on nations I'm more comfortable with, but I'm sure we'll work our way through. Um, I've had the urge to do some middle age stuff lately, so that's probably coming at some point. Um, it's not that I don't like them or anything. I just find the early age really fun because it's got monsters and magic, lots of it. Whereas the later ages are more human flavored, I'll say. So... But yeah, I, I got nothing against them. They have some really cool nations in there, too. We haven't done a pop kill nation yet. We haven't done... We really haven't done any major human nations. Arcus of Folly is what I'm going to have for next week. So that'll be kind of a palate cleanser here. Um, we haven't done an underwater nation either. So those are all kind of floating around in my brain of like, what, what would people like to see? Um, I also keep... People keep asking about Helheim. Uh, they've never been... I think I played Helheim once in Dom 5, so I need to play them some. I, I was peeking at them today while eating eating dinner uh, just to see how they changed. They do look quite a lot different. So that may be another one that sounds like people are interested in. All right. Yeah, we're going to move up there. Let's roll that one. Yeah, I haven't done a Blood Nation. Um... Yeah, I like Lonka, I like Baratos, and I like, um, I just lost it, giants, other giants with, with blood. Uh, I like all three of the nations, so one of those will probably happen. I just have to work up the guts to do it, because that's going to be so much micromanagement, and it's already hard for me to sight search and talk at the same time. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll get there. I'm getting 1% better every stream. 1% better. Alright, we knew they were going to take that, so they're going to come for this throne next turn. Um, I'm not going to just throw Bro's life away. I think we move him down here. Alright, let's see these battles. Mespelheim. This is the main fort, just the defense, though. Okay, we got a couple big boys. We can see how bad this is going to be. Okay, hopefully our lightning bolt people take care of them in short order. Okay, storm goes up. Let's slow that down. Okay, that was quite a whiff, guys. Okay, human troops, well, furbog troops are filling in the spaces.
took disease resistant. Interesting. Okay, lots of thunder strikes going on. Probably better that they target these than these, because this is in the middle of our troops now. When they go off script, they'll probably lightning bolt those open. We did not kill as many of these giants as I would have liked to have seen from that much thunder going in there. Okay, our mage core is probably tired at this point. Yep, fatigue. That's the Thunderbolt. But they'll come back online. They'll start probably lightning. Okay, yeah, they're all starting to bless themselves because they're off script. Alright, first big boy down. Let's see how this has been going. Let's talk about getting into the weeds here. Okay, so... Some javelins go in and do nothing. We... Hit him, but don't make it through protection. He misses, we miss. The furball gets repelled. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured was going to happen to them. We missed, we missed. Yeah, the unmarked are struggling to hit quite badly. When we do hit, we're doing damage, though, so that's good to see. We are using piercing weapons, so we have a decent chance of getting through there. All right, that, that wasn't the worst thing ever, but uh, if, the, if he had, like, ten of those, that might be a different story. He also wiped out most of our fur bogs that were in there, so uh, I guess they serve their purpose as chaff. Same thing with these guys that are going to die horrendously here. Okay, they took yeah so they've taken some lightning damage but we didn't kill them we just didn't have enough we needed more casters oh come on guys don't hit our own team all right looks like he's probably routed yep all right well I can't say I'm particularly impressed but nor am I disappointed so this was an acceptable battle. Yeah, they're coming the lightning bolts. So for those big giants, I'm kind of thinking that rather than Thunderstrike, Lightning Bolt might be the way to go. We, w we can cast a lot more lightning bolts than we can Thunderstrikes. Leave the Thunderstriking to our Air 3 guys rather than trying to, trying to force it on our Air 2s, at least versus the giants. If those were human-sized, I think that might be a different story. He has a lot of gems on him. Can we kill him before he gets away? No. Just light ourselves on fire. Oh, nice! Promote that man! Promote him! Good job, team. That was a lot of gems. Okay, that was... That was acceptable. <laughs> That's as far as I'm willing to go on that one. Alright, this is... Purine attacking me? What? They came out of the cave and attacked. And I guess we're at war. Oh, okay. Well, that's annoying. Surprising and annoying. All right, and this is them just taking that rando province. Okay, so a bunch of normal troops, no big boys. Oh, no, I take that back. A couple big boys. Three of them. Okay, we can take three. Pretty sure we can take three. Okay, this plague cult is, is not, not good. We really need to get over there and patrol that out. I have a feeling they're just going to kill that entire province. Unrest increased. An ill moon rises. People whisper in fear of transforming curse of lycanthropy. 
Wolves prowl the night, closer to settlements of men than normal. Dogs go rabid, howling and barking madly. What are you, what are you doing to me, bruh? Okay, we've started to take the walls. Unfortunately, we didn't get them. That's very unfortunate. That means they're going to have time to get over here. Okay, he did not march up, so that's at least something. Back at home, not much. Okay, I think we're going to turn off that recruitment and try to get just troops. We just need some more bodies. Yeah, keep those going in case we have to hold up walls. I almost want to take this guy over there and do a little patrolling, but I'm really worried if we leave, they're going to come take the fort. And I'm going to be stuck outside having to attack them. I think I have to, though. I think I have to get that, because I, I don't know where that event goes, but it can't be good. Alright, we are going to Mist Swarm. And then we are going to do a bunch of Lightning Bolts. Yeah, I am, I am serious enough about this that I'm even going to send a little bit of Mage support. Because I... Don't know what that event does, but it has been continuing for like 10 turns, and it seems to be getting worse, not better. And we'll have this guy just ferry, ferry troops up to the fort each turn. Right, back to research. We are just a few turns out from Alteration. We'd love to get some more Fomorian Kings out, but we're just broke. We really need this war to end. I don't, I don't even know what to do about this one. We could PD dump, I guess. They didn't have that many guys. Is that worth 200 gold? Sure. I guess. I wonder if that means we have the Throne of Lycanthropy. I know there is one. I don't remember what tier it is. No. Crystal, iron, water, air, death. Maybe it's misfortune. All right, and then for here, we need to change our scripting. So for these guys, rather than thunder strikes, we're going to flip them over for just lightning bolts. We don't quite have the oomph for the thunderbolting, at least not against giant-sized troops. I see our sorceress did get diseased. Perfect. Exactly what we needed. Okay, I'm going through. These are the non-nature people. And then for the nature people, we need to do the same thing. Oops, not that guy. Boy, he took a lot of... He took a disease and it's wearing him down real quick. He took a disease. Wow. So we did get hit really bad by that province when we walked through there. We got hit really hard by that. These random events, man. We got to lose to the random events and not the giants. Uh, double check. We had an unexpected event. That's the Plague Cult. Messenger. We took the throne. Found a site. Okay, some nature coming in finally. Okay. I don't think we're going to get through these walls before they get to hit us again. Trip says late age Atlantis could be fun. They're technically a water nation. Yeah, they're just sad. They're just really sad in, in late age. 
they just really miss their water homes. And they're just cold and sad. <laughs> um, Atlantis is pretty cool. I like I like all three versions of Atlantis. What's really nice, like if you want a starter nation in early age, Atlantis for underwater, Atlantis would probably be my go-to because they're fully amphibious. They don't have any trouble getting on land, which a lot of other water nations really, really struggle. Yeah, I'm I'm questioning our, our werewolf prophet. I think he might know something about it. All right, this is them taking the throne. We knew that was going to happen. Interesting formation. Okay, we knew that was going to happen. All right, this... I think this is our fort. There was pairing of that. I don't think our PD... Uh, it's not our big PD dump. Where is that? Oh, they just... Oh, they were able to walk around it. Perfect. Perfect. You buggers. Right, I'm going to try that again. I don't know if that's going to spook them up, unfortunately. We did not get through the fortification still. All right, do we need to change our lineup here? Okay, we said that we wanted these guys back a little more. Okay, you guys, please just patrol this thing out or whatever ends this. That's killing me. I do not have time for this right now. All right, and don't really have a lot of commanders here. I guess I guess the merman gets to be command. <laughs> he really came up here. <laughs> Alright, and you can run back home, pick up more reinforcements. Um, here, I suppose. Oh, they got some more guys underground, too. I have a feeling they're going to pop up with all three of those armies next turn. I feel like... Troop to troop, other than the big giants, I feel like we're fine. We still have enough to cast Storm, right? Yeah. I think I do need to switch him over, though. Uh, if I don't have him on conservative gem use, I need to change that. Okay, I do. Because we may have to have multiple fights here without a resupply. We could march out and try to catch these guys. We could march down here and try to catch these guys. They're probably in their fort though. I doubt they're patrolling. <laughs> okay, we're still gonna search here. Yeah, we're on retreat. That's super annoying. They're going to gut me. There wasn't even a nation I was worried about. I didn't know I shared a border with them. Man, I am really torn here. Maybe we go back up here. And we kill off that force without getting hit from multiple angles. That would lower the amount of troops we have to deal with. That would let them get one turn of recruitment in. I mean, one turn's one turn. I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to play the safer on that one. Try to catch him there. Um, what was the move and patrol? I always forget that one for some reason. Move and patrol. Control shift map. That one. There we go. Want to make sure that I get in there. 
yeah, I think I think we're gonna take the safer route for once. Hopefully, we catch that army and we can just slaughter that, and then that cuts down the amount of troops they have by like maybe a third or a quarter. Okay, here they come into the fort. Oh no, just with a spell. Okay. Um, please don't kill my merman. Okay, good, good job, team. Did the merman survive? No. <laughs> okay. That was a random spell somebody just threw at that throne. No, they stealthed in. Interesting. Wow, they tried to stealth take a throne in Maconia's territory. I mean, that's a mood. <laughs> okay, Greendale. Okay, this is us pulling back, trying to catch their troops. Okay, we did. Good. All right, please just blast these guys with those lightning bolts. Just, just kill those three. Okay, eagle eyes, storm powers are charging. Come on, come on, lightning bolts. Okay, good, good, good hit, good hit. Okay, bra's getting in there. Okay, I'm kind of thinking the javelins aren't doing much. I think I'm just going to have them walk forward next time. These guys are just too heavily armored for javelins. Okay, we're off script now. We're doing some stunning. That's okay. I don't really like this bleed through. Really don't like this bleed through. Let's see what happens back here. Now we have awe. So these guys aren't as helpless as they might appear. I mean, they have mist form. They're they buffed themselves with blur. They've got the awe. These guys they don't have bad morale, but it's not stupendous either. Hopefully, somebody kills these quickly. Yeah, that's why we have lightning resist, friends. That's why we have lightning resist. That probably would have been our own deaths there. But we're wasting spells back in the back where I'd much prefer we were throwing them into this blob. I'm glad we pulled back here. Um, this would have been a loss if they had more troops. Really, I really don't like whatever's going on with that hitbox. I need to learn those hotkeys, I suppose, so I stop having to click them. Alright, I think... I think we win as long as we don't morale break here. I think they're done with all their self buffs in the back, so now we're going to start seeing some offense come out again. And at least for our druids, they don't really have too many choices. So it's basically the stun wind or it's lightning bolts. Like those are their choices. So we know they're going to cast something useful once they're out of buffs. Okay. All right. That was all right. It was all right. We saw another way we could improve our scripting. I do feel like we probably want to move forward a little on the battlefield too. So that our lightning bolts are a little more accurate on that first volley. We're a little bit closer. All right. What was the damage? Not bad. Not bad at all. Very acceptable losses there. All right. Now, we still have enough for one more storm. I need to get somebody recruited back here to bring more gems up. Okay, and this had something happen. A very deadly disease is spreading. Pran was discovered. Oh, they killed my scout down there. Okay. Sneaking enemy. Okay, this is, might be the disease cult. Yeah, you very not fun people. What even are you? I've never seen this event. 
Ilian, the Plague Cult Leader. Reaper 5, Insane, Stealthy, Death Mage. And your friends are Fellow from Yorvik Bakor. You're, you're literally just sacred and stealthy. I'm going to watch you die because you have caused me so much grief. And now you're going to solo spam me. Really? Come on, kill him. Don't let him get away. Yeah, good good job, bird. I really hope that puts an end to that event. Diseased half my main army, too. Man, what happened to Torben? Or did they finally bounce off me? Did, did our PD finally work? The, the one militia uh, Fomorian. <laughs> Poor guy. You know, he gave it his all. He tried. We just morale broke him. Jeez. Man. Man, man, man. Okay. Um, they they bounced off Estonia. Is that what happened on that one? A lot going on this turn. Yeah, they just retreated off. Oh, right, they killed the merman that was leading the defense. We really do need some good leadership again. We need somebody for that fort. Alright, we're getting the guy to bring gems. We resecured this. I'd love to get back over here and just wipe out all those guys, but I feel like we should get back on here and not let him get more recruitment. Everyone's gonna move. And we also said we wanted to refine our scripting to not hold and fire, to just hold an attack. And we also said we wanted to move up. Now this is, you want to know the best improvement on Dom 6? Right there. That, that literally is the best improvement. Do you know how long it would have taken me in Dom 5 to do that? <laughs> just to move my entire army forward one click? In fact, let's get decadent. We're going to go up like two. Really get in for a lightning range. And actually, another improvement to our script. Mr. Bruh, if you're going to go berserk anyways, I'm going to have you way back here. Maybe you can catch some of the leakers as they come through. Okay, this is reinforcements. Moving up there. This is searching for Earth. We have still not found any Earth, unfortunately. Okay. I feel like we've dealt them a lot more losses than we've taken. Fortunately, we just have this back door issue going on. We really got lucky on that fight. And, I mean, I could put one more click of PD, but, I mean, a, a slinger and a militia is not going to change the outcome. I think we're basically done on that side. Where's our research at? Okay, we're going to have ult next turn. It doesn't really change anything for us, unfortunately. We need to get a king. Like A king over here could hold this flank for us. Maybe we... We go into even further money saving mode and turn that guy off. These guys. And we save up for a king next turn. Okay. 
We're gonna get some more conjuration pretty soon. With the more conjuration, we can grab. We'll we'll, we'll dump our some of our death gems into some barg heists, and we're gonna need something to bless them. And we'll send those up there, and maybe they could hold on. That'll be okay. And if if we can deal with that, then we can take the bar guys down below. They'll be pretty good underground. Whew. Okay, I've, I'm sweating this one out, guys. I'm feeling the pressure. Right, let's see if anyone has anything to say before I roll that turn. I think you sound like Gordon Freeman from Freeman's Mind. As opposed to Kermit. Hey, well, thank you. I, I If I sounded like uh, Gordon Freeman, I would be very happy. I, I would take that. <laughs> well, you have to imagine that's like the, the cult leadership. They they were probably had other people. And I, we don't know that that's over. There might be more of them here. I, I don't know. That symbol's still here. So I've never seen this thing before. Whatever this is. So I don't think that event's over. Yeah, yeah, it's unfortunate. These guys, these guys always seem really aggressive. I don't know if they just always roll aggressive AI or if as a nation they're just super aggressive, but they always seem to attack me. I didn't, and I didn't even realize we hit, shared a border. I would have napped them because I don't really care to go after their garbage. But now I'm going to have to. So. All right, let's get that moving. All right, there's our alt. That's pretty big because that gets us soul vortex. Anything else of use? I guess we have crumble, but we don't have the earth gems to cast it, unfortunately. Not particularly great otherwise. Okay, they didn't attack us again. I guess we should. All right, this is us moving back onto his capital. Boy, our lines are starting to look a little thin. Okay, this is just PD. Please don't tell me you cast Storm. Please don't cast Storm. That's such a waste. Okay, good. I don't think he is. There's a threshold you have to hit to use gems, and even if you script to do it, they won't spend them, which sometimes can be to your detriment. Sometimes you do want them actually to use them anyways. Right, lightning lightning doing some work there. The lightning bolts are better. I think the um, thunder would be better if we were fighting humans for the AoE. But for the giants, we need the big hit to kill them. Good, good. And this is them hitting us in the south again. Now what are these guys? A boulder... Well, you got two, you got two boulders and some hand axes. See, they also have... Okay. Nothing super, but nor is RPD super either, so we're going to lose that. I need to watch that. Unexpected event. The plague cult has been eradicated! <laughs> Yay! Something good has happened to our nation. All right, they're damaging our walls. 200. Okay, so we have a few turns. We don't know how much we're damaging their walls. But, like I said earlier, in a race, I will trade uh, Esten Ophia for uh, Mespelheim. So I'm, I'm happy to make that trade. Plus, you know, let's get this scripted while I'm thinking of it. If, if they want to do this fight, more power to them, because... All these mages are going to beat the crap out of them on the way in. Hold and fire closest. Um, hold and attack closest. We'll have them back. Alright, so you guys get the... I uh, probably need a modification of that. We don't need that much blessing for these guys. Nor do we need storm power. All right, so they do, I think they just do Blessing and a bunch of Lightning Bolts. It's gonna be number five. 
And I guess I'll have to do... I'll just manually change this guy. Eagle Eyes is just really that good. It is worth, it is worth giving him his own personal script for that. And that'll be number... Six. I'm not going to remember this many scripts, unfortunately. All right, and then she... What we got? Shadow bolts, maybe? What's your pathing? I don't like these ones. This is a lot of paths that you're never going to use them all. Like, I'm not going to probably use these two, so those are just wasted. I'm just trying to pay for those. She did not roll particularly well. All right, well, you can have an air shield. I think we just put her at the front and let her go crazy with trying to buff. So I'm not seeing too much in here I'm crazy about. We have Frozen Heart, but I think these are the... These are the uh, giants that have cold resist, so that's not going to help. Yeah. Alright. Let's just spread these guys around. She can go here and try to do some buffing. Alright. If they break into our fort, they can deal with that. Alright. And this guy... Still Earth Searching. Still a hope, guys. There's still a hope. We can find some Earth Gems somewhere. Alright, and this guy was going to be our Gem Farrier. I should have done this earlier. Let's do, like, 16. We really need to make sure we have Storm when we need Storm. And we were going to recruit a King. And... Still think these guys are worth more than our Unmarked. At least for the reinforcement groups. We'll stick with that. She's still searching. Good, good, good. Okay, we, we know he's got some junky army we could beat here. Over here, I'm not seeing anything that's particularly scary. So I feel like we've got him. Unless there's another army underground that we don't know about. Once we take this... They finished that fort too, though. Eh. He's got one here I think we know about. We really need more scouting. Can I? Yeah, can at least do that. A couple more scouts. I have not done a good job this game getting scouts out. I feel like early in the game we should have skipped Eterno Druids. And we should have just got scouts. I'm just too blind. I don't know what's coming. This is not a good, good place to be. You need information. Alright, we saw that one. We saw that one. Colts eradicated, hurrah. They damaged the walls and we're damaging their walls. Okay. Roll that one through. Uh bro, we've we've won every encounter so far, every major fight. Um they've been some close ones, but we've we've won. We've been refining our scripting. And we have not seen any more big boys. We've killed I don't know, chat, how many have we killed? Ten total, maybe? Maybe that's a little high. He didn't have many. I don't think he could afford them. I think this this was so poor that he, he didn't save up properly. We have a junky army sieging us here. We're sieging his capital. And Pyrene's coming in from the side. They declared war from the underground. So, not great, not horrible. We're surviving. Alright. So she has death too. Do, okay, so we still need some here. Still haven't found any Earth Gems either, so we are very sad about that. We we really, really would like some Earth Income. Build myself a hammer, a pair of boots, and riches from beneath would be... I don't know if it's game-changing, but it would make my life infinitely easier than what we're currently having to do. Alright, and scout that direction, and scout direction. I think we're going to do another turn of those, because I just really, really, really need some scouts. Over here. Yeah. 
You're still alive, by the way. You have uh, yep, two, two uh, stars of XP. Hey, if we get an arena event, I'm totally sending you too. So, still have some uses. Once we get our enchantment up, I'll twice born you, and we'll find a way to get you killed, and then we'll get that amulet off. All right, researching conjuration complete. All right, that's gonna be three. Do we actually want to go higher than four right now? Where's Morgan? All the way at six. No, we probably don't want to go to six yet. Search for sites. Didn't find any. We're under siege, but we're repairing faster. Good, good, good. And we're attacking them moderately damaged. All right, so we're probably we're probably doing like 200 damage. So that's going to be a slow go. Now we also have these guys. I note that they diseased another one of my guys. Maybe we come down here and break siege. There weren't that many guys, and they were kind of crappy. The boulders could hurt, but they don't have many. I think we break siege. All right, you guys, hold and fire closest, hold and attack closest, hold and fire, hold and fire. Closest. Yeah, I think we're going to try to break that siege. I think we can. If they bring these guys up, well, it's a risk I'm willing to take. Yeah, I think I think we got in here on the nick of time, too. Because now he does have these up. I don't know if they're any good, but it's more income than he had. We take this place, we're also going to get that sweet, sweet gem income, which I'm I'm dying for. Alright, more conjuration done. We're into enchantment now. Several, several battles, so let's see what happened. Okay, this is just a spell. Where was that? Everyone's after that province, apparently. Okay. We found a magic site. No, some more air income. That's good. We're up to five air. That's something at least. All right, so he needs to go this way. She's search there. All right. This is us trying to relieve our fortress. See how it goes. I feel relatively confident. I don't think. I mean, if they hit us with that stupid boulder, we're dead. But. Eh. I'm sure these guys cost a lot more than a furbog costs. Yeah, how you like that lightning, boys. When I was picking out music for this stream, I was going through the, the YouTube audio library, and there was a really nice track that had, like, some thunder, but I realized, like, as background music, it would be absolutely terrible because it would literally be four hours of, of like, thunder interrupting me. So we went with this, like, dark forest song. I thought that was okay. Everything else I found that was really cool I couldn't use because it, it wasn't on the audio library. I'm um, just not chancing any kind of uh, DMCA garbage. So thank you to those artists who put out some free stuff for poor streamers like me <laughs> to use. I'd say the boulders did more damage than I thought they would, but not so much that it mattered. Yeah, you guys are kind of garbage. Alright, what are the casualties? Yeah, see, they killed seven Furbog warriors, that's kind of whatever. I mean, the Namidian warriors, that, that's like 70 gold worth. That's not terrible. I'm sure that we killed more than 70 gold worth of guys there. I'm certain of that. Alright, unexpected event. Tax plus 100? Alright. And a sneaking enemy was discovered in our capital. Okay. 
Just killed a scout. The walls are damaged, but more time. Okay, so we're probably at about the halfway point. All right, now over here, we can set these guys up to push forward. Oh, what happened to you, buddy? Oh, he's mute, and he lost he lost a an air path. Oh man, that that stupid plague cult. I will I will make sure that that we we send every one of the plague cult spirits to the deepest darkest ring of hell for you. All right, well, yeah, you are pretty much worthless. You're pretty much worthless. I guess you can be the bless bot. And you can actually advance and cast spells. That's that's painful. That's that stinks. That sucks for him. All right, so you don't go. Okay, all of you guys are moving here. Um. I think we'll do it this way. We'll try to have the unmarks uh, support the fur bogs. I feel like they need more help. Where is our special guy? Where are you? Here. Come over here and bless away, my friend. Bless away. Air shield. I think she's actually going to need to be on a dance because she also does not have a lot to do. We really need to get Horde of Skeletons to give those. Where are we at on that? A ways out. All right, so let's think about this for a second. From enchantment, we're going up to six because of riches from beneath. There's no chance that we're going to be able to cast that at the moment. Let's not go to six. Let's go to five for Horde of Skeletons. That does seem like something that would be very useful. And then let's reroute into Evocation, and we will get Wailing Winds. So up to seven Evo. And then from there, we'll either get some Earth Gems and we'll go for that, or we'll go for Dance on the Morgans. That's way up here in Conjuration. So at least, if nothing else, our research has worked out this game. It was a little bit struggle bus at the beginning, but we've turned it around. All right, and this guy is reinforcements. Move it up. Gonna grab another king. It's finally starting to make some, some forward momentum here. All right, the king we got. Did not get the death three, so he is another stormcaster. Let's get him some gems. Let's tell him not to use them. And then I think he moves up with our second army. I think I think I'm happy enough with that army to give them full support. Nice, and he can get there. The, the reason he can move so far here is he's not actually moving by land. He's sailing. That's why he can get that far. Sailing is so good. Like, if we weren't in this death throw war, we could sail over here and just take some land. It'd be glorious. Formorian colonies. It's not to be, though. All because of these uppity giants all around us. Causing trouble. Like giants do. All right, and if that's the case, well, do I want a chance walking through here? I really don't. <laughs> I don't know that that isn't going to still plague people for now. So I think we'll just go with this. They'll get some uh, storm support. We'll be happy with that. And this guy can come home and get reinforcements. Okay, we're finally getting some more scouts out. All right, and send some more here. Send this one. 
here. More scouts. More, more scouts. I need all the scouts. All right. I don't think we're going to get this next turn, which sucks because we've got several people that are kind of on timers because of their diseased. And every one of these that we lose is a lot less uh, lightning coming down. So sooner the better we pop that. We may have this, re we may come here, and if they don't stop us, we may just jump up here to add more bodies to the siege. Uh, Craig says, oh, did anyone else order a printed manual? Nice, I didn't even realize those were out yet. I haven't decided if I want one, or well, I know I want one. I haven't decided if I'm going to get one or not. Um, I got a whole bunch of just hardware-related things. I've needed a new gaming PC in general for like four years. And now that I'm, I'm streaming and making videos, I need a new microphone. Um, I wouldn't mind putting a face cam on. I mean, generic 30 something guy, but you know, people like face cams, so I, I don't mind, but my current computer couldn't handle it. I don't think it could handle the green screen processing. So that's another expense I'd have. and. I probably need a new desk. I got a whole bunch of stuff I want to upgrade so I can do better on the videos. But I also know that a lot of people start YouTube and they spend like $3,000 buying equipment and they don't go anywhere. So I'm kind of, I'm budgeting out for a gaming PC and depending on how YouTube does, I want to invest some money in there. So as much as I would love to get that manual, I have to wait. So you'll have to tell me how it is. And so I can, I can dream. I'd love to get one of those and get it like really fancy, like leather bound or something. Find somebody crafty that would do it for me. That'd be so cool. I've never, I've never gotten one of their, their physical manuals, which is a shame too. Cause I do refer to the manual quite a lot and I actually don't like alt tabbing when I'm on stream. So I might actually physically use it if I had it. Okay. I think we're good here. Let's roll that turn. Do you have access to disease healing craftable item? Um, it's a nature item and I don't have enough nature gems, even if I did. I have seven nature gems and I don't think I have anybody above nature one right now. Um, I mean, we can check and see what it costs, but I, I'm certain it's more than nature one. It's a, a like a vial or something. Yeah, we don't have it yet. It's probably at five. It's like Miraculous Cure-All or something. Um, we do have a national hero with higher nature, so maybe we'll get lucky and she'll come in. We can pull her in to do that duty. All right, you patrol, get in a new king, get some more bodies. In fact, actually, if we're going for siege strength, oops, what is your siege strength? 1.4. What is your siege strength? It's going to be a lot more. 4.4. 4. All right. Buck for buck. These guys are worth more siege strength. So we're going to make sure to prioritize them for the moment. All right. More scouts. More good. All right. Keep rolling, boys. Keep rolling. Oh, T and cheese attacking them. All right. All right. Good. That, that basically guarantees we can't lose this war. Now it's a matter of how much can we take and then peace out with TNG. They're also cutting us off from another throne. So that complicates things there. Uh, let's not get too greedy though. All right, I am gonna have this relief force just immediately come over here. The walls are severely damaged. All right. With this added siege strength, I'm almost certain we'll pop that next turn. That does mean... You don't need to storm. So if you're not going to storm, what are we going to have you do? Let's do a personal misfort. Oh, already doing one. They're not really throwing a ton of, of projectiles, so I don't think we need an air shield. Although... Castle sieges usually have a lot on the wall, so we'll we'll throw one out. And then I think this guy actually gets to spam Thunderbolt. 
Because for him, it's only going to be 25. And with Summon Storm, it's only going to be like 12 fatigue. So let's get our Summon Storm in here. In fact, let's actually cancel the Mist Worm. That way we can script an extra Thunderstorm. Or Thunderstrike. There we go. Alright, and we probably should set up the battlefield because we're getting a lot of reinforcements at the same place. Um, This is fine. I'm okay with that. But it'd sure be nice if we had a, a Holy Three, like a, a Prophet or something, that could cast spells that, like, blessed all of your troops in the entire battlefield. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, and we're going to refuel our Stormcaster just a little bit. Alright, and still searching. We have really struck out. Like, look at this. We've got an air. We've got a glamour. A nature. A garbage death site that doesn't give gems. An air. In air, a little gold, and that's it for all of our site searching. And we've searched this, I would say, moderate to heavy, just depending on who was where. And that's all we found. That is disheartening. Let's see if we can check T and Chi over here. Uh, still searching for Earth. Oh, it looks like Makoni is losing a war against uh, Tirna Nog. Huh. That's also a monkey wrench, because I not want to fight them either. Let's uh, throw a message out to Tirna Nog and see if they'll peace. Because this is, this is going to be a thing, and I don't I don't mind if we have to go underground because we can do it. That might be kind of cool. I've never, I've never actually invaded underground with an over, above ground nation in six. I've only done from under up, so be nice to test that out. We've got, we've got the units to do it, so no better opportunity than this. Speaking of which, can you summon our bestest boys? You can. Um, I don't think we're going to summon individual Morgans. If we're going to use Morgans, we're going to dance with the Morgans. So I think we're going to monthly ritual Bargeists. I'm pretty happy with that, actually. That kind of makes me want to have her turn around. I guess we're going to burn through our gems so fast anyways. I don't need two people doing it. Because we found, like, one death gem. <laughs> so sad. Yeah, this has been this has been the most uh, map movement I think we've seen in any of our games. I mean, usually it's like Vanheim is sailing someone, but other than that, like we haven't seen too much. So this is really interesting. Like everyone's picking on the giant nations. I'm noticing. So that's a thing apparently. They hate us because we're tall. If you're not at least nine feet, don't even talk to me. All right, summoning bar guys. Let's see this. All right, so these guys are pretty dang sweet. I know I talked about these in my video, but they're sacred, so they're gonna get our awe, which will help them out a decent amount. They have curse bestower, so anything I believe it's attacks. Yeah, anything that attacks in melee gets cursed. If you've never been cursed, it raises your chance to get afflictions. It is misery. It is misery when you get that on your god or your super combatants. Uh, they're also stealthy, so we could have our stealthy leaders take these guys around and bless them. And they've got Dark Power 3, which I misspoke during our video. That's only going to add 3 to, I believe it's attack, defense, and protection. Not, I was multiplying it like it was a heat scale for some reason. But still, 16 attack? That's respectable. That's going to be a 6, no, that's going to be... Yeah, a 16 attack on this Venomous Bite 
Armor negating weak poison. This is going to be great. I'm looking forward to those guys. All right, we got another giant, uh, another not, another not good soul vortex, or unfortunately. Um, I do think you're still conscripted to the war effort, though. Or we could have him sail. We, we literally could just sail across the ocean. I think I might actually do that. That puts us next to another throne that we weren't counting. We put ourselves next to T and Chi that we're going to be next to anyways. Yeah, yeah, let's do a couple turns of recruitment and we'll, we'll uh, sail the seas here. We can take some of our best boys too if we have to. All right, if that's the case, I do think we want one of these guys. If we're expanding, we're going to want these guys more than our sacreds. Okay, that's kind of cool. He can wait there. She's searching. We're getting close to being done searching for Earth, and we're going to come up empty handed, fortunately. All right, we have started to destroy the fort, severely damaged. All right, unfortunately, we didn't crack it this turn. I was hoping. So next turn is probably when it's going to happen. All right, this scout is not needed here. He can move out. This guy is just watching for reinforcements coming, basically. This guy, where are you? Reinforcements. Or we could try sniping. I mean, we got, yeah, we got plenty. We could totally snipe with this squad. Let's, um. He's got to bless himself. And then. I think he just advanced and casts. Yeah, let's actually do a little uh, sneaky sneak here. And see if we maybe we can get some forward uh, land and save it from T and Chi. I would like it if this was our border with T and Chi. Nice choke pointy, just in case we have to fight them too. I don't think those few troops are going to swing the battle in the capital in one way or the other. The Formorian militia are good siege chaff. Eh. Eh, are they though? So, siege defense is 1.6, but they're not going to do anything if they actually have to fight. I mean, I guess 3.2 for knocking down walls isn't terrible, but. Yeah, I guess I can't afford ogres. That would be my counter argument, is just summon some ogres, but I can't. They're not the worst thing ever. I'll, I'll give I'll give you that. I'm not in love with that though. I'd rather I'd even rather get this guy if, if I was gonna go for that. More expensive, but could actually fight if we had to. I guess we could have like 40 of those guys and just hope they never get in combat. And they just stand there and take the walls down. Alright, double checking. Okay, Tyrannog just made a new prophet. Yeah, let's roll that turn. I wonder how those dogs do as siege chaff. Now that we're talking about that, did not look at that when I was looking at that unit. Not bad. Two point six for a summoned unit, and we get what seven of these guys per cast. No, we get 14 of these guys. So we're getting, what is that, 28? We're getting almost like 40 seed strength for seven death gems. I don't hate that. I don't hate that at all, actually. I never even thought about that. Yeah, that, that actually raises my evaluation of these guys a little higher, even. 
And I already kind of like these guys. Having the underground really made a lot of units with dark power that were so niche before actually have a reason that you might want them. Like a good reason, not just for the memes. So I'm I'm really liking it. That's another like on paper, it's like, okay, they added some underground stuff. Who cares? But in practice, it's amazing. So yet another like hard to describe to other people why it's so good, but it really is so good. <laughs> uh change for Dom for uh Dom Six. Alright, we are gonna try to elf this place. I think we're going to do it sight unseen because I don't think he's got troops there. Over here, let's see. More enchantment done. We're up to almost five. We got a non-aggression with Tirnanog. Okay. Boy, the uh, alliances are forming. I feel like I'm in multiplayer at this point. Bargheis summoned. Search for sites. I'm sure we didn't find any. Oh, we, what? We found one? Is that even legal? And it's a nature gem. Up to plus two nature, guys. All right, what is this? Did they catch our scout? I accidentally moved the king. Whoops. <laughs> I, uh, I Vanheimed him. Well, did we win? Yeah, I guess human troops, are, our giants do a lot better, like you saw there. That awe doing some work. <laughs> Sorry, T and Chi. I didn't mean it. We didn't lose anybody in that fight. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> now, let's see if we get the same bonus that the AI gets. The AI gets to sail and not declare war while taking your territory. Let's see if we ended up at war here. Okay, so he found our scout. We've breached the capital. And we're, we're sieging there. All right, are we at war with them? Yes, we were at war with TNG now. Well... Oops, oops on my part. Sorry, boys. Um, I mean, I guess if we're at war anyways, I'm going to raid them. So <laughs> that's a thing. <laughs> that was a mistake. Although we were probably going to have to go to war with them anyways. Man, this really is turning into multiplayer. Mistakes and all. Okay, we have broken in here. We need the whole team, minus Jim guy, minus this guy. Storm Castle. I feel like as soon as this war is over, we're really going to have a good breakout because we'll be able to split this army into two or three. And I think we'll blitz. We'll probably just blitz east, honestly. And we'll just take out TNG. So there you go. I guess I don't have to think about that one too hard. Let's send some more scouts his way then, I suppose. I like I like that the AI gets to attack and take my provinces without declaring war. But if I do the same thing to the AI, because I did not know he owned this. I saw this as neutral. I declare war on him. So that's that's a little, I don't know, iffy there. I feel like we should play by the same rules. All right, for recruitment. Let us grab another king. We're really looking for a guy with death three. Um, I'm going to kind of keep pulling these until... Well, I probably can't afford too many more. A couple more. I really like a death three. So we could have a soul vortex guy hold our northern border kind of by himself. And we did like the sacreds now. A few of these. I think I'm going to keep a little money in the bank. Actually, rather than getting the king this turn, 
Let's get ourselves a few of these guys to lead some underground work. They have dark vision and they can bless. We're going to need several of them to bless our doggos. Yeah, let's go that route. Because we have a cave entrance here and we do have room to expand. We have him to worry about down here. And Perrine must be over here somewhere. I don't know which one of these entrances it is. It's that one. So getting ourselves down there, maybe we can find some indies to recruit. Get ourselves a little more underground power. Alright. Yeah, I honestly did not mean to, to send that sale. I was going to wait and recruit some more guys and then do it. So I guess I didn't cancel the order when I thought I did. It's a couple misclicks tonight that have uh, been rather dangerous, actually. So... Double check your turns before you send them, I suppose is the lesson there. Maybe it'll be a happy little accident, though. Because we can raid out a bunch of his territory, and he's kind of stuck in this fight. I feel like we're pretty equipped for him. If we can beat the Giants, we can beat him. So. What are the stats on the Doggos? They're pretty good, actually. Um, I'll pull those up again. When you look at these stats, note that they have Dark Power 3, which I'm like 99% sure gives you 3 attack, 3 defense, and 3 protection. And maybe 3 strength. I'm not sure if that's exactly the same as Heat Strength, but these stats are quite a bit higher than what they look like. And they're sacred, so Ards are going to have, have Awe on them. So they're going to be pretty good. Alright, I'm going to let you guys bask in the glory that is doggos for like one minute and i'm gonna grab myself some more water and i will be right back All right, well, I hope you enjoyed our halftime show with the Bargeists. Give them a hand. We will have them hopefully do some good work for us underground. I feel like as long as we can get them blessed, those are going to work out really well. Probably go three leaders, maybe, and we'll see how that does. Just accept that some of them aren't going to be blessed. Or, yeah, we're going to struggle with just holy ones to get that done. All right, we've got our siege order set up. I think this turn is basically ready to roll. Let's roll it. For those of you that are still in here, if you could uh, drop a like if you're enjoying the stream, it helps YouTube show it to more people. Um, we've been growing beyond my wildest dreams the last couple weeks, and I'm, I'm hoping to keep that momentum going. And if you're not subscribed yet, I would appreciate that too. You'll get Notified when the new videos come out, usually on Mondays at the moment. And I try to post at least one interesting community poll and kind of see what people are feeling during the week. And then, of course, you'll get, uh, hopefully, ideally, notified on Fridays when I go live with the next Dominion stream. All right.
Back from our uh, mid-game commercials there. Let's see what we got. Battle on Greendale. Uh, really? What do you have? Little garbage troops took this from me? Yeah, of course. I didn't have any extra PD. I probably should have dumped some here. Alright, they can't claim it. Alright, and this is... This is our sneak attack crew. Ooh. I didn't think about that. Wait, this isn't even PD. This is a, a dude with gems. Why does he have a random guy in the middle of nowhere with gems? Well, this might be a lot more expensive than I thought it was going to be. Alright, well, hopefully we were just morale right- Oh, good hits! Good hits! Oh, they're encouraged by that halftime doggo show. Good job, team. Good job, team. I guess that was in the cold, though. So, I, I shouldn't be too ecstatic there. Let's see, uh, what was his stats when we were fighting. Yeah, see, he's he's down quite a bit because he's in the, the cooler weather here. Yeah, Mistform's not going to save you from a bunch of golden spears, buddy. Alright, um, this is us raiding TNT on accident. <laughs> You know, uh, happy little accidents. They had an elephant. Hmm. Aw, saved us from the elephant. You know, there's another tangential benefit that... I, I believe if the elephant wants to step in your square and you have awe, it has to make an awe check. And elephants generally have bad morale. So if that is the case of the mechanic, that's another reason that awe is just amazing. Saves you from tramplers. If anyone knows the exact mechanic for that, I'd be interested. Um, that would be a pain in the butt for me to test. And I don't remember if in the manual it says anything about awe and trampling interaction. Alright, um, this is our big fortress battle. I don't think he's going to have that much in here. Let's see. I guess we could slow-mo this. Two, four, six, and a commander. These guys are just so beastly. I mean, this is in the cold-ish. Cooler, because this is the capital, so it's not that cold, but still. Strength 24. They didn't take a very good bless this time. I guess that's kind of one of our saving graces really don't need strength on these guys at all don't really need the magic resistance either if I'm being honest all right should see storm coming up here added R brings up the combat round uh, thing here so we can see exactly when stuff's going off so now we should see Storm. It's round two. It's a 200% cast time spell. Come on, buddy. Let's get that going. Before the big lightnings come out. Are you off script? I feel like this is definitely worth storming. Apparently he doesn't feel the same. Did, did I change the storm script? Because I don't, I don't think I touched the script here. Alright, well that's annoying. We could have had way more lightning than what we're going to get. Now, now comes the pain of standing in this uh, heat. Alright, now we're in the buffing phase where they're going to cast every buff we have unlocked before they go back to offensive magic. If you guys like um, mods, I believe Lucid came out with his better cast AI mod. Um, I'm a long ways out from wanting more mods, but uh, I do think that's a good one. Uh, it makes, makes casters much more deadly, though, so it definitely changes the balance of the game. 
All right, we're starting to get some uh, undead coming out. It's good. We just have to weather whatever amount of, of heat that they can put out. I think, whoop. I think we can move forward. Now we're in range of the boulder throwers. That's going to be painful. We don't have the cheap frobolds to eat those for us. Sino says, casting AI is the default multiplayer mod, so I tend to always leave it on. Um, yeah, I could totally see that. I think National Heroes is another one that most people play with. My multiplayer experience is pretty much limited to a group of friends and associates, and we were not playing with any mods when we, we played Dom 5. So, And I haven't done any, any multiplayer in 6 yet. Um, I'd like to, but it's a big time commitment. I just have to find the right game and the right people. And uh, like I mentioned, this is kind of my busy season at work. So I, 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 I am a person, if I commit to a game, I will finish the game. So I have to be careful when I make commitments that I'm not overextending myself too much. So once things lighten up at work, maybe I'll be a little more interested. Or maybe I can set up a Blitz game or something. That could be kind of cool. I've only played a little bit of Blitz. But it's a lot easier to just commit a Saturday to a Blitz than it is for... I don't know, three, three months of an hour every night doing Dominion's turns. Very nice fight there. Not too bad. A little, little more grindy. I was hoping better lightning. I don't know why our storm didn't go off. We need to investigate that. And I'm assuming this is you killed our god. Yes, yes we did. I didn't even notice you had a god. How weak were you? Who is your god? Not you. No, it is you. Okay. Pitiful. Pitiful. No one will remember you. 70 gold. Six air gems. All right. Okay, so this is going to be a scout. Okay, so he is building up a relief force here. And that is a decent relief force. Okay, why did Storm not go off? Lud, this was your job. What happened, man? You got put on somebody else's script. Alright, I can't blame you, Lud. It's, it's my bad. It's my bad. Alright, but I need you to cast Storm. When you're done with Storm, I want you to miss form. No. I want you to Storm Power. And then I want you to miss form. Alright. All right. No hard feelings, just make sure it happens, alright? We really need that Storm up. We're gonna have another really big fight here, and the front line's getting very thin. Uh, very thin. To the point I would like to hire Mercs. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Now at least I know they're not going to be able to get any more big boys. So we just need to weather one more big attack. Oh, look, he built me a fort up here, too. That was nice of him. I think we'll just zip on over there with our <laughs> misplaced troops. I think we'll double up here and maybe we can pop that quick and then come over here. This is one of the nightmares of fighting somebody with sca uh, with sailing, by the way. It's impossible to know what they're going to hit. You basically have to assume that your entire coast can be hit. And we could bring enough siege chaff to pop forts instantly. So you could land here, pop it, and attack the next turn. Very, very hard to defend against that if your forts are on the coast. All right, um, I feel like we need to sit here for a second and kind of 
catch our breath and get some reinforcements. What do we got going on back here? Okay, we were going to do our underground expedition. I think we're going to try that with two sets. Alright, so we need to cast... Actually, hold on. Can I... Okay, good. You guys can hold an attack closest. Okay, that's what I need to know. So they're not undisciplined, I guess, is the point of that. So that, that makes these guys, again, infinitely better than if they were just straight animals. Right, we are going to hold and fire closest in a line. You guys are going to hold and attack closest. And you have amazing speed. Holy moly. Okay, um, from like back here. Because I don't want them getting uh, javelin to death. All right, we're going to cast... Blessing, 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 and then advance. All right, and we're going to land here against some undead. So unfortunately, our poison is not going to do much, but our other troops should be able to chop those up pretty handily. Alright, all of you guys are going to patrol, so if he moves over, we just instant grab him into the fight. Go scout there, go scout there, you're waiting. Okay, I think we need some more leadership back here to bring reinforcements forward. Also like to start trying to get into the ocean, but I think that's just gonna have to wait. We're trying to do a whole lot here. All right, and this guy, all quiet on the pirating front. Makone looks like he's fighting back to your nog. Perfect. I want them just locked in a death struggle for all eternity, since we accidentally declared war on TNG. I don't even think we're going to put anything there. I think they're just going to take that, so I'm not, not going to waste my money. Oh, and we got a hero in, too. Let's see. All right, right here. Suddenly, uh, Masha, the Namidian queen, appeared at your gates of your giant fortress and wants to fight for your cause. Macha is the mistress of the dark spires of Rath Chimbeth. She is the queen of the Numidians and granddaughter of the great Macha, the first queen. In the seven spires, she has initiated numerous sorceresses and kept the legacy of the great Masha alive. Her whisper is a breeze, her voice is a gale, and her kiss is a silent death. She commands the dead and rules the living. She might be the most powerful magician in all of Formoria, and her word is heeded by Numidians and Formidians alike. So, this is a nice hero for us. Um, brings in two water, which we don't have. Brings in two nature, which we don't have. Um, also holy too, which is helpful. She does come in old, unfortunately. I kind of want to have her do some sight searching for nature. Maybe I'll have her do this portion. I don't really think I want to spend the time doing this. So we'll have her just do some research for now, but we are definitely going to have her move out. Yeah, very, very cool. There's a... Formidia does have some really nice heroes. Um, I don't think they have any junk, which is rare. Most nations at least have some bad ones. Okay, then we need to make a decision here. So let's patrol for a turn to get the unrest down. I'm hoping he just comes straight over and attacks me here. Let's also PD dump a bit. What? Why does their PD... Oh, that's... I thought those were trolls. It's militia. That's garbage. Man, that's garbage. We'll still take 20 of it, though. That was just absolutely terrible. 
All right, and you guys, we're gonna sort search that, but you're gonna need to wait for a second. So come over here. Yeah, we just need some more troops. We just really need bodies just all over the place. Start taking this land. Cut off his income so he can't get anything else. I'm not as worried with these guys, but I mean, those are still dangerous giant troops. It's not like they're garbage or anything. Yeah, Cyan, Cyan of Urza, I totally agree. Like, I do wish they would do a pass in base game heroes. A, there's play, there's nations that still don't have heroes. And B, some of them have ones that are worthless. Like, they're absolutely worthless. I would like every nation to have at least one interesting hero. And preferably a multi-recruit hero. Meaning you can get more than one. Like, oh, he's a champion and he has this magic path or whatever. Just because I think it adds more flavor to the nations. I, I, I think that would be cool. I know they've said it's something they're working on, but I don't know. I guess the game is never finished, so that's a blessing and a curse. Right, let's roll that. Yes, the High King with his uh, Death Gaze. And if you didn't know, it only costs 5 Fatigue now. I don't think it has ammo anymore. It used to only have, I think, 10 shots or something. Now it's 5 Fatigue. So... I'm thinking, in theory, you could get him to fatigue neutral and he could literally just delete squares for the entire combat. I haven't been able to test that, but on paper, I think that works. All right, there was a battle in Trouble Bog. Let's go on Trouble Bog. This is our sneak attack crew versus some PD. Yeah, get odd, boys. Get odd. Yeah, when we're fighting other giants, the odd is a lot better. With with human-sized people, you generally just get s stabbed anyways because there's so many people making rolls. All right. Um, plans end with Maconi attacking. That's less interesting to me. Don't take my stuff. This is mine. Go fight Tirnanog. Yeah, get out of here. No! You cowards! No wonder I beat you so badly. Uh, this is PD somewhere. Whatever on that one. Alright, uh, defense minus 10. Gain the lab. Got some special recruits? No, we don't. That's sad. A lot of times when you get that lab event, there's usually like something of interest there. I mean, I guess it's shaman, but they're not really of interest to us. All right, where are my doggos? It's not doggo. What is this one? Oh, scout got caught somewhere. We stealth because the dogs can stealth. I didn't even think about that. Well, that, there you go, guys. We can uh, forget elfing. We're just going to good boy them. All right. Well, guys, could you attack the current province anyways, even though you being all fancy like? That is rather humorous. All right. I'm not going to sit around here waiting. I, I do think I'm going to move out. Let's leave. Where's our super injured guy? Is he still alive? The one that couldn't cast anything? Or did he kick the bucket? Looks like he kicked the bucket. Alright. Um, you. You get to stay. And you're going to build a temple. Also, we need to continuously recruit... those guys over here building up troop numbers building up troop numbers we don't need to repeat that all 
Okay. I'm still going to need more of these. I do. I really wish we had a holy two at least. That would really, really help me out with blessing all these things that need to be blessed. Uh, what were you guys doing? You were going to site search, but we need to wait for it to be safe so you could just research for a little bit. How are we doing on that? Almost, almost up to five. We'll have it next turn. Which means we have twice born. Yes, we do. Um. Yeah. All right, bruh. Let's see if we can get you fixed up here, buddy. Oh, did, did bruh die? What? Oh, and I missed it. I'm sorry, bruh. Well... You're in a better place. You're in a better place. And probably not a, a werewolf anymore. Okay. So we need to keep an eye out for uh, power of the previous prophet has left this world. Yeah, hasn't yet. He must have died in the fight there and I just didn't see it. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Better place. Better place. Control that out. Alright, so we're going to have Horde of Skeletons. That'll give our sorceresses something to do. And then we are going Evocation for Wailing Winds. And then we are going Conjuration. What we're we doing? Six Summon. We're I think we're going Conjuration all the way to eight. We're going for Dance if it gets to that point. I feel like we've probably hit the high water mark. Like, this was probably the hardest bit. If we can clean up this last little bit of this war, it's just a matter of picking our targets. Like, one throne, for sure two thrones, three, and then we just need to find one more. Maybe four, I guess. So, I feel like we're, we're doing pretty good. Gonna make it up to some high magic, though. That's pretty cool. This is the, the one downside of playing this way. Like, I don't like faster research. I like I like base game balance, if you haven't noticed. Um, I just like to play it as intended. And I do that for most games until I get really comfortable with it. And then I start adding mods and I go crazy modding up the game. But I, I never get there with Dominions because Dominions is such a huge game. I just never get to that point. All right. Makoni, get out of here, man. Seriously. Don't don't take my stuff. I earned that. Yeah, EA Agartha has some pretty decent heroes. They're at least not bad. I did sneak them. Yes, yes, I did. I did miss your last mission, bro. I'm sorry about that. Well, you had a good run. You fought some werewolves. I mean, how many people can say that? And surprisingly lived a lot longer than I thought you were going to, in all honesty. <laughs> so, you'll live on in spirit. We'll, we'll name, like, a, a memorial plaza after you. We'll do it in the enemy capital here. Just to, you know, we'll entomb you in there like a crusader. It's too bad, too, because if we had been able to twice-born you, uh, the second shape of these guys... Uh, should come back as Tartarans, I think. The big, big, huge undead giant guys. So it's a it's a nice chassis if that's the case. All right, let's see what we got. All right, this is us trying to get their last big force. We fixed our storm scripting. Our front lines are looking a little thin, but I think I think we're gonna carry the day. Especially if this guy gets just completely winked by the lightning. Come on. Oh, that was a t terrible miss. All right, somebody landed a good hit there, though. He's probably already done. 
unmarked, hit him for 23. And now we've hit the buffing stage. Although the skeleton's coming out, I like to see that. I should probably script that into our sorceresses. Have the skeletons come on the sides or set them up so that they are the frontline filler. So they don't end up back here. That's what I don't want. Good thing too, actually, because they were gonna spill across here. So good, good timing on that spell, I guess. Apparently we're throwing a little weakness into the front line. Those always make me really nervous that we're going to hit ourselves. Especially in a storm that's lowering our precision by half. Okay, our fur bogs are routing. They, they did a lot though. I'm not, I'm not mad about that. It's alright. They can't hold up to super, super Nemedian soldiers. Okay, now we're starting to see some glamour come out. All right, yeah, I wasn't too worried about this one. I mean, I guess morale could break, but we're not a low morale army. I get that guy. He can't get any more of these. Yeah. All right, I hope you all die on the retreat. Not bad, and the skelly spam was actually really useful. That was just... Pure luck that we finished that research on this turn. They might have wrapped us otherwise and come back and wiped this out. That would have not been good. I mean, you have to remember, every one of these druids is, what, 285 gold, I think? Like, this is not a cheap mage. So losing these is painful. That's why I'm so annoyed by getting all those diseases. It's like a thousand gold worth of disease. All right, good job, team. Good job. Alright, um, is this a throne they're attacking? Yes it is, and there's their god. What you got, buddy? Ten death! Ten death. With fear. And a bunch of undead leadership. You know, the AI still makes some pretty wonky pretenders, but I will say, I think they're generically better than Dom 5's, like, complete randomness. Like... I don't think the fear, just fear by itself is a good bless for Makone, but you could do worse. You, you could do worse. I mean, look at this. He, he even brought some shadows along. Ironically, he's probably going to win this. This is a really easy throw. Oh, no. Gonna route. You need a little more chaff there, buddy. Could have done that. Alright. Um, I don't even know what this is. Okay, I'm just taking that back. I don't care. This is finally our underground battle. Let's see how good the good boys are. And how many we bless. That's also a curiosity. We should get all three blessings off. They're going to start moving here in a second, but they'll probably be in range for the next one to hit. Although I see they're already spread out. Eh. Okay. How'd we do? No. 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 Yes. All right, so let's actually check this really closely. So he's got his dark power three. Strength plus three. Attack plus three, defense plus three, not protection. Okay, strength, attack, defense. Still, even without the protection, that's not really going to make a difference for these guys. But the 13 defense definitely will. And if they are blessed and have the awe, that's not bad at all. That's going to be pretty hard for people to hit them. So we'll see how our blessed ones do. Hopefully we get up close and start blessing right away. 
Okay, mind the javelins, guys. Mind the javelins. I also know that they overtook our javelins. Remember, I moved them way back to try to prevent that, so we need to go even further back. Because I'd like them to hit about the same time as these guys. And these are undead, so we're not getting our poison attack. Because these guys are all going to have poison resistance. I, I'm liking these. I am really liking these. If, if you get some decent death gem income, these feel pretty viable to me. Especially if you plan to kind of push for some early underground expansion. These are only, what, conch four? Like, you could, that's easy to hit. And if you're only using your blessing, I mean, you don't need any other research. That's not bad. How many did we lose, though? It's this one. Four. And I bet you almost anything those four were not blessed. That's acceptable. Those were acceptable losses. Tramplers we would not like. That is not enticing in the slightest. What do we actually get here? That caveman. Not in love with those. I feel like we take on the from uh, the Abyssians. Oh, we got Onis too. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. I kind of want to carve out some land here and get a, a fort on whatever the most interesting indie is, or if we can find a mage or something down here. Alright, let's take them on. I think we can do that. And let's adjust back further. Yeah, very happy with those. Very happy with those. Yeah, that underground layer, man, just added so, so much. Okay, we wiped them out here. We're sieging them here so they can't recruit. He's sieging them there so they can't recruit. He's sieging them there so they can't recruit. This is the last place he can get troops. We said we needed to change scripting on these. We're not going to summon air power. Instead, I think we're just going to go straight to skelly spamming. Been a while. I need to check. Is it 50 fatigue? 40. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Three rounds of those, and then you can do whatever you want when you wake up. And I need to move you so that you're more on the edge. And same for you. Cast. There's another thing I haven't done. I haven't done anybody that's really, really good at um, skelly spamming. I haven't actually played them too much since they nerfed that spell in 5. Um, it needed it. It was so OP. <laughs> that really, really was oppressive. Okay. Yeah, and I, I want to split up. I'm kind of wondering if I can afford just a little strike force, but we just have such a thin, thin, thin line. What if I take these guys? Yeah. If I just have this guy break off. Okay, so Lissag. You are going to break off from that, and we're going to see if we can do a little cleanup behind us here and recap this before somebody else does. No, you're not sneaking. You're attacking. In fact, doggos, you're also attacking, not sneaking, right? All right, and over here, he built our temple. Go ahead and preach for a minute. Our gym guy can move up. Okay. 
Um. Yeah, keep moving up. So you keep an eye for when that T and Chi tide hits again. I also would like to start eyeing this sooner rather than later. That also means that we're going to need to profit somebody who can go underwater. So it's probably going to be another king. All right, over here, let's actually try to make our dreams come true. And we'll start getting some mermen. Lots and lots of mermen. And over here, do we have a king at home? No. Let's... Next turn, we'll grab a king. We'll start in on getting the big boys. Start prepping ourselves for making a throne play there. That'll be two thrones for us. How are we doing on time? Oh, well, not too bad. Glad I started early again today. All right. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I know we're not going to get through those walls. Hellhounds, more like smell hounds. <laughs> trogs are hella rude. Yeah, trogs are serious business. I haven't done it in six, but as EA Agartha, I used to like to do a troglodyte expand. You'd get him like a piece of armor, and he could just like expand into certain indies. It was hilarious. Bargeist would also be another unit that could take the Enlarge Bless. I'm just saying, you know, if you were going to meme for your giants anyways, those dogs would be just fine with being even bigger. Alright, seven Bargeist, crippled units, crippled units, Herald from TNG. T and she asked for a peace treaty. Okay, I need to actually think about that one. Don't let me forget that chat. Alright. Um, I did not expect to see a battle here. Okay, gross. I don't like that. Versus our trash PD that's going to lose. Okay, let's go take care of that. Uh, unless we pop this. No, we didn't. Alright. All of you guys move up here. We absolutely positively cannot let them have that back. We'll try to cut off their retreat. Uh, there was a battle in Forest Springs. Okay, this is our sneaky sneak squad. Should handily do this. Okay, I, I need to stop throwing javelins at these giants. It's just not effective at all. We're just wasting turns doing that. Uh, at the swamp. Okay, this is the main crew. Okay, yeah, we, we stomped that. I don't even see that. Okay, this is us versus Abyssians. Let's see how this goes. Ah, I forgot to change the javelins. Oh, and our dogs are moving straight through. Size four. Oh, I guess they're just weaving their way through. Okay. Dog goes too fast. These guys would make really good flankers. They're just so dang fast. If you set them away out front, you could probably be into the mage line on turn two. Yeah, and I thought our poison was going to do pretty good against these guys. Although, we are taking attrition from them. Not bad. Not bad. Worldwide event. Throne of Law. Okay. Started to destroy... Yeah, but we gotta move, so that doesn't matter. We already know that one. And we already know that one. Okay. Okay, you guys. Hold an attack closest. In fact, do we even need to hold... 
I think we can take off. I think we can take those off. We're just going to bless and then move forward and cast. I think these guys can just straight up attack closest. I don't even think we have to hold off. All right. These guys. I do think I just want to sit here and not let them recruit. Over here. Okay, we can fit another 32. Uh, don't know how many I had there. Let's see. 10, 20, 30. No. Okay, so we're going to need multiple turns. Okay, over here, we were going to start a king, get some more big boys. That's about all we can do here. Um, doggos. I need somebody to take doggos underground. You. Underground with you. Then... Actually, we could send him... Well... I really like some more blessing down there, but I also feel like we need to have another squad. We need another squad moving up to the front. So he's going to do the same as the other guy we just did. He's going to do a blessing, and then he's going to advance and cast spells. And our front line is going to line, and they're going to attack the closest. We just really, really, really need to get in there and flush these remnants out, so we're not ping-ponging around. I'm actually kind of shocked that they haven't taken this fort yet. I guess they finally have it popped? Okay, so if we take the peace treaty with TNG, if they don't take this throne, we could sail and take the throne, <laughs> and they wouldn't be able to take it from us because we have the non-aggression pact. Ditto here if they haven't taken it. So one throne, two thrones. Where else could we go? I guess we'd have to do some sailing shenanigans. We could get over here, maybe. I feel like we take that. I didn't mean to go to war with them. That was an oops. And I feel like they're powerful enough that I'd rather pick on somebody else if I don't have to take them on. What are you guys thinking on that one? I'm, I'm kind of torn. This is a big army. We would need to build up a little bit to take it, but I, I do feel like we could take it. We've hit, we've hit critical mass on research, and we're going to start having battlefield stuff come up very shortly. Very shortly. We could run with some Sacreds and Wrathful Sky, and we'll, we'll be protected from the Lightning, and we can fight. We can fight in the shade, as it were, while everyone else gets electrified. When does Wrathful Skies come in here? Wrathful Skies at 6. We also have Perpetual Storm coming up very soon, which we're going to have the gems to cast. We are going to need a booster or an empower though so we might need to take our construction a bit higher I think we get an air booster at 5 so that would be something I want before this I think I, think I want to set myself up for perpetual storm that would save us in the long run a lot of oomph all right, so we need to go to six, construction, seven, and then back into conjuration. All right, and you guys are doing absolutely great. Bestest boys. Let's get some, let's hold on a minute. Let's get some more best boys, and then we'll continue our journey. I think we'll go here next. So actually, you actually search here and then you both can just meet up here over here blood needs a refuel okay. 
Okay. Uh, stay behind troops. If you just patrol for a minute. You can just wait. Alright, I feel like we're we're getting a handle on this. We're getting a handle on this. He can't have many more. This has to be the last big group. I don't know what else he could get troops from. So, 20 here, 30 here, a couple stragglers out and about. Alright, let's see what people are saying here. In huge and dog, that's right. People were memeing on the enlarged bless, but I think if, if it works anywhere... It's either on tramplers or a nation like this, where our big giants would go to size 10. That's pretty funny. Our size sixes could go to seven. That makes them still fine. Like it doesn't change the math on what can fit. The dogs, surprisingly good. We could also make them Morgana larger. They're not going to be trying to share squares anyways. So that just gives them more HP to be able to drain. And they have high enough defense that I don't think it hurts them that much. I think they have 20 by default. So you'd go down to 19. Uh, let's see. Clearly the bar guys deserve a quick display. <laughs> um, for the memes, maybe. Yeah, you could probably turn one into the casters with that. Um, so yeah, peace deal. That's what I'm looking at. We have to think this one. Still sail, yeah, yeah. We sail to the north side. I totally agree with that. I feel like they were disrespectful <laughs> bumping into our pleasure cruise. Help! I accidentally invaded TNG. Number one Google search from uh, for Moria at the moment. Uh, take the peace deal and focus on the thrones. I do, I do. Yeah, and we have the underground. I'm interested in doing some stuff underground. That that makes sense. Large also gives significant HP boost. Yes, it does. Um, what is the HP on our doggos? It's not. It's not tiny. Yeah, it's thirty percent. So we'd probably get. I don't know how the rounding works, but about eight, seven or eight HP. That's not insignificant. And I mean, even if you went with like larger and regeneration. That wouldn't be bad for any of our units. You, we could thug with that. We could super combat with that. Our our line troops would accept that bless just fine. That would make these guys super meme. It'd be hard to kill. And remember, every time you get hit, you get cursed. Or every time you hit the good boy, you get cursed, as you should. So once you're cursed, you're almost doomed. You're going to get afflictions until you die. So... I don't know. <laughs> I'm really liking these bar guys <laughs> way more than I thought on paper they would be uh, useful. Uh, ba -ba -ba. In Hujin, Banshee Waifu. Yeah, be careful about that one, man. Large seems good, cost effective less. It depends. Part of the problem with large is if it changes the amount of attack density that you can fit. So for us, going from 6 to 7 doesn't change anything because we're putting size 3 units with them. And you can fit 10 size in a square. So it's more efficient, actually, because we're not wasting that one extra space. But for a lot of nations, if you're a size 3 and you go to size 4, you go from 3 people to 2. And that's bad. You, generally speaking, you want higher density troops for more attacks going out. So it really depends on the unit and what they're trying to do. Super Mew Kitty, hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Enlarge also gives a bit more strength. Yes, it does. Uh, enlarge can also give you a larger weapon if you cross a certain threshold. I don't remember what it is off the top of my head, but if you, you have spears, Enlarge can help you with repel blesses if you're the right size. Okay, I think I'm not hearing anyone say no. I think we're going to take TNC's offer we will accept that i'm i'm happy enough with that especially if i take this province maybe we re re reroute this army for one turn what is here oh 
Let's actually get these properly scripted. Yeah, these guys were never even supposed to be fighting. They were not even scripted properly. My goodness. All right. All of you guys. We can have him. Yeah, do three blessings and he doesn't have to bless. And if he doesn't have to bless, then he can do other stuff. Well, mist form just to always be safe. And then actually, I don't really care what he does. So he can... Well, actually, no. We have skeletons now. We should always throw out just at least one set of skeletons. Just to have something else take the initial hits. Then we can mist form and then I don't care. Then I really don't care. Alright, so all of you guys go here. Except for you. Alright. You guys attack here, and that'll solidify our border with T and Chi. I'm happy enough with that. Then when we take this fort, we'll be able to collect taxes from here. And then we'll come right back. In fact, actually, we're going to be super duper cheeky. And we're going to have our scout maintain siege so he can't recruit. Okay, you guys are going to try to clear the throne. I've got more reinforcements coming there. Doggo's going underground. Everyone has orders. Ooh, long term. Long term. Scion says, I think it was at size 6 nowadays that weapons get plus 1 length. Okay, so if that's the case, then that doesn't help our giants, but that could help other people. Uh, I'm not certain of where that is. I remember 6 is what I had in my head too, but I can't remember if it's 526 or 627. It's size 5 to 6, you get the bump, says uh, Fancy Zergling. Thank you. Fancy Zergling, do you have like a monocle and a top hat? Because that would rock. Dom 6 is more complicated than 5. I'm slowly getting used to it. Yeah, there's a lot. It, it frustrates me how bad Illwinner did about communicating the changes. Because the more I play, and especially playing with chat and all the smart people who play this game and having discussions, I keep finding more and more things. I'm like, oh my gosh, how did I play... How did I play with size 6 being the maximum and not 10? This makes so much more sense. It's so much more balanced. And Illwitter's like, eh, here's 6, guys. We hope you like it. There's a cave. I, they just really did not do a good job on that. And it, it's, it saddens me because I, I think they could have they could have done even better than what they've been doing. We'll add Black Panther from Machaka next. <laughs> Yeah, so he has to be a shapeshifter. Makes sense. Okay, let's see how this goes. Alright, getting closer to Wrathful Skies and Perpetual Storm. I think we're gonna... Do we need to save any death gems? I do want a second... Or twice born our new... King. Yeah, we need to hold off. Sorry, just... Take, take like five minutes. We'll, we'll get you back on dog duty soon. Um, I think this is starting to get safe enough that I will risk our hero to go out and start search, sight searching. So we'll move her up. Which also means this guy needs to move up. Okay, let's go underground. Adopt all the good boys. Then you go back above ground. And if you go he attack here. The fact that these these dogs also stealth. Like, this is a good unit. I really was underestimating this. I mean, this one has some experience, so take that into account when we're looking at these stats. But that should be 16 base morale. No, 14 base, plus the uh, friendly domain, plus the squad. Yeah, so he's at like 16-ish, 15-ish when you're using him. 
but they're stealthy. Like, that is really nice. What's your map move? Map move 20 also. So we could get some boots on these guys and we could really book it around with these dogs. Okay, moving there, moving here. Double check our formation. I think we need to move up a little. We really need some more bless power here. We're kind of letting our dogs down. We're not being all we could be. All right, we crush those guys again. Now we move back to the siege yet again. This guy, he stopped here because he was building the temple for us. He can move out. Boy, look at this poor guy. Limp, weakened, battle fright, never healing wound, lost an arm, six HP, still casting lightning like a champ. Curse. What curse? All right. Reclaimed our throne. Whoops. Let's get some defense on there. Move up. I guess we should check those battles. I don't think there's going to be any surprises here. <sighs> I got to report that. That's starting to actually annoy me. I keep clicking to change the speed and it somehow clicks a bush up here or a rock like every fight. He was casting claim life at me. I don't like that one bit. You better not have claimed a lot of lives. One. One too many. Alright. Push them off the capital. I'm not expecting anything here really. Well. He had a scorpion. Good for him. I am going to watch this because I hate these guys that much. Look at this guy go. Look at him go. He inherited the, the, the lycanthrope amulet. Oh no. I need to get this guy out of this army before he gives it to somebody important. He can, he can retire to some forest somewhere. There you go. Now hopefully that just gets lost and somebody else doesn't pick it up. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Oof, that was a friendly fire right there. Yeah, you can see why why having that 15 shock resist on our sacreds is good, though. There was a lot of friendly fire on that one. And, you know, every, every one of those that doesn't die is 55 gold. Alright, that was that one. New Spring. Okay, this is us trying to solidify border. Not expecting craziness here. Yeah, we walk up. Us plus skeleton. So this is like right here is a good example. We were talking about size. So we're size six. Skeleton is size three. So we have an extra spot here for a size one if we had some bugs or something. But this makes it so we have more attack density, and it means that there's a second target. So they're not just targeting our expensive unit. There's a chance to hit the crap unit that we don't care about. So trying to fill in your size, I think is really important. Like you really don't want to be sitting at empty space if at all possible. That's why I feel like size two Kooni are super good finds if you're on a size four giant nation like Ur, because you could have two Inkadu and one uh, Kooni in the same square. And that would really help out those uh, Inkadu. Or any size 4 giant, if I'm misremembering sizes. Alright. They finally took out his fort. Let's make sure we've added our defense up here. Alright. Back to sieging that. Back to sieging that. Come take this out before Makone takes it. Attacking down there. Research done. We summoned. We found a site. Oh, nice. We found an ancient temple. I'll take I'll take it. Our site searching has been so bad this game. Uh, we, yes, our, our one scout was not able to breach the walls. Who would have thought? Uh, 
Yeah, let's actually see. Did somebody else get that stupid thing? Yes, they did. All right, you. I am sorry, my friend. I truly am. Here, attack, attack underground for me, please. And let's, let's, let, you know, he deserves respect. It's not his fault. So let's actually give him a script. So he's going to bless himself. And then he's going to personal mist form. And he's got a liquid body. What's that put us at? 10 fatigue, 30 fatigue. We don't have personal quickness. Oh, well, not that he can afford. Oh, quick and self. Yeah, quick and self. And then you attack closest. So these guys actually are a good thug chassis. If you get them some equipment. Oh, we did all that and he's going to instantly enrage. Shoot. Well, still. It's the respect he deserves. So. But yeah, these guys, you can cloud trapeze in and... These guys will totally thug. Like, give them some kind of AoE weapon and maybe a shield, maybe. And a couple of these guys could definitely take a province. And we have Cloud Trapies, by the way. Like, we could be... Yeah, we could be jumping around if we had the air gems to spare. But I want to get Perpetual Storm up, which is 70 right off the top. And we need to make sure we have enough to cast storms until then. So, not quite yet, but we may start paratrooping in. We also could sneak to a throne and then paratrooper in our mages if we have to, if it becomes that desperate. All right, and over here, we need the big boys. Okay, we're going to get the giant. He's going to twice born himself, and then we're going to attack the throne. How are we doing over here? Are we full yet? We need ten. Ten merfolk. Shift left quick, by the way, queues up 10, if you didn't know that. And I think, I think we're actually ready to start getting some more mages finally. I think we finally dug our way out of the uh, money pit we were in. All right, done, 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 done. Watch, 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 watch. I left him in. I thought I moved him. No, he's going to the cave. He's properly going to the cave. Hopefully because he'll be alone in that province, nobody else will be able to get it. I don't think this thing magically teleports around. I just, I didn't realize that other people were picking it up. On the right unit, this actually wouldn't be terrible either. Alright, dead prophet's power's gone, so we can profitize our new guy. Lost a uh, wounded guy. Alright, wow, look at this. Jeez. All right, start from the top. This should be quick. I don't know if we're going to watch it. Um, no, we win that battle handily. Yep. This is what I like to see. This is what expansion should normally look like <laughs> when we're using these guys. All right, Light Hills. This is throne battle again? Yeah, this is another place that the AI needs some fixing. I don't know why they do this. They... They have certain thrones. We saw this in the Ohm game. That Satis kept throwing, like, units that could never win into the throne fight for some reason. Alright, um... This is them attacking that fort. I'm disappointed. I really wanted this. Oh, they may not actually win this. Maybe we can jump on this. Kill the little guys. The strategy is to kill the little guys. Get them to route. There you go. Can't believe I'm helping. Freaking Muspelime. Alright. 
That's good. That's that's what we wanted out of that one. Okay, Silver World. Okay. This is the uh, new reigning champ. He carries the spirit of Bra with him. Let's see how it goes. He died. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> trouble at the Trouble Bog. Let's see what's going on over there. <laughs> You guys are summoning in bone fiends? Jeez, you guys are getting desperate. Okay, this is us trying to maintain a siege. They were trying to break out from my scout that was here. Uh, I'm not liking all those fire blasts you're doing. If you could just not do that, please. Thank you. Okay, good, good. Our superior troops win the day. Yeah, good bit. I kind of miss the old super duper low res frumpy. Uh, oh, what are those units called? Gajas, 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 whatever they were. Okay, endless caverns. Oh, and I already see a spoiler here that I don't like. All right, this is us trying to take our co onis. Munch. Too bad our, our magic spears didn't get in there. They do a lot. There we go. A lot better at killing those uh, ethereal forms. Okay. And then our hello darkness, my old friend. Pyrene trying to flank us from below. My, my, my. Who would have thought? You have a longbowman underground without low light vision. That's an interesting choice. I'm not even sure Longbow Men could beat Kaloni. I think they'd go Ethereal and you'd never kill them. <laughs> and again, the dogs are just literally too fast. I cannot stay in front of them. I would have to not hold if I'm still holding. Yeah, good snack. Good snack. Right, let's check that because we, we are going to have to have this unit fight. All right, rather than hold and fire closest, we're going to attack closest and see if that fixes our problem. All right, well, I wasn't interested in really making this a hot war, but you attacked the dogs, so I guess I'm going here. We can also make this a choke point. All right, these guys do cause a little bit of unrest, but I... I think I'm okay with that. We'll just get a few of those built up. Okay, da, 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 down here. I think this is us trying to restart a siege. Yeah. Oh wow, we stormed? We have that we stormed. I guess this many mages is just worth the AI figures it's worth doing. I guess I'm okay with that. Every mage we kill is a mage they're not getting back, so... Ooh, fire coming in. Boy, it's a good thing we took them out when we did. We do not appreciate having fire thrown into our expensive units. At all. At all. Stop it. Yeah, there we go. We all had spears, so the fire shield wasn't too painful. What'd we lose on that? Yeah, smattering. Not, not, well, I guess we didn't lose anything, but, you know. We didn't kill that many either. Mostly summons and junk. Alright, Misty Forest gave us some glamour gems. We've started to destroy this fort. Excellent. Uh, we did not start to destroy this fort. Over here, 10. Right, you guys get on that. We just need to keep it under siege. All we got to do is get under siege. So that they cannot. Alright. This group needs to attack there. He's coming up here to, uh, to search. Let's actually up this too. 
All right, what'd we get? Excellent. We got a three death. Perfect, perfect. So he can be our soul vortex if we have to. All right, but he's also going to become our prophet. So he's going to have a couple turns here, getting himself set up. Um, any gear? I don't think, I, I just honestly don't think we have anything interesting um, to give him. We already are pretty much arrow immune. I'm not worried about that. I mean, courage is always nice. We do have a little bit of fire. I don't want to spend those fire gems, though. Um, when we go up Conjuration a little bit higher, we'll be able to summon fire spirits. And then this fire spirit can go out and search for us. Find some more fire. Let's actually take a second. What other rituals do we have ready to go? I haven't really been staying on top of that. All right, we could summon some junk, essentially. Our god can cloud trap. He is another bonus of having having the air on him. Good for coming in and blessing a fight automatically or claiming a throne. Well, not really much there. Let's check the forging. We're up to four earth gems, guys. We're almost to that hammer. We're really close. I can't believe we literally have not found a single earth site. I wouldn't mind giving him a little piece of armor. It's a maybe. The only thing is taking him off of research to do that forging is just so expensive. I mean, he does 60 research. All right, what were you? You were heading to the front because you didn't have to site search anymore. So we just want you to do... Where, where are my skeletons at? Or the skeletons. Three times, and then I don't care what you do. We also have a little bit of water income. Maybe we should forge up a couple rings of water breathing. Let's do that so we can take a little bit of magic underwater with us. Just get that prepped. All right, this guy is our doggo reinforcer. Head down. You, what are you? Scout that got bumped off. Okay, let's actually go find out what's happening with Ternanog. Like we, we actually do need to find out. Actually, we'll do it this way. Okay, uh, air gym delivery guy could move up. Okay. All right, that was a complicated turn, but we actually didn't have a ton of new orders to set. Okay, over here we do need to get we a sorceress. Um, I guess we're still here for a little bit. We'll keep getting giants to go underwater. Our mermen are ready to go. Geth. Bring them on to the capital. If only I can have the amulet and keep the dream alive. Yeah, you can have it, man. That thing, we we lost so many more troops because of that, because we could not properly bless A, and B, we had to spend 20% of our script casting blessing on our main battle mages. That is ridiculously terrible. Ridiculously terrible. That was... That was horrible. That was absolutely horrible. Okay. 
The time you would have made it through a whole game without losing a mage, amulet takes three lives. Well, we were going to have some uh, disease deaths too, but yeah, from combat for sure. Uh, yeah, that, that was just the serendipity of that. I cannot get over. Absolutely cannot get over that. All right. Uh, here, we're going to get some more Ko'oni. All right, let's see. Already kind of gave us spoilers, but we'll check, see how it went. See if the new script helped. It had hardly anything, but we'll still see when they hit. Right here would be the clash. Okay, better. I could probably bring the doggos up slightly. This is one of the reasons to watch your fights pretty intently. Um, getting the timings on those clash. Like, ideally... The round they hit my front, I want these dogs pouring around the side. And so learning the distances and getting the timing right can really be crucial in, in key fights. Especially if you're trying to do cav things or chariot or trample. Well, well, well worth your time. Oh, and there's his capital. So literally all you did all game was sit here and then come up and attack me. Wow. 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 All right, change of plans. Give me one of these guys. Um, we're still going to be here, so I need some of those. I'm going to go retake my land above ground. These morons. Look, look at this. He's got 400 units. This is going to be such a pain in my butt. They're going to they're going to run right through here. I think we pull back to here. I'm going to do some PD dump. I wonder if they would accept a peace treaty. Because if they accepted it right now, I can reach the throne. And that's the only thing I care about down here. And it's the only one. I mean, the worst they can do is kill my messenger, right? Let's see what happens. I would be willing to take that. All right, over here, we're not through the siege. Land's end. What is this? Oh, this is us trying to get on that fort. Yeah, we should be able to get through this pretty easily. Yep. Okay, unexpected vent and cold hollows. Dominion minus two. Sectarian movement. Oh, these assholes. Jeez. Okay. Right there's where they are. Alright, well... What's your patrol strength? Not the best. Not miserable, but not the best. Alright. Let's actually then... I don't know, I don't want to waste money on that. As much as I hate that event. Alright, you patrol. All right. New Prophet. Do a ritual of death. We need to twice born. Now, twice born normally costs 10, but uh, it costs more when you're big. <laughs> so I believe this is going to cost us 30. I hope so, because we only have 40. Okay, no. So it is... Okay, it, it actually told me. I was just being obstinate, not reading. Up. Uh, uh, the, the spell requires more power to affect large beings, and the cost of casting the ritual is increased with the caster's size. Okay, so it didn't give me an exact number, but every size point apart adjusts the price by three death gems. So we're size nine compared to three, so six, so it'd be 18. Yep, 28 gems. That, that math checks out. This way, if he dies, he'll come back as an undead prophet. And that'll be cool. And he won't cost... Well, it still won't cost money. I guess he doesn't now, because he's a prophet. Alright, got giants, got recruitment. Over here. Got some more recruitment. Down here. Um, do we want another merfolk? We gotta do a lot of water expanding. We could scuba up to here and then paratroop in. Well, that might be out of out of range. 
Although maybe not, maybe from here. Yeah, I think I think we do get some more underwater troops. We'll just do like 20 a turn. So we keep our money for other things. Alright, and you guys, back to research. Evo 6 is almost up. We do have some spare air gems. I am going to do a little bit more Alquils. Searching. Just head up to search. We are just scouting. I see uh, Tiranog came and hit Makone again. I don't like that. I really want them to be busy. I do not want them having free reign. That worries me greatly. <laughs> Alright. Let's actually... Okay. Who... Mobiok. Mobiok. Where are you? Mobiok, please stand up. There you are. Okay. Let's come and let's deal with this. Blessing, blessing, blessing. Hold and attack closest. Might as well hold and fire. Alright. Moblock, go clear that out. And then we will have him completely under siege, and he's gonna be done. You are not hiding, you're sieging. What is our siege message? We have started to destroy the gate. It's slow, okay, yeah, we need... We need troops. We need troops. Um, Arton, we need we need bodies, man. Bring on up the troops. And Ariel, you too. Want to get this done? Uh, we also print more casters. I don't think so. We might actually need to send some casters underground, but they have so many troops that a few casters isn't going to change change that. Oh, they declared war on me. Okay, well, there you go. Maybe they'll accept my <laughs> non-aggression anyways. New profit. New profit. Boy, everyone's everyone's having to get new ones. Swimming men. Uh, some Jade Amazons. I mean, I don't hate those. Those are okay units. What would I do with them? Siege Chaff? Yeah, sure. Can I do it here? Yep. Uh, sure. And we can't get the swimming men because we're not underwater yet. We're working on that. He's twice morning this turn. And then we go underwater next turn. Yep. I don't have any cheeky, cheeky rituals I could toss at that, do I? Illusionary Castle, I don't think that does anything. Changing their temperature doesn't do anything. Terracotta army doesn't do much. The spell. Nope. Eyes of God. Nope. Nope. Don't really have anything there. No, let's just double check what people are saying here. Cave Kobold could be useful. Yes, yes, they could. However, we're going to have the perennial issue of we just have no earth gems. We don't have them yet. We just have no earth gems. Uh, we are we are at plus one. I think we're getting it from here now, right? Um, no, it's not from there. Where, where are we getting our plus one? That's not what I want. Um, ba, 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 ba. Why am I suddenly blanking on this? There we go. 
Where are we getting our plus one earth gem? That was F1, by the way. Silver deposit? No. Tar pits? Me? No. I, I don't know where this one's coming from. Yeah, that's gold. That's what I thought. That's astral. We know that. He had High Temple of the Magi over here, and there there is our Earth Gem. Now those might actually be worth recruiting. That would give us an Astral Searcher and some better Fire Axes. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get some of these guys. That's nice. If nothing else, we could use them in communion with our god, because he has some Astral. And we could bump him up for some big stuff. Very cool. I'm surprised. I guess it is a swamp. Swamps usually have better magic sites, so good indies usually too. Alright, let's see what other people have. Wanted to be, yeah. <laughs> uh, Broad says, you really need to check your chat better. Uh, I, I'm trying. Um, some of us just I, I don't have a good screen setup. I really have to like physically turn my head quite a bit to see what's going on there. Um, that's a little bit of it. I'm also just trying to keep things moving along. Um, unfortunately, as as Ohm showed me, I can't do these in two sittings. Hardly anyone watches the second one, so it, it's just not worth the time. It's better to move on to another nation. So, try. I, I trying to do my best. I will try to do better. Um, do the best I can. Cave kobolds cost glamour, not earth. Um, we can double check. In fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk a alt tab here because I do have inspector open, so we can check that quick. Spell cave kobolds. You are correct. It is glamour one, earth one. Costs five gems and it's conjuration four. So let's we can check that on some of our other units. Easy peasy. Screen set back up. Let's see. Um, that still is not an easy path for us. I don't think we have anyone naturally with that. Except for maybe our hero? No. We do not naturally have that on anybody. Because she's not going to get Earth, right? No Earth there. No Earth there. Yeah, our only Earth comes in through this guy. I don't think we get that on our druids. So, no. That would definitely be something... Because we do have Glamour income. So maybe getting a just even a, a point of Glamour on your god. Is it worth the turns here? I don't know. M maybe. Maybe. How many of those do we get? Cave Cobbleds. Five plus, so we do have we do have six glamour, so we would be getting eleven. You know what? That's interesting enough that I'm gonna cast it. I'm not sure that's worth the research because we do so much research, but let's try it. Why not? Not like it's gonna change change the outcome or anything. All right, search the throne. Thrones are also another spot that is really really good for. Finding magic sites. So we've already found one with just a bad search. I'm really hoping we'll find some more. Okay. Just quickly double checking things. All right. So, oh, what? 30, 30 guys. Ah. I want you to just be over. Be over. Stop. It's time to stop. All right, and of course they attack there, you know. How many? 90 units. You need to see this one. Can our doggos take this? Oh geez, dog on dog action too. And that is their god. I'm much more interested in taking that fight now. <laughs> I feel like we would roll these boys. 
Now, I couldn't take that 500 units, but I could take that. I think, I think we try that. I think it's worth a shot. On the off chance that we kill their god, just... That's just too funny. We got some really good chaff here. In fact, that is such good chaff, it can go out front. Yeah, I think we take a shot. I think we take a shot. All right. All right, over here, we've got twice born on our prophet. Okay, he needs to cast Divine Blessing. Then what do we want him to do? Um, he's going to be underwater. I don't feel like anything's going to get to him. So I'm less worried about... You know what? No. We're going to personal mist form. I don't want to feel stupid if I don't do it. And then he dies. We don't want to sort uh, soul vortex when we're around our own troops because we'll kill him. And then I think he gets to do some skeleton spamming. And he'll be able to do quite a bit of that. And then when he goes off script, he can do whatever. Not that we have a choice. These guys are going to hold an attack closest in a line formation. And because we have all those skeletons. Oh, jeez. Right, put him, like, here so the skeletons can get out front. Yes. We're also going to give him... He can he can bring things underwater because he has the water breathing. So we're going to bring a few guys underwater just to have some guards with him. These guys are going to hold an attack closest. And he's not a good enough leader to put them in a line. He's going to stay behind troops. And then we made three water rings. So one, two, three. We're just going to bring a ton of skelly spam, essentially. Not the best thing ever underwater, but it'll, it'll just be extra, extra chaff. We don't know of anything crazy here, so I'm not too worried. And for them, literally just going to be skelly spam. I've already forgotten what all my saved numbers are. <laughs> Alright. We'll just spread those out along the front. Alright, we'll see how that works. I haven't done skelly spamming underwater in six. Oops. So we'll see if that's still effective. I don't think they're not going to get the... They're going to have a penalty because they're not going to be good amphibians. So we'll, we'll see. They'll get the rust too, but... I really don't care because they're gonna they're already dead, so it doesn't matter to me. Alright, we sailed across here so we could scout. Super useful. Let's see about these thrones. Down here, okay, we're making a, a god shot. Trying to get that one. He's gonna go back for more reinforcements. Um My doggo caster is leaving to fight, so we need a new doggo caster. Back to normal sacreds and more Namidians. Okay, under siege, under siege. Okay. Trying to be really precise here. Uh, mistakes are going to be really costly when we've got a nasty war that we're only kind of sort of fighting below ground. want to make sure that we don't oops and let this guy out again. Got all that. We are summoning the cobbles. Alquils. That's what we need to do. Put our alquils on. This is why also I don't know how good I would be in Blitz. I don't I don't do well when I'm trying to rush. When I play a single player, I sit and think for a long time. I check all my movements a second time. Things like that. I'm a slow ponderous player for sure. This is out of my comfort zone to try to play this quickly. I guess it's good practice for if you're going to do some blitzing. Okay. 
double check chat here. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Joshua. Yes, I, I do get easily distracted. I, I try not to go off on too many tangents because even though I have the time on Friday nights, like I, I don't have any other responsibilities. I can sleep in tomorrow. My voice will give out at a certain point. Um, I've already been talking all day at work and then coming home and streaming and trying to keep it moving. Like dead air is bad. It's really bad. People stop watching when you stop talking. So you're, you're really up here doing some uh, showmanship. Oh, <laughs> yes, I did miss that, bro. Sorry. Um, I don't normally do too much on the, the renaming stuff, just because, again, I just try to keep things moving. But, you know, every once in a while it's fun to do. So if I think about it, I will do it. Um, maybe once I have... Let's roll this turn. You're in violation of diplomatic agreements. Did, wait, they accepted that? What, what, am I in, what am I in violation of? Are you sure you want to intern? You are in violation. What, what am I violating? Okay, I'm not, I'm not napped with them. Oops. I am not napped with them. I have Makone. I'm not attacking them somewhere. Am I on accident? You are moving. You're not doing anything. You're not doing anything. You're not doing anything. Let's see. I I honestly don't know what it's claiming I'm in violation of. Unless it's thinking... Yeah, I proposed a pa uh, last term, but they didn't accept it. They accepted, they declared war again somehow. Um, I wish, I wish that message was a little more descriptive. I don't know. That's my territory. That's neutral. Definitely at war with him. I have scouts here, but that's it. Guess he could move, move up. Yeah, it, it feels like that's the case, but I don't... I, I mean, we can check that easily, I suppose. You guys patrol instead of attack? Yeah, it was. Interesting. Huh. I guess because I proposed peace, I'm not allowed to do that? We have to wait for the response, I suppose. It kind of makes sense. Anyways, to, to finish my thought I already left behind, um, at 500 subscribers, you can turn on Super Chats, and you can turn on Super Thanks, which are those kind of corny comments that people can leave on, on your videos. Maybe I'll feel differently when people are giving me money for them and memberships. So that might be a way that I could do renaming without it becoming too obnoxious. Um, it's a personal thing for me, but sometimes it annoys me when you're watching a stream and they spend the entire stream renaming units and I just want to watch you play. So th there's a balance to be found there. And, you know, I'll be the first to admit I'm, I'm very new at this and still learning. So 1%. That, that's the goal. 1% better. So at some point we'll get there. You know, give me 100 times. That'll be not 100% better because that's not how that math works. But you know what I mean. All right. Two months ago we sent a herald to negotiate. Okay, so this was, it was because two turns ago I sent this. So I sent this. Then they declared war on me. And then I get the penalty because they said no. So that's a weird order, order of operations to me, I guess. All right, well, I sorry for you, buddy, because I don't think I don't think you're gonna win that war with me in any any world. All right, the cave kobolds that we were excited about. Let's see how they do. All right, so each one of these guys is five extra resources. 
and we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven for five gems, so 35 resources. That's that's fine. That's a fine one. Now for us, it hurts because it takes our pretender's turn. What does that do for our capital, though? So, like, if we did these boys. Okay, so that's... That's basically one extra sacred or, like, two-thirds of one of these. We still have a lot of recruitment points. So, I do think that's probably worth it. Probably worth it. really wish I had somebody else who could cast that. It would have to be an earth caster and we would have to empower them in glamour. How expensive is that? It would take 50 gems. So it would basically wipe out our current stockpile. What else am I going to cast with glamour gems? I don't think whaling... Does Wailing take? It takes two. I, I am intrigued by that. I'm quite intrigued by that. And we can't empower anyone Earth because we're Earth poor. Although we can make our hammer now. So take your turn yet again. Forge. Cannot forge. Oh, 15. Derp, I knew that. Yeah, go back to researching. Let's do that. I, I am intrigued enough that I think that's interesting. Let's empower. This, okay, so I don't think I've ever done this on stream. So if you don't know about this, you can empower, I think, any commander, but generally you do it with mages in magic paths. Going from zero to one is 50 gems. It's very expensive. It's a little less expensive to go from one to two. Like you can see here, it's only 30. And then the price goes back up as you climb up the field. So it's like buying paths on your pretender. There are certain circumstances, like let's say you have Earth 2 casters and you need an Earth 3, where you might want to do that. Or you're rolling in gems, like I'm really not this game. But, you know, we've had games where I had 200 water gems. Maybe I should have empowered somebody and done something with them. So... We're going to spend 50 of our Glamour Gems here. We're going to make this... Uh, he will be Air 1, Earth 1, Glamour 1. But that will be good enough... I'm just going to double check myself here. To do the Summon Cave Cobbles. Because it's only 1 and 1. I actually, I actually think that's a very good point on that. I think that's worth it. And if you could find any... Glamour gems, like we just got skunked this game. That's not too odious. And that really solves some of the problem in our capital. And we could go up until recruitment cap, essentially. And we'd really struggle to raise that any higher. So, great point on that, bruh. Thank you for pointing that out. Um, I do think that is very valuable. Okay, let's see what else happened, though. We did find some sites. More fire, more, okay, here's a good one. Two air and a nature. Battle in Holy Spirit, okay, so this is a throne battle. Let's see how this goes. Does underwater skeletons still, still uh, work? All right, so yeah, they're poor amphibians, so. They're slow, which we don't care about. But minus one attack, minus two defense. That's pretty rough. Eh, ten's not bad for underwater. That's not the worst thing ever. They will, however, if they have armor. Do we get armored skeletons? Yeah, it'll definitely be rusty. Although, I think most skeletons these days all spawn with rusty armor anyways. All right. See how this goes. So we have kind of a flanking squad over here. I don't like one bit. 
Good thing we did bring the skelly spam because our other guys hit this other squad. Okay, I think I think we have enough bulk in front of us that we're going to be okay. We're now off. What are we? Round five? Yeah, we're off script. We're into self buffing. I should have probably checked if any of these. Yeah, they had some water. I should have probably brought some water gems. Water elementals are just oppressive underwater. Okay, that's getting me a little nervous. These are not particularly great troops or anything. These are those Ur troops. They're underwater ones. Ugh, don't like this. Get away from her. 12 damage. Are you serious? All right, well, they're not going to kill the king, so I'm not particularly worried about that, but that stinks. I did not expect to lose one of those. Wow, and our merfolk are retreating. Mm. Not liking that one bit. Okay, they did kill her. How are you doing? Okay, you're still fatigued out. Man, this is... I did not think this was going to be close. I thought it was going to be, do the skeletons do anything or not, and then the giants come in and wipe them out. But, yeah. I, I have forgotten how bad the damage is on these guys. They're full amphibians, by the way. So they are not in any penalties down here. That one, one attack at just 11 is not impressive. These only have defense 10. So we're not even really at a penalty... Dang. Whew. That'll humble you a little bit. And some naked fish, hairy fishmen almost kill your expensive, like, this is a pricey army we had down here. Yeah. That's why I don't like the meme bless on these guys. I'm just not impressed by them at all. I think the unmarked are better. Definitely better value. These guys don't even get the magic spear either. Oof. Okay, well, uh, anything you can claim a throne from, I suppose. He probably has a fort in the caves. Yeah, he probably does have a fort in the caves, knowing that. Jerk. And this is more than I was expecting here, too. That's probably where these guys are coming from. You're right. They killed my scout down there earlier, if I remember right. So we need to get some fresh eyes. Luckily, Oz going to do some work here. Although we just lost people to boulders, I'm seeing. Uh, man, this has been a rough, rough turn. I, I could not revoke it because it had already been sent. I guess it does simulate the, I send it this turn, you get it next turn, you send your response, I get it the turn after. So it, it does emulate like it's people talking. Like that's how the in-game diplomacy works. Better pretender mod? No, I'm not, I'm not really planning on using any mods. I'm, I'm using that national overview mod because it just lets you see information in game. Um, like I was saying earlier, uh, at some point, maybe I'll get to mods, but I like showing off just the Venera. It's like how I, I like to play generally. Wow, we're gonna lose this. And I feel like it's easier for people to get into. Like, if I start loading up a bunch of mods, a new player, they don't know what's mod, and what's not mod. So I cannot believe we lost that fight. That's embarrassing. We definitely have, yeah, we need to get eyes over there like now, like yesterday. Give me scouts, please. What an embarrassing turn, absolutely embarrassing turn.
Our our champion managed to hold it together. He did not die. He's like the only survivor. Wow. Um, shoot. Do we move off here again? Like we're just bouncing back and forth off this. Are they getting in? We're repairing the walls faster. Okay, I'm going to maintain this siege. We're just going to have to eat it for a couple turns. She also is stealthy, right? Yeah, okay. They're not going to kill her. I'd be doubly annoyed if that happened. Alright, let's search that. Let's get our hairy fishmen who way, way, way punched above their class in that fight. Let's have a moment of silence for our dead Dominion Sorceress. This one's now wearing two water rings for some reason. Alright. Claim the throne. What do we have? Water. Less troops get plus three defense. Not bad. Buff for the doggos. Hydrobancers. Also not terrible. Okay. Um, okay, you go back to the surface and give those rings to somebody else. You construct a lab. Yeah, that's not bad. I like thrones that give you special units or have special effects. Part of the reason why I like the level two thrones over the level ones. The level ones don't do much. And holy fortress. Okay, well, you guys are dug in. Yeah, you're just going to have to, uh, I don't know, preach. Oh, and our, our merfolk scattered to the winds here. That's annoying. Have to pick all those up. Oh, that's really annoying. All right, well, I can't do it this turn. We have other, other priorities. We need... Just 10. There's a hotkey to cancel all these, but I'm not remembering it off the top of my head. And he'll be good to go. So if we want to try maybe a little bit more... I don't know, after that sad performance, I'm a little hesitant. But definitely good to claim this. I think we are going to... Probably fort here so we can get some Hydromancers. I don't know, I'll have to, have to think about that a little bit. I guess we we don't need the fort. We could slow to recruit them. That'd be just fine. Who else? Okay, who else in our game can go underwater? Nobody really. Okay, so I don't have to worry really about defending this too heavily. We'll just yeah. I don't think I need that. Twenty is probably plenty. I think that's safe. All right, so that's two. I'm thinking we we deal with with uh, Pyrene. That's th throne number three. I think I think that's next. So we've got to get done with this fire giant war. We siege this, we finish it, we clear this, we go underground, and then we we stay underground until we clear out the other guy, and then we come back up top for one more throne. Good plan, team. Glad we all had it. I did see somebody said something about cobbled weapon damage. 24 magic, yeah. Yeah. They are also size 2. So if you have some uh, size 4 dudes, you could squeeze one of these in there. Attack 11's it's okay. Dark vision, true sight. They are magic beings, so you have to have somebody who can lead magic beings. Eh, you know, magic weapons are always uh, useful. All right, now these guys, I don't want to actually take them anywhere, so I think we're just going to have them give them to mages to hang out with, essentially. All right, and under here... I don't think we watched... Whoops, I don't think we watched that one. Okay. 
Okay, so this was the fight we were hoping to get. Let's slow this down. Delete cancels all recruitments, uh, Sion says. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I'll have to have to double check that. I'm I'm really actually like actively trying to get better with the hotkeys, uh, just because I could play faster. Uh, I don't I use some of them by reflex and others I don't in single player, but that would definitely help, especially when I'm I'm scripting. That would really speed things up if I wasn't clicking through those menus. Yeah, there's those nets. So yeah, see, this guy got netted. He's down to two defense. So very, very dangerous for us to get netted. Yep, they killed him, of course. Because our, our sacreds are only 10 protection. They're not super heavy. They're just very dodgy. They're hard to hit. And it hurt, their god is here. Mm. I mean, Titan brand dog food? I think it could be a thing. Colonies are still mixed in there a little bit. Still mixed in there a little bit. Yeah, our doggos are size four, so that's perfect. Two dogs and a co-oni in a single square, like right here. So this is perfect. Not the blessing is not, however, perfect. All right, I think we're gonna win this, but even if we lose, I want her to get cursed. That's the goal here, is for her to get cursed. She's enlarged. <laughs> okay, well, she did take the enlarged bless, I guess. Regeneration, recuperation, unaging. So I guess she cast it. Do they have old mages? I, like I said, I haven't played these guys yet. That's interesting you would take uh, unaging. Uh, I might have some ichthyids. I, I should check that. I've been... It's just easy to recruit out of Fortress, but ichthyids are not heavy resources. Oh, wow. We coined her. <laughs> Good job, team. <laughs> they brought this on themselves. I had no interest in this war. I even tried to piece out of it. You guys saw me, right? Like, I totally did not want this. They did this to themselves. Your, your greed was your downfall. You killed our god. This war will not end until every one of your people is dead. Well, good luck with that, buddy. It started to destroy. We need more men. We're repairing faster. Started to destroy. A lot of brigands down here. Okay, so... While that was absolutely hilarious, I still don't think we could take their main force. We have to be careful down here. But that being said, I, I want to take as much land as I can off of them just to get rid of their money. <laughs> um, give me some more of these. Those did quite well for themselves. As much as I like those as commander, the Hedar is going to mess with me. So I think we're taking... Oh, jeez, you are terrible. Okay, maybe we're not taking that. Uh, what do we have on the surface? Not a lot of options is what we have. This guy. Okay, this is our new dog summoner. I wish this was... Uh, 14 plus, that would be nice, although I real that's just getting greedy at this point. I feel like this spell is very good. It's a good national spell. Okay, so this is Ensorcelled Swamp. Are we getting through this wall? This one. Okay, severely damaged. We are making progress. Um, we had talked about siege chaff. Maybe we, maybe we do do that. Okay, give me one scout and one leader. 
Yeah, desperate times. As much as I do not like those units, I, I do feel like we are wasting way too much time sieging. Especially for a giant nation. That's just ridiculous. Okay. Yep, yep. This is them bouncing the throne again. Yep. I guess it's a good thing they're throwing away all those units because they are doing rather well for themselves. Unless, is there another person over here we haven't really seen? Yeah, Ermor's over there. Can't be doing too well, though. Swimming men, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think swimming men are going to be able to take much by themselves. Maybe one of these 20s. They're usually dirt cheap, too, because the price goes down the longer nobody hires them. So we'll throw them 20 gold. They can feed their little spawns at home. The Mighty Pack Ur. I wonder how much seed strength he has. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Let's, uh, let's hire him, too. Sure. Get ourselves an Etten. You know, it's it's when your back is to the wall that you start really coming out with those big brain plays. If you kill the pre uh, pretender, is that message true that it isn't possible to get peace? Um... I've never tried. I don't know, because the diplomacy is new with the AI in 6. Um, if I kill their god, I'm usually planning on killing them. Like, I, I suppose you could bump or something with an awake expander and oops it. But otherwise, I don't know how you would not want to finish what you started, essentially. Alright, we need somebody to come over here and build us a temple down there, I think. It's going to be him. In fact, you can just get your water ring and head straight down. And then we have this guy. And we are going to go to the front with him. Over here, you are the scout. You are heading underground. You are the leader, grabbing some siege chat. I think we're going to grab another turn of those. Hmm. Shark tribe tritons. I really don't think we can kill those. Now you guys do have poison barbs, though. That actually might be enough to take out. Yeah, that actually is a good matchup because they're using daggers. Okay, okay. I'm willing, I'm willing to give it a shot. You miss a hundred percent of the merfolk you don't take a shot at, I guess. All right. So we will have them go in first. We will fill in behind. Hold an attack closest. I guess there's no need to hold. Just get in there. Stay behind troops. Stay behind troops. Just make sure they don't get sniped. Yeah, that's fine. Give me a Hydromancer. We'll grab a couple of those. I wouldn't mind at least a couple to support some underwater expansion with some water elementals would be nice, I suppose. All right. We claim throne with him. We're spending somebody else to do the temple building because I don't want to waste his time. Before you leave, go ahead and search for magic sites. Where is he heading next? I'm thinking it's underground. Yeah, I think I think we're escalating a little down there. What's he have left?
big boys. Yeah, I'm so not impressed with those. Um, that is actually probably a lot of siege strength. Yeah, I think I think he's gonna go support sieges. You want to go through here? <sighs> How much am I gonna regret this? More than I think I'm willing to pay. I don't think we're doing that. I, I, I think I know how that story ends. Okay, there's Ermor finally. Um, I think we're going to be stopped here. We're not going to have the siege power to get in and into either of these. All right, so we're going to dig our heels in here kind of deeply. We with like 30. And hopefully we can just keep them busy for a minute. All I need is just a minute. I also could probably... I still want to get some infrastructure down here, but... I don't know, maybe, maybe we're far enough in the game that that's no longer really relevant. Alright, stay behind troops. Hold attack, closest. Way in the rear. Let's get another round of those boys, and then we'll head up. Yeah, let's, let's invest some more resources down below. I think we're going to send Skelly Spammers down there. Let's not send her. She's pretty high. She might be our Wailing Wind caster. But these other two... Head on down. Alright, this guy... We're not going to be able to span this forever, but we can do every couple turns. The cave cobbles, and we'll do enough that we can spend all of our recruitment points when we have a good turn. A lot of money. You are picking up reinforcements. Yeah, go gather up those mermen for me, would you? Oh, the sappers. Yeah, that would be a good one, too. That's another thing. I, I probably should spend a little more time each turn uh, checking in on these. Sylphs. I'm just broke this turn. We haven't really been expanding our money base, but we have been increasing our costs, so it's catching up to us. Okay, good. We're in on this one. All right. You can move out. You don't need to be here anymore. I think I better double check scripting on this. This feels very iffy to me. Alright, yeah, I got a blob of somebody. I think that's some of those reinforcements I brought up. There he is. Oh, and he can't even do formations. All right, well, you guys are going to be the arrow catchers anyways, I suppose. Uh, fire. Closest. Try to catch a lot of arrows, please. Who else? Oh, wow, this guy's... There's another guy that's just lost so many... So many afflictions from that disease. One HP. One HP. Fingar, Moog, look at these guys, just absolutely, they refuse to die. They refuse to die until they see the threat of the fire giants ended. Meadran, also, absolute champions, absolute champions. Alright, storm that. 
double check here. We won that fight. Defense minus 10, Astral Pearls. I do need to fix that. Where's that defense minus 10? This one. As much as I can, I suppose. Okay. Whew. Getting long turns here. Uh, we might get there, Joshua. I, I honestly thought... I thought this war was over. I thought we were on easy street. <laughs> I thought that about 10 turns ago. <laughs> All right. Construction. Okay, we need one more so we can get some air boosters so we can get perpetual storm rolling. All right. Let's see if we held. Yes, we will hold against that. Don't kill my doggos. Man, these militia are tr complete trash. That's another thing that's hard to look at a nation if you've never played them, is their PD. Like, TNT early age, at least, has a surprisingly good PD, and it's excellent at one, because you get a commander in a chariot. I think it's a noble chariot, who tramples. So he, he kills a lot. And if you add crappy PD to him, he ends up routing or staying behind them. So you really just want him by himself so he can go trample some dudes. It's kind of funny the way it works. Alright, well, this was okay. Didn't didn't lose anything there. Alright, this is us attempting to take some uh, Shark Tribe Tritons. See how stabby this gets. I'm hoping the Coral Barbs. So we're looking for a lot of poison if those are working. I think those do poison, don't they? Or is that just damage? Yeah, poison. Okay, so, so far, okay, a little bit, that's on me, not them. Yeah, that's them stabbing. They have two coral attacks and a bite. Look at that attack density, that's crazy. Nine attacks per uh, square. That's why those guys are so painful. Oh, and just in case, they berserk too. Yeah. Don't mess with the shark tribe. Yeah, there's the poison kicking in finally. All right, better than expected, frankly. That's good. And battle, okay, so this is our siege. I think, yeah, they got nothing. No matter how many dudes are going to squish with their stones on the way in. More than I'd like, I think. Way more than I would like. All right. What, what were the death tolls? 16. All right, well, at least at least what died were the cheap units. So we have that going for us. All right. Finally. Finally done with that one. Next up, we relieve there. And then we take here, here, and then down below. All right. But we can go get sieging. Uh, do I want more? I think that's enough. We can go over there and start... Whoop, not you, though. Go get Siegen with that crew. One, two, three, four. Man. Ugh, it's going to take forever. All right. He's moving up. Probably do that one next. Down here. Get to ten. Um, I mean, it really hurt, but we won. Take that on. Uh, we had a question. Yeah, we do have some ichthyids here. They do have the nets, which I like. How many can we... Oh, we only have two resources here. One. <laughs> no. It's because we have 
we have three forts all pulling resources out of that square. All right. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. You cannot afford any at the moment. You're going to go build recruits, sorceress. Okay, I think I'm going to put those on repeat. I think that's going to probably be the recruit orders there for the rest of the game. All right, you are going to go help siege. I think I still want to. I really want this war to end so that we can move on. She's searching. She can go back to the surface. He's searching. Picking up Merman. Did her search. Okay. Here's finally a scout down here. We need to go see what he's up to. And we're going to... Invest a little more. Man, it's getting expensive. I really just want to hold out here, though. Especially if they're willing to throw troops just to die on me. I'd much prefer that than fighting up here, where I don't have anything to counter that. Right, and help is on the way. All right, you... Let's transfer your troops. And you can go back for more. Craig says, I ran into Pangea early, and they sneaked through my northern border to a throne. I cleared five provinces of theirs, including the throne, and was able to get peace, but I didn't run into their pretender. Yeah, it does seem like they're willing to take peace. Uh, I just don't know specifically if you get that message of we will not stop until you're dead. Yeah, still alive, I think, is the, the theme of those boys. All right, let's see what happened here. All right, they breaking out on the surface. And we hold. Probably not. Okay, next one. Also us on the surface. They hired, they hired these. Our loss, I suppose. Oof. Oof. They got their 350 gold out of those. Okay, another ocean battle. I'm expecting this to go relatively well. Okay, down below. All right, we're just kind of throwing kitchen sink at me at this point. That corrosive spit's going to cause a lot of attrition on us. It's area of effect, so it should bypass our um, aw, too. Good. Okay, good. What do we lose there? Okay. Every life is precious to this group because we don't have a lot of reinforcements coming. Alright. Relieving the siege on the enemy previous enemy's capital. Okay. Worldwide event, cold. Need more men, need more men. We killed patrol. Enos, the Namidian sorceress, died from a disease. The first of several deaths coming in the very near future. Sad times. Sad times. Okay. 
you guys here next. Just pop these forts one after another quick. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're down below. Okay. Okay. Do think we need to also start getting some more druids because we're we're having some attrition. We just need to re uh, refill the ranks a bit. All right, you also can go down below. Okay, Skully Spam will definitely help down there. All right, you are supposed to build a temple, but I got no money left this turn. So do a search and then we'll do it next turn. Searching here. You're done there. We're up to, we're up to three earth, earth gems, guys. Next turn we can build the hammer. Little disappointed. I, I honestly thought we were going to have plenty of earth gems and I would be able to earth boot and I would be able to hammer super early. Riches from beneath. Good times. Prosperity. was not to be. Not to be. Okay. Da, 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 da. Yep. One mercenary. Okay, that's going to be our underwater boys. I think there's enough of them left that if we can afford... Yeah, they're so cheap. Have seven. <laughs> there you go, guys. Ooh, a couple of big battles going on here. Starting When you get to late game and you get those bigger, bigger battles and more and more spells, sometimes it, it chugs a little bit. Okay, we are hit... We got up to the construction five, so let's look at air boosters. And our Evo. We're at six for perpetual storms. We also can Wrathful Sky now. And we're going higher because we're looking for Wailing Winds. Okay. Okay, we found a site. Ooh, lots of sites. More earth gems. Yes, finally. That's what got us up to three. Oh, thank goodness. Move on down there. You guys are up. What's your deal? No idea, but come on in, boys. Uh, why don't you guys just head to that siege? You are going to build a temple. I might actually fork that. I don't know. I don't know how much of this we're going to actually clear. And like I said, I don't think they're going to be able to get to us here. I'm much more concerned about this. Right, we are going to need, instead of her, a leader. Super annoying. Okay. Uh, over here. Now, over here, we probably should stop getting... Oh, no. I guess spears are fine. I was going to say, we don't want any more axemen. The javelins will actually be useful again. I think these guys are going to have to go defend us. Um, such that they are tried to just stem this bleeding for a few turns. Just just let me finish the fire uh, giants off. That's all we wanted from this stream. We just wanted our fire giant revenge. Um, let's see. Another throne we could sail to. Deer. Okay, that's not a bad one either. We might be able to do that. Okay. 
and she is already set correctly, so you can move on up. Double check for you. I think every turn they're just gonna throw units into us. Hopefully we can just bleed them dry. Hmm. I think we lost some stuff that time. Hey, they seem to have a lot of earth income if they're summoning all these things. Maybe, uh, maybe this war is not such a bad idea after all. We didn't, we only lost militia. Perfect. Unexpected Lorbo. Okay. Sorry, destroy, unharmed. Okay, so we're working on this one, but we have a bunch of reinforcements coming to help. Okay. I guess we'll search while we're here. No reason not to. I think we're going to hold that. Okay, so they have land here, but it does not look like they have a fort. Which is good. So our main force is going to end up down here somewhere. Probably this one. We'll have to sweep through here, and then we'll go in this way from the other side. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I'm trying to keep that moving for people here. Must be getting late. People are getting tired. Haven't had the chance to play any Glamour Nations. Uh, do you battle? No, this is the first one I've really played that has any significant glamour. Um, yeah, it just by happen chance haven't. Um, I do like it again, like with the air spells. I, I do feel like the changes were were fine. Uh, it's interesting to have a whole new path. And air glamour was always kind of an oddity for some nations. Like, yeah, it didn't make sense. It'll be interesting to see how that affects some of the other nations. Losing out on some of those now glamour spells that they did not get to keep. We found a site. Nice, some death gems. More doggos. More doggos. Okay, battle. Where's this one? Okay, up top, yeah. Oh, these guys are going to be a problem. These are going to destroy that unit I'm sending up here. I don't have a good answer to that. Okay, and this is water. This I, this might be the end of underwater expansion. They have a mage. Yep. Blap, blap, blap. Even a water elemental just to throw it in our faces. All right, we had a good run down there. Uh, rituals are cheaper. Interesting. Not sure if it's useful. We are starving due to lack of supplies. Oh boy. And we're still not getting trouble bog. We have started to destroy. Oh man. Okay, can we forge anything that will help us with that? You require nature magic three. Okay, you you help only need one, okay. How much do you cost? Five. How many of those can I pump out in a turn? One. <laughs> we have one nature mage. Alright. Well, get started. Wow, I can't believe we don't have any more. Alright, and I am 99% sure I overrode. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's the nature one. Cast spell, air, lightning bolts. Alright. Yeah, these are not going to help against these guys up here because the things up here are all lightning-based, but they could go down below. Keep reinforcing down there. 
Right up here, we recruited a leader. Yep. Here. We do have lightning resist on these guys. So maybe that's maybe that's our play actually. Cast specific spell. Okay, he needs to be safe because he's gonna get jumped on. So if we get one spell. I think it's just got to be Blessing, because that gets us more Lightning. That is our Lightning Resist. You guys are going to hold an attack closest. That actually may have saved our bacon, the fact that we had a few of these guys sitting here. Oh, we have to go around, though. Ugh. All right. I don't want these guys to fight that. They're just going to die. I'm going to hope to catch them right here. Hopefully they don't fly over. Okay. Over here. Just to finish scouting this out. Ermor did not do particularly well for itself either. Turn to Nog really ran away with the game up there. Luckily they're still throwing random uh, attacks into that throne pointlessly. I guess that works out in our favor at least. Okay, and patrols all up there. You're gonna come in. All right, we are almost done searching with her. She could go home and make a thistle mace, and then we can start doing some actual um, supply items with her. I hope we find some decent stuff in those swamps. All that effort we put in down there. All right, you head home, water mage. Head up top, because we're going to need you. In fact, search here first. We're going to need you to find us some gems. So we can water elemental spam. He can actually do that. So you come that way. We need to actually get on these thrones and see what's what. Oof. Hopefully I can wrap this up in about the next hour. Um, I actually thought this was going to be a short one this week. Did not think we would still be in our original war after this long. Okay, this is the shock boys. This is exactly where we wanted them to go. Alright. Give us time to bless. <laughs> we need that lightning resist. Every guy that gets blessed gets to live. Every guy who doesn't dies. I have a feeling that's how this is going to go. Yeah. Every, everyone who got blessed gets to live. And we're just going to slowly whittle them down. If only our unmarked had golden spears. That would also make them much better. They've at least positioned themselves in a way that we can't retreat without killing them. So hopefully we win. How are you feeling back here, buddy? We're all 11. Wow. <laughs> Are we going to time out? Round 35 already? We're slowly losing guys. Round 42. Oh, our leadership retreated. We can't retreat because uh, they're in the way. So we'll fight to the death, but our stats are going to be super nerfed. Ouch. If I had gotten everyone blessed, I, we might have been able to do that. We lost several guys on the initial hit. Dang. I, I wish I had paid 350 gold for that. I'm going to have to remember that. The one with the sylphs is one that you want to hire for sure. Alright, come down here. You search. You actually should move up. 
Okay, we're in. We're starving, but we're in. I don't think we have to be too elegant about this one. Back at home. Oh, where are you? You. In fact, give up your quill, please, because you're going to be doing some nature crafting for a little while. Bag of wine. You. Get us our hammer. All right, you searched. Now you can come above. You are going to take that out. Okay, we've drained out most of their guys from this fort. Do we get cheeky and try to move up onto the fort? I'm worried that that's just going to let them spill past. That's my big, big worry. I think we just maintain status quo here. Let's, since we're digging in a little bit anyways, let's drop a temple. See if we can push back his dominion. Put your water ring away. What are you scripted to do? Well, now you're scripted to fight. Down below. Oh, that's, that is a little frustrating on that guy. I was really hoping that that was going to take them out, having that shock resist on there. We just didn't quite have the oomph. We couldn't kill them. They're probably sitting on enough money to keep rehiring him, too. We need to watch when he comes up and just buy him out from under him. Two turns. Two turns. Okay. Trolling. Alright, roll that turn. I heard Tyrannog is a dirty nap breaker. Oh, I hope not. They have all the thrones over there. Maybe that's why they're so intent on that one. They know if they take that one, they can grab the other three real quick. Nothing we could do about it. Alright. See what we got. This is us attacking, trying to cut off their income if nothing else. Costly, but I think we'll win this. Yeah. Furbogs are pretty decent troops. Okay, they attacked us down here. Oh, did I miss Sapper again, really? Getting tired, making more sloppy mistakes, sorry. It is quite late here at this point. Doggos for the win, man. Absolute champions. I need to ferry that next group of them down here. I, literally, this is probably saving our game, are these dogs. They're so good down there that they just can't break through. Okay, this is the death squad again. They're killing the ichthyids, nothing I can do about that. Okay, I take the neutral. Walls are severely damaged. Good, good, good. All right. Everybody move up here, including you. All right, double checking the mercenaries. Okay, we can bid on the Windlord. Um, we can bid on warriors. And... Of course, then again, maybe maybe we do need the warriors. We could use them to cap some more land here. We're just going to instantly lose this again. Maybe we PD dump this a little bit. You guys take that. Over here, we bid on the jades quite a bit. And then we need to hire this guy out from underneath him. I think we'll do it here. He probably is sitting on a mountain of gold. So we're going to pay way too much for this. 
go like 650. No, we're gonna go 700. Way more than that's worth. But I have nothing to counter. So, worth, worth its weight in gold, I suppose. Alright, you attack that. Let's try to keep our land so we can keep our recruitment up. Alright, mages come up and reinforce there. Double check, is our... You made the hammer. Um, we need a king to make an air booster. Because our god only has two air. What could we do? I also see that we have a free quill. You have a lab, you do have a lab. Okay, you... Endless wine. We're just going to get all of our big guys drunk. Drunk as we can. And... Yeah, I think we're still going to keep making those for now. Until I can get the broth moving, I think we're going to keep making those. Uh, you need to search for sites, but that's probably too dangerous for a turn, so just chill. You, forge, we have anything... Okay, we could get the storm spool. With that, we could start popping out some um, corpse constructs. I would like to do that. Do I need him to build it, though? No. Somebody else could. I don't think I want to nerf our magic resist on our main dude. Okay, astral booster, yes. Cost Earth Gems. No. We have 10, though. We could do it. Um, we need Earth Boots. I think we get the Earth Boots first. He has so much work to do. I actually didn't realize when I, when I created him. I thought he had, like, 30 research. I didn't realize it was, like, 60. So he is just so ridiculously good at researching... It's actually kind of painful to take him off of it. Okay, search there. We're almost done with our site searching. I think... I think... She searches this turn, searches that one, and then I think she's done. I think we need her to be doing other things. Okay, we got our bids in. We checked the fights that were relevant. Yeah. Make sure you put in most of the fun that they say. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Those guys are good. I need to I need to actually play them. Um, I think they're cool. I like the duality of the that like you want to be cold, but you also have these hot units, so you want to be attacking with the hot units and defending with the cold units. I think it's cool. And they definitely seem to work. I mean, they have basically trash blesses, and we struggled. We, we were struggle bussing those guys. So, I think with a... And, and probably just a cheap bless, like, region would probably be enough for those guys. Or maybe just enchanted blood and then something else. Or maybe just enchanted blood and really high domain. So you can... Or dominion, so you can get quite a few of them. Alright, as much as I love watching these trash fights, you are taking up a lot of my time. I love the dog swarm. Man, I wish we had those Abyssian PDs here instead of the junk that we have. I'm not losing too much. And I think... We just continue our trend of just adding a little bit more PC each turn. Okay, we are dark. What what made us dark? Found a fairy circle. That's glamour. Okay, we we definitely could use the glamour gems. Okay, another battle. Wait. Were we expecting? We were not expecting that. Oh my goodness. These these guys. These guys here. Alright. Radarahi. 
Where are you, Radarahi? Radarahi. You. Go take care of that, please. Soon. Soon we will be done with them. Forge magic item. More booze. You. Put on your cool new boots. Do we not have no more? I guess we don't. Okay. I was thinking about doing some remote earth searching with him, but I guess we're out of earth anyways. Sadly. Alright, anything else that we particularly want? I mean, there's tons of stuff I want. Anything else I can afford, I guess, is a better question. Storm Spool, but he's not going to be the one to do it. Yeah, wind bag. That's no, that's temp gems. Winged helmet. That's what we need. So we need an air four king to be able to craft that. All right, take the hammer back to there. You are back to researching. Where is our cobbled guy? We have enough for some cobbleds again. And then we need just an air guy. Doesn't really matter who. You get the hammer, forge me, storm school. We'll start summoning up some uh, corpses. We'll probably get a couple storm spools and we'll go really heavy into that. That would solve some of our problems that are going on too. All right. Um, did we literally not win that? Are you kidding me? How much money did they spend? Oh my goodness. We bid 700 on the Wind Lord. Okay, well. Can't, can't argue with that, I suppose. Man, that is annoying. Um, what else could we do? Skelly Spam won't beat that. We just need a better Sacred Fight, basically. Our normal dudes would get it's chomped alive. We would just be throwing money away, I think, if we did that. Okay, I don't really feel like we're going to get betrayed, but I do think we'll keep some scouts down here. Alright, Barbarians, Ghouls, and Long Dead. We could take that. We could also sail there. So you get to stay here in this wonderful land. And here we have Militia, Long Dead, Wervens, Archers, Heavy Infantry. We could take that, but that would be much more difficult to get to. We'll check that one. Still didn't find out why it's dark outside. Is it this one? Nope. And we have Eyes of God present, but nothing nothing else. We claim a weird throne? Nope. Although I see that I have lost my claim on my other throne. I did not realize that. That means we need... Uh, you. Need to take care of that, please. Here. Search there. All right, I see chat moving. Uh, vengeance is yeah, vengeance is vengeance. We we know we can do it. You know we didn't we didn't fall off the bike and refuse to get back on it. We got right back on there and and bloody as we were, we took it. Yeah, they keep they keep hopping up out of the out of underground so we're maybe maybe this relief force i'm sending here can go down and just put an end to that i don't think they have major recruitment must giants with shock resist region and heroism oh yeah that, that is gross 
Heroism is another really good one. I was shocked how good that was on my Oni when we played Yomi. Yeah, world event. Okay, keep moving here. Uh, I have a diplomatic message. Ermor. Um, yeah, yeah, we cool. We cool. We got no problems with the Ermorians. You know, I hear that you're getting into that death stuff. I know a thing or two about that death stuff. We should talk. DM me. Nothing ever goes wrong when you play around with death magic, by the way. Don't worry about it. All right, more cobbles, more cobbles, more cobbles. Our new king does have the four air. Excellent. Okay. You, hammer, to the new guy. Back to research. New guy. Forge. Winged helmet. Air magic plus one. Please. You are supporting troops who are sieging. We are into the fortification. You, what is your set? Okay, gotta be careful here. I gotta I probably need to actually fix these guys. I don't want to lose things that are expensive. Furbogs, you take the damage. You guys move back. He's gonna go claim that. I'm not expecting there to be much resistance left. I think we've pretty much stomped it. All right, and you. Attack underground. Attack underground. And I'll be here. Contains only one unit. The local defense is quite well organized. Okay. I look forward to stamping you out. Throw in another 10. <laughs> that's way too much PD there. <laughs> but it's holding. And that's all we need to do is hold. And now we have the mages arrived, so excellent. Let's get them properly placed. All right, I feel like that's pretty much set. Unless they have something absolutely crazy, like that lightning guy. That's where he should have sent his lightning guy he's got. Forget about raiding me with it, he should have been down there. All right, um, yeah, I'm desperate enough that I'm gonna keep searching with the Earth guy, but I think her, I think that's her final search. All right, um, do we need another king? I don't think so. I think it's gonna be sorcery. Well. Let's get some leadership, then we'll get sorceresses. Man, messed up all my resources. What a jerk. Wait. Um, research. Okay. Um, I don't remember the exact paths. What do we need to do? I think it starts with wind. No, not water. It's air. Corpse Man Construction. One and one is all we need. Alright. You get the Storm Spool. Cast Ritual Spell. Air. Monthly. It only costs one. We'll see how many we get. Um, there's another item we can get that will boost it more. We'll see if it's worth it or if that's good enough. If that's good enough, we'll probably... Well, I don't know. These other ones have pretty good paths. I probably want them in combat. Yeah, I probably want those in combat. Uh, bruh, I'm pretty committed to finishing tonight. I, I'm, I'm, 
I'm running out of steam, but I'd like to get it done. Like I said, it's just, it's frankly just not worth doing two streams, so I think we're going to do it. I, we're, we're actually really close, right? Like, I don't feel like we have more than a couple big battles left, and hopefully we can ninja this with a sail. We'll see, I suppose. So maybe that is a reason that we want a couple more kings, but not quite yet. We also can break one of our NAPs to get to another throne if we have to. We'll basically race there, claim the throne for the win, before they can unthrone us from anything. You killed our god. I'm surprised you had your god back. How, how would we even know? You're so weak and pitiful. Alright, this is our underground. Yeah, bye-bye bat people. Yeah, we have magic spears, man. None of that junk you're doing matters. Okay. Okay, reclaiming our territory. Uh, do we try? One turn left. One turn left. We need to bid on him this turn. Okay. And we're going to assume that we win that bid. Assuming that we win that bid, where would we want him? We're going to dump a lot of money because this is a major thorn in my side. Maybe we just do the same thing to them and just use them to clear this way. So we would recruit them here. We are going to pay incredibly too much for this. Okay. We're going to offer you. We're going to offer you. I can only go 10 at a time. <laughs> we, we're going to offer you 1,200 gold. To knock it off. And Wolfkin Reavers. Sure. More just because I don't want them to have them. I have never, ever attempted to pay that much for a mercenary group. That is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Alright, did they have a lab here? No, of course not. You're poor. Alright. Everyone down. Including you. And actually, nobody sneak. Everyone attack down there. Okay, we're reclaiming that throne. We're retaking that. We've got that. Man, it would be nice if one of those thrones had landed here. And we could have sailed it. We need the eyes on this. More than we need eyes on that. It's looking like this might be the one. It's a lot of units there, though. And hopefully I can reach that. That does look a little iffy. Maybe we have to go to this one. 710 units? Hold on a minute. <laughs> Change position, Scout. As funny as it is watching Tyrion Nog, like, ram its head into that over and over again. Okay, this looks much more doable. We could definitely sail this one. Okay, so what we really need is a buildup of troops. It's going to be absolutely crazy. Okay, you, put your hammer away, put on your magic helmet, and now screw the entire world. It is now perpetual storm time. And then that way we can A, test to see if it works underground, and B, we can stop paying for storms, and we can storm power immediately into big storm spells. That will be very, very nice. And you get some more cave cobbles. I'm getting there. Still got plenty of recruitment points, so. We will keep recruiting the cobbles until that changes. All right, we got this one. We're landing here with our other army. No, we're landing here with our other army. Interesting. All right, well, 
Attack there then. Yeah, we are, we are coming for you. It's not, it didn't have to go down this way. It really, really didn't. All right. She gets the hammer. She forges. We need a thistle mace. Thistle mace. You are, are searching. All right, I'm going to check chat. Make sure I'm not missing something crazy here. I mean, you can't make it through. Just take notes of the time where you fall off. Pick it up tomorrow when it's uploaded. Um, I don't normally download the stream. It actually is just saved directly onto YouTube. Uh, when I tried to do an edit from that save, it messed things up really badly. So I try to do it in one take. Um, my poor computer would die if it had to process eight hours of video. I don't think it would survive. Uh, this is just a normal difficulty, Mr. Slam. Um, the, the difficulty slider basically just gives them more resources. It doesn't make it any smarter. Um, that being said, this is way better normal AI than it used to be. I used to kick it up a notch or two in five. Um, I will probably get to the point that I'll start kicking it up here, but I don't know. This is good enough. With, with my IQ handicap while streaming, this seems to be about right for me right now. Uh, Nomura says, never played for Moria, just figured the Giants would uh, be the go-to thing. Yeah, they're really disappointing, the, the big ones at least. The Unmarked are less disappointing, but yeah, they're just, the troop ones are not there. They're just not there. Uh, it's all about, all about the commanders and the Formorian kings. Another cult. Okay, well, we don't have time to deal with that at the moment. A warlock had been caught red-handed. His virgin followers were now kept in your dungeon. No comment. And we're under siege, yeah, by those air elementals. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, the, the Numidians are so good. So good. I wish those were our sacreds. Or they were recruit anywhere. The doggos truly are the MVP. That has been the biggest surprise out of this stream tonight. I am i probably won't come back and revisit Formoria for quite a long time, but somebody should play a game with a, a better bless for them just to see what they can do. All right, we got our throne back. We summoned cobbles. We did get our perpetual storm off. <laughs> nice. All right, um... Yeah, I think he gets to just chill here. He'll attack the throne later on. We did our corpse summoning. Okay, let's see what we got here. All right, so with just the spool, we ended up with six of these guys for one air gem. One air gem. So it does take mage turns, so that is a downside. But these guys have overcharged, so if they get hit by... Electric damage. No, when the unit is struck, they discharge the electricity and it can stun people. It's actually pretty good. That's a pretty good one. And they, they have 25 HP, so they can take a couple hits, although they're going to get hit. So definitely good. Um, I really wish we had a cheaper mage that could spam that out, though. It's always going to have to be the sorceresses that do that. That's unfortunate. Okay. To that end, I do think... Oh, no. Are we still... Are you done with that? Yes. No, because you're going to use it to... You're going to dual wield, and then you're going to make us some broth. Just in case we have that issue again. Then we'll make a couple more storm spools, and we'll really kick the Corpse Man uh, production into gear. You are Mr. Cobbled. More ritual, more cave cobbleds. All right, we got our throne here. We need to be able to get to that other throne. Okay, we'll go this way. He can pick up the doggos on the way. Speaking of doggos, I don't think we're actually summoning like we should be. 
So all of you guys... Docks. We're going to take another whole swarm down there. Did we seriously not win that bid? Oh my goodness, they put more than 1,200 gold into that. How much money are they sitting on? They don't even have that much territory. I am shocked, frankly. All right, well, it is what it is. I think we're going to go down here and we're going to try to recruit other people. So we will try these guys. We will try these guys. We're just going to kind of do the same thing to them, but I don't think we're going to get nearly as lucky as how good the Windlord is. All right, we have arrived below Earth. I also think we have finished off... Yep. In gone. More like you're gone. The god of Mesphaheim has been permanently vanquished. At the end, he did not rule a single province and has nowhere to return to. Good riddance. Good riddance. All right, can't do anything about that. We bumped him out here. That was his last spot. Uh, 50 of those doggos? That actually is going to be a hard fight, but I think we'll try it. Alright, then down here... Yep, move up to there, move up to here. Um, does Perpetual Storm say anything about underground? I do kind of need to know that. Okay, it's... An enormous storm will rage constantly over the entire world. This will reduce the income of all land provinces. Supplies are scarce, as transportation is difficult, and sailing and flying is impossible. All mountain passes are unusable during the perpetual storm, and shoot, shooting in battle is very difficult. Evocations cast on different, distant provinces might fail, as the magical gale pushes it, projectiles out of their trajectory. All battles are affected by storm. Income, minus 20%. Map move, increased by 2. Far attack spells such as fires from afar have a 25% chance to miss. Seeking arrows have a bigger chance. Underwater and caves are not affected. Okay, so I do not get my storm benefit down here. So I do need to keep storm scripted. And now that I say that, let me double check storm itself. That we can use that underground. Uh, where are you, Mr. Storm? Okay, that does not say that we can't use it underground. So we just can't rely on our perpetual down here. All right, everyone move up. We, we doing this. That's so annoying that he's just keeping that locked down. Oh, they built a fort up here too? Ugh. What are you guys? Can you even do this? Oh, Vedi. Probably can't do this. Alright, well, you're gonna die. Tr well, no, actually, actually, come over here and get rid of this new cult before, before that escalates. We saw where that that went last time. Okay, the other thing I need to know. Okay, it says I can't sail. Does it actually mean I can't sail? Yes, it does. Okay, so we need to turn off Perpetual Storm when we're ready to sail, if, if we do do that. Figures that I finally get Perpetual Storm up right when we're done with our surface battles. That's annoying. We might betray T and Chi. That may be our move. We'll see. We're not there yet. Don't get ahead of ourselves. All right, moving up there. We held here. Uh, up top, we are going to go back and pick up the doggos we're summoning. I think we're pretty good. Uh, da -da -da. Some chat moving on here. See what we got. 
Have I done a Satis playthrough yet? No, not not on camera, not on stream. Satis is another pretty cool one. I, I really like nations that make it through all three eras. And Middle Age Satis especially is pretty cool. I, I like uh, what they do. <laughs> yeah, sorry, bro. I'm, I'm feeling it too here, man. Okay, I'm going to try to stay relatively focused because I want to push through and get this done. So glad people are still enjoying it. Uh, if you haven't, please hit that like button. It definitely helps uh, the stream gain some more visibility. And I'm, I'm glad that people are enjoying it. So I hope to share it with more people. All right. Let's find out what happened over here. Hopefully this is going to be pretty fast pop forts and he's not sitting with a million units inside of them. That doesn't even need to be watched. Yeah. <laughs> we did bounce off of those troops. That's that doesn't really shock me. All right, you have to go home and get some more troops. Okay. What about that you have to siege this probably for a turn or two. The walls are critically damaged. Okay, good, good. Throne of Misfortune is spreading. Gross. Lightning from a malicious pretender god striking your troops. Hmm. Interesting. Tirnanog is running Wrath of God. Why would that hit me? Is that his dominion over here? I don't have any troops there. I have scouts. I can't believe that the AI even got up global enchantments. That was pretty rare in the past. Even Wrath of God. That's a pretty good one. Alright. You guys, patrol that out. Just be sad about this, I suppose. I don't know what else to do about that one. All right, you. Get these guys stay behind troops. Hold and fire closest. What are we going to do with these guys? I think we're also going to patrol with them. I really don't want another event kicking off. Especially when I'm trying to beeline an ending here. This also might be a throw. Maybe we have to turn off Perpetual Storm. Make a run for that. Oh, what is there? Oh, we hired this guy. Nice, nice. What did we all get? Nothing too spectacular, but they didn't get him. And that's the key. That's what I care about, is they didn't get him. We might even be able to make a play for this throne here. The prophet arrives. He has the extra doggos, and we attack this. Then him and that group go this way. And this group sieges that one. Maybe that's how this shakes out. I really only want the throne. I don't care about this other stuff, but I'm going to have to take it because they're never going to leave it alone. Wait a minute. That wasn't a god, was it? I don't think so. I think that's just one of their normal commanders. All right, she made some broth. Let's make a couple, and then we'll call it good. Anything else we could do here? What do you got? Another four. We got some big casters coming in. That's good. We're going to need quite a few of these guys to, if we are going to sail, because they can only bring so many people. I think they have to be in their leadership, so. Grab one of those. Those, those. Where is Mr. Cobbled? Keep them coming. Uh, what were you doing? You were dog summoning. Uh, we got enough. We got enough. Give me more puppers. All right, let's roll it. Whew. Okay, staying quick. Staying quick. Reve revenge achieved, indeed. I'm I'm glad we beat them. No matter what happens, we have the moral victory. Um, I could, but I, I'm kind of wanting to keep an eye on this, because we are researching towards... In fact, I think we even have it. Our... 
Wailing Winds. In fact, we should probably get a caster down there set up to do that. Now that I'm looking at that. Who do we have here? Do we have somebody who can cast that? No, we need to bring in one of the heavier, heavier rolled ones. Let's look at... Okay, you... Are you literally the only Glamour 3 I've rolled all game? That's a bit ikes. Alright, you and you... More puppers. You... Forge... Is it Dreamstone? No, that's the research item. What is their booster? Don't remember off the top of my head. We may not have it yet. Not that one. Yeah, it might be might be even higher. Broth. Dream school. That's the temp gems. Uh, that wouldn't be terrible, but I, I'm okay with that spending. All right, if we were gonna cast Wailing Winds. Two gems, three gems to boost, and a fourth gem to cut down the cost. And that's basically all she would be able to do. Okay. Yeah, uh, let's get her equipped and ready to go on that one. So she's probably going to need eight for two casts, I would assume. Cast. Wailing Winds, Conservative Gym Use, and then you can cast if you if you wake up at some point and are feeling it. We also could use that for a cheeky throne fight. What's down here? We could probably spook those guys off with that. We could probably spook those guys. I might need to think about that a little bit. Let's get some more battle mages started. I'm actually surprised we ended up with as few forts as we did. Um, normally, I, I like to build lots and lots of infrastructure, but we just got in that early war so early. No pun intended. Okay, I'm, I'm going to have you wait, and we will make a decision when our profit gets here. Our profit could sail. Our god could cloud trap these over there. And I can't, I can't bring her along on a sail, right? Yeah, she goes the other direction. Okay. So she can't cloud trapeze because she's not high enough. Okay, we give her the air helmet and she's high enough to cloud trapeze. So we could do that. Okay, okay, it's coming together. It's coming together. It might, it might be go, it might be go time here, guys. Or dang, dang close. Okay, so we have these guys sail into here with our our god. Our god teleports in there too. We win that fight, claim throne. At the same time, Prophet and Doggos take this throne. Two thrones, same turn, we win. Okay, what, what could go wrong? Our god dies. Okay, we lose our blessing. Do we really care? I guess the dogs become way worse. So that, that would really hurt on the dogs. Yeah, I think we can do that. We just need to get into positions. We just need enough bodies to give Wailing Winds the time it needs to work. We can keep the Perpetual Storm... Can we cloud trapeze with perpetual storm? I need to know that like for sure. I literally don't have any mages over here. Alright, well, we will get a new mage 
and we will cloud trapeze him and see what happens. I want to make sure that's working because I guess we could cast, I guess either way. We could also try to super combatant it. We could cloud trapeze in a a king if we can cloud trapeze. We could soul vortex. So we've got some options here. We've got some options. I don't have to make a decision this turn. And I want to test cloud trapeze before I set anything up. I will check in with chat here once I roll this turn. We'll see. We'll see if they're calling me crazy or a genius. Could go either way. I guess I spent all those extra mages I had down here to hold this point. I really feel like we could take this, but I don't want to do it till my prophet's here to claim. All right, we're in here. All of you guys, Storm Castle. All right, I think she has made enough broth. Um, she's another one that could do some good stuff for us. Now, for now, just just research, I think. And you got beaten up down below. So you're coming back here for reinforcements. Over here. Double check I didn't miss something here. Lots of summons, lots of magic. We're under siege. Yeah, that's stupid. That's stupid mercenary group. I so regret not changing up my orders and getting that unit. Alright. Let's roll that turn. One mercenary contract will expire. Uh, I don't want that. I think you guys are the only ones I actually have at the moment. All right. Yes, we want to have them again, and we're going to make another stupid bid on this. They, I assume the AI has to blind bid this too. He can't see what I'm actually bidding. So I wonder how much he's throwing down each time. We're going to, we're going to up it again. I've got more money than I can spend at the moment. That's not my issue. And this, this unit is my issue <laughs> quite strongly. Okay, 1,400 gold to get the heck out of my way. Alright, let's roll that and see what people are saying here. Just rush the dogs and go underground while your main expands on top. Equals uh, broken game. Revenge achieved. <laughs> yeah, it's that last throne I'm worried about. And it's not so much the throne, it's the fact that I need to hold the one down underground while we get the other throne. Because these guys are never going to stop, and I don't want to spend the time to, to do a whole war. I want to just take what I want. <laughs> when you re pull to see if you re-roll as soon as you see the uh, new nation. <laughs> yeah, I've... Um... I've learned some things about that nation. I, I honestly thought that was going to be like a five turn war. And I was so, so wrong. I was so wrong. <laughs> I, I honestly thought, I hope this stream doesn't end too quickly. Uh, if we didn't have that reroll last time with Ur, that would have been like a four hour stream. All right. We don't need to see this. I thought that was a siege fight. This is the siege fight. All right. Did you have anything in here? No. Still getting that lightning. Don't like that. Okay, that's still annoying, as it has been. All right, profit time. All the good boys. All the good boys. Uh, actually, no. Let's actually keep some bodyguards on him. 
he is actually really important to our plans right now. Alright, you guys, double line it. Actually, no, give me a normal line. And hold an attack closest. Look, this is gonna be so stupid. <laughs> this is gonna be hilarious. You guys hold an attack rearmost. I almost wonder if I shouldn't just have my god walk down one turn, two turns, three turns, four turns. One turn, two, uh, we're not going to get through here. We're going to stall out with this army. We're starting to get really thin on the troops. All right, let's, let's take a second here. What can we recruit? Anything? Yeah, okay. Let's take a couple turns and just get some bodies. While we do that... Are you serious? You got the lycanthrope amulet back. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. We were free of it. Oh, there's another reason this whole thing went sideways was this dumb amulet. Oh my god, it is a cursed item. I didn't believe. I didn't believe, but but here it is again. All right, we're going to infrastructure up here. We're going to grab some bodies because we're kind of stalled out with this group. I think we're going to make a play here and we're going to do it via our god. Our god's going to walk down there. And he can claim the throne. He can bless all the doggos. Oh, I can't leave un lead undead. Ugh. Eh, awkward. Okay, she can lead them. No, she can't, because she's going to crowd trap these somewhere else. She can lead them. Right, I'm not crazy here. Yeah. Okay, you and you go underground. For our god, all right, we are looking to not die. So if you don't want to die, Mistform is pretty good. We already got protection from arrows via the item we're wearing. Uh, what else is good to not die? Uh, personal iron skin is pretty good to not die. Where are you? Temper Flesh is also pretty good. All right, we can do Curse of Stones. Yes. We could buff our doggos. We could Iron Bane. Okay, I think we're going to Iron Bane. So we'll do a couple defensive spells. We'll Earth Blood. No, we'll up. Well, Earth Power first. Then we will Personal Mist Form. They're not really doing range things, so I don't need to worry about that particularly. Well, Iron Skin. Yeah. I think, well, Phoenix Power will was still on script. No. I think we're going to Iron Bane. I do feel like that's probably worth doing. He also could be... Okay, he can Wailing Winds. Okay, that change... No, nope. Okay. Change of plans, change of plans. Everyone, everyone chill out. Chill out. Chill out. He's going to Wailing Winds. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And he, he is... Master of his domains, he gets to just splurge a little bit. Whatever he wants, I don't care. He can cast it. Alright, summon summon Earth Power, Mist Form, and then Wailing Winds. That's we're we're set there. I do think No, that'll be fine. Um somebody else though that's going with him, like her, should bring us some spare gems. So do not use those, please. Alright, 
He goes down there that gets us Wailing Winds. She can Cloud Trap. He's assuming it works. We have a guinea pig here. Hello, friend. I need you to Cloud Trapeze. I mean, there's no reason to kill him, right? Just to here. Okay. And over here, we're not recruiting one. So if uh, Suthan makes it, he will be the hero of our nation. All right. All of you guys. Wait. Did we actually win? We won that stupid unit! Excellent! Finally! Finally! Alright, cast spells. I don't care what you cast. Hold an attack rear. Alright, well you are going on the offensive, because we've seen that you are unkillable, apparently. And you guys can patrol. I completely even forgot about this idiot. We are never letting this out of our control, ever. Don't let me forget to bid on them every turn. Bid on this too. I'm gonna throw around our cash. Splash our cash all over this. Okay. God plus sorceress comes down here. We wailing winds, we've got some doggos. Our god will be here so everyone will actually be blessed for once. Take the throne and we'll just hold the throne with this force. While we wait, sure, we'll grab a few of these. This force needs a couple turns to rebuild. I don't know if they're going to get to do anything else. Back on the surface, we have this throne. We could airdrop in. We could just cloud trapeze in our entire, like, super combatant line. We just need to pick the throne that we think is most likely to actually be takeable by doing that. That is a pretty beefy throne. Let's check this one again. Also, what is the range of our cloud trapeze? I don't remember that. Five provinces. Okay, so... Starting from here, one, two, three, four, five. All right, these are both in range. If we didn't want to do those, let's say we wanted to, what else could we take? One, two, three, four, five. We could reach this one. Barbarians, ghouls, and long dead. Um, we're not really particularly set up to kill those, so that wouldn't be too good. I feel like I'd rather have the bajillion animals. And I think we could win win via those. Alright. So, it all comes down to Suthan. Everyone, uh, if you have anything to say to him, now might be the time. You know, he, he may or may not make it in this storm. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if that scattershot effect is going to actually apply or not. All right, um, all of you people, uh, patrol, but preach if you can. Still recruiting, yes. Um, okay, we're not leaving this turn, so we can still do some more doggos. We have enough for one cast. You can do... Corpse Man, you're doing Corpse Man. You're going to move more course man. Lots and lots of fodder. If we do decide to sail rather than teleport, we're going to want the fodder. I guess that is a uh, that is a point though. If we if we are going to teleport away, well, cloud trap is away. I'm not going to be able to take these troops. So these troops would be better spent down below. I guess we have to see if Cloud Trapeze works or not. And let's see. You still gonna summon some more cave cobbles. You guys can all research. Alright, see what people are saying here.
<laughs> you don't even need to change the name. It's perfect. Yeah, yeah. It is. It is cursed. Um. Yeah, I think for Mori it'd be fine. I don't think it would be the easiest, um, but not the hardest either. In all honesty, I think the nation you're interested in is the best starter nation. Maybe barring like pop kills, those probably would be too much for a new player. But just get in there and play. I mean, that's how you learn. Play it until you get it, and it'll it'll make more and more sense the more you play. All right. Um, a bunch of things happened. All right, Suthan, did you make it? Suthan is alive. Suthan is alive. All for my area. All for Moria rejoices in the news that he landed safely. I think Operation Airdrop is a go. It's just a matter of this target or this target. We will scout it next turn and find out. That means we have a, a surplus of doggos. Let us get a leader and he can head down. Probably going to need multiple leaders. He can head down underground with the extra doggos. We are, this is going to be a, a pretty crazy, uh, <laughs> this is going to be crazy. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, research over here, buddy. Good job. I'm glad you made it. Welcome, welcome to the team. All right, you can just go to research. You can't research because there's no lab. All right, well, you can build a lab. All right. Uh, something happened here. What what happened over here? Sneaking enemy. Okay, that wasn't what I thought it was. And we attacked here. We're not going to be able to take the fort with this guy, but we can just move on. In fact, actually, let's go kill those horses. All right, down here, our god is moving into position. All right, well, this, this escalated quickly. <laughs> That's all I have to say about this. When you have lots of magic, you definitely have way more strategic options. All right, let's roll that. The only thing is we have to make sure that our prophet does not die. If he dies, that's going to stink. We'll have to walk back above ground with our god to tr cloud trap these over there. Yeah, he attacked us here. All right, well, it's fine. My whole goal with this unit is just you don't get it. Yep, I have to bid. Much money. We are we are poor. <laughs> we should be able to put more than that into that. Is that literally all you'll take? No, okay, just a misclick. I wish I could up this by hundreds each turn. Or have a, a place I could suicide this guy in there to get rid of it, so nobody can have it. Alright. Please, please, please do not let him get taken by somebody else. Just do not- or, or anyone except for who I'm fighting. I don't care. Alright, this looks way better target. We Cloud Trapeze in, next turn we claim it. And victory. So we want to do that the same turn our god attacks. So one more turn of waiting. You guys move up. Up top. We are... It doesn't really matter for troops because we're not going to be able to, to bring them with us. So you are actually better. Any of you guys need to move closer. One, two, three, four... I think you're in range. Okay. Okay. This is either going to be genius or madness, and I don't know which it's going to be. I'm kind of excited. Get, gave myself a little second wind uh, of energy here. Right, this also could be a target. Um, one, two, three. Uh, cavalry. That's also pretty easy. So we really could go for either one. That one or this one. We have non-aggression packs with all the people that would be involved. All 
I'm kind of feeling this one for some reason. It does have cataphracts, though. Maybe this is the safer bet. I always am worried when it looks this easy. I'm always expecting like five glamour mages with 20 gems each. It makes me very nervous. All right, wait, 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 preach, preach, preach. All right, we will be in position next turn. Yeah, I have to get that mercenary to a throne, though. I, I don't have a way to teleport him. Uh, if I lose the bid and somebody else gets him, I could bid him back somewhere, but I can't change where he's at once I've hired him already. All right. And we did lose him. Wow. Oh, and they got him back. No! Don't make this be the thing that makes us lose. Oh, man, I hate it. I hate it so much. Okay, let's get this set up here. We got to make sure that this goes well. Um, you guys are just chilling here. All right, we got the doggos. We don't have to worry about blessing. That's the first thing. So find the people who are doing a bunch of blessing. You don't need to do that, our God's here. Never fear, for Morian Sun is here. You can just advance and cast spells. Doggos, you do dog things. All right, our god. Now we haven't seen them like show up with any flyy things or anything. So I think we're gonna be fine here. Corpse man, you guys can be out front for death death duty. Get like over here, maybe. Okay, we've got lots of hordes of skeletons coming out. Lots and lots of skeletons coming out. What is here? These guys, I'm not even sure if the shades are going to care about Wailing Winds, but that's all right. If we have to defend against these guys, Wailing Winds will be good. All right, everybody move up. We're going for it. One last double check here. Maybe I should have brought a king down here to do a storm. I was originally thinking that these guys were going to be able to make it, but I, I don't think we're going to struggle. I think we're going to cut through this. How many magic? Yeah, we are a little light on that. I think we're going to be okay. I think we're all right. All right. That's the easy one, though. This is going to be the harder one. So, all of you guys. Yeah, we can use that script. So, script number two. This is going to be rather hard. I'm going to have to be able to set everyone up without actually being able to see everyone in the same place like I normally do. Because we're going to teleport in, essentially. All right. Uh, whoops. All of you guys. Cast Ritual. Cloud Trapeze. To here. Okay. Okay. Over here, you, 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 you. All right. So Castile is the one that we really don't want to die. So these other guys can be more aggressive. And we're going to do that, I think, via some self buffing, some soul vortex, and charging in.
Nope, 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 nope. Oh no. Ah, right, so. They don't have to worry about blessing themselves. He'll take care of that. We're gonna go... Personal mist form. Oh, we could even invulnerability if we wanted. How much you cost? Let me double check their stats. You don't have anything that's giving you invulnerability, right? No. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. All right. Well, invulnerability. And then we will Soul Vortex. Let's check that. 10 fatigue, 20 fatigue. So we'll be at like thir 29, 30. And then this will take us high, but then we will start regening it as soon as we hit combat. We attack, closest. Anything else we would want. We have to be really careful here that we don't fatigue ourselves out too badly. I think that's it. Let's make that script three. You get three. You get three. You get two. You're gonna wailing winds. You really need to be in the back. Like really, really. I gotta be really careful. I don't want to soul vortex myself. Oh man, I'm gonna feel like a genius if this works after an eight hour stream. And if it doesn't work, I'm gonna bang my head into my desk. All right, let's check this. This is our prophet. So he's going to do divine blessing, so everyone's good to go. He does personal mist form. I don't think he skelly spams in this situation. Air elementals? I'm feeling air elementals. We're going to have Perpetual Storm up. Yeah. So he needs air gems. And the answer to how many is yes. Not you. You. Okay, so we Divine Blessing. We Mist Form. We Summon the Storm Power. In fact, I need to double check that. Those other guys, those other guys are not Storm Powering. They need to be. And then we summon full-size elementals. Okay. You guys, I do not have the right script for you, do I? Oh no, you have storm power. Okay, you're cool. But we can actually do this better. Because we have perpetual storm, we might as well start with that. There's no reason not to. And that will make our mist form cheaper. And then our lightning bolts. Yeah. All right, so this is the new three. Three, 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 three. I know there was one of you guys here. Three. Our uh, hero, our hero, national hero gets a three. I see you went back to researching. I better double check everyone else. You are gonna cloud trap these into there. You're all cloud crap using. You guys are not. I love this new uh, graphic, by the way. It doesn't matter too much for this fight because we're all doing the same thing, but that would be so, so useful in other games. All right. Do we have anyone else who can come with us? And the answer is no. To all of you guys, ritual spell. We didn't make it to, uh. No, we did not make it to Dance of the Morganas. That's such a deep spell. You almost have to beeline that one if you want it. Alright. Cloud Trapeze. Here. Air. It's hard to do this when they, uh, have different paths. So it moves where your spells are. Oh, 
All right, so we're gonna have three Soul Vortex Formorian Kings. We're gonna have Wailing Winds, and we're gonna have about six Lightning Bolt Casters who when they go off script might choose to Thunder uh, if it's really thick. We're gonna Divine Bless them, so they'll be blessed. And then we're gonna spam uh, Elementals. I think that's fine. All right, let's see what chat says before I hit E and doom myself here. It's magically good. Take control of some pushing that coin. Well, Mr. Shadler, I hate to tell you, even if we win, we're not going to be able to change our destiny. There is no middle age for Moria, unfortunately. Remind you of my mercenary. Okay, let's double check the mercenary. Bids. Okay, we have no bids here. We lost that one. Black Fists, we could bid on them. Wizard, we could bid on them. Okay, okay. Uh, do, do Throne can do the job. Makoni, yeah, I agree. Makoni is another good one. I think they have strong enough troops to stand with just troop play, but they have interesting magic and some other mechanics that are going on too. All right, let's do this, guys. This this could be turn before victory. Here we go. We want to see big, long turn here because that means that our fight lasts. Okay, that was a really long one. Maybe not that long. <laughs> I think I saw round 91 there. Whoa, man, there are some big fights going on in this world. All right, a lot of cloud trappies happened. Okay, we know that. All right, this is the throne by Makone. Let's see what happened. Are we geniuses or are we fools? Okay, we have one guy out of position. Or maybe he's just so brave he wanted to be closer so he could be more accurate. Okay. Wailing Winds is up. Okay, our summon storm power is good. I'm noticing that we don't get the perpetual storm icon up here. I swear in five we used to get that to let us know that we were in a storm. But it is working. All right, our guy's a little too close here, so he's gonna get zapped probably for one. All right, kings are moving forward. The cowards are already running from wailing winds. All that scripting for nothing on this one. But I'm okay with that. What we wanted here was the victory, not the combat. Although that would have been really cool. <laughs> that was that was some pretty pretty heavy stuff there. All right, well, we're not going to watch that. They literally ran because they heard some spooky spooky wind. Like the cowards they are. All right. Um, victim of assassination attempt. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, excuse me? The Sacred Assassins? Boy, you take a shot at the king, you better not miss. Yeah, that's what I thought. Gave me a limp, though? No, he got the limp. Get out of here, kid. Come back when you're 12 feet tall. You're also trying to assassinate me? The heck? They were assassinating the throne leaders. That's why they ran so easy. Because they had killed off all the leadership through assassinations. Okay, that... I'm a little more impressed, AI. I'm a little more impressed. Not, not with this casting AI at the moment. But the fact that you were assassinating the throne... This is probably the combat that went 91 rounds, because he's never going to chop through those. Hopefully she tires out and doesn't cast more. 
How are you doing? Okay, getting a little tired. So I was cheated out of my epic throne fight by cowardly assassins. I cannot believe that. That two different factions were assassinating there. I have never seen the AI do that. Ever. Alright, come on here. Do we win this or do we lose this one? Please tell me you're not the prophet. Okay, good. I think we lose that one. No, we managed to win. Okay. Okay. Now, down here. I don't remember the name of the prophet, so we're gonna have to watch both of these. Okay, it's not this one. Okay. Some garbage fights some garbage. That's what we need to know for that fight. Alright, this must be the throne. No, this is not the throne. Underspring. This is the throne. Okay. Nobody snuck. That's good. So everyone's here. Okay. Some iffy units, but I feel like we're going to hit them with our magic spears, and that's exactly what we want. Yep, goodbye. Your ethereal means nothing. I have a golden spear. Uh, throw some imps. I don't think imps are going to cut it for us. Wailing winds comes up. Uh, I don't know how well this comes across on stream, but there's like some little like gusts of wind. That's like the graphic of the squares getting affected. It's not going to do much to those guys in the front, but these guys in the back will start getting morale hits. In fact, we can already see some of the leadership already routed off. We're not even getting out the uh, false horrors either, which would make this even stronger because we'd have a really high fear unit on the field. Okay, the front line is holding up better for them than I thought it would. We've lost some of our spears, unfortunately. Move forward. All right, everything seems okay. And they route. Doggos eat them up. Good job, doggos. Um, unexpected. Don't care. All right. Oh, geez. All right. Well, here's that cult event. Uh, they summoned the horror. So that happened. Um, thanks, guys. All right. So I was just talking about the spell false horror. Basically, it summons in pretend ones of these type of things. So horrors are horrifying. They're like some Cthulhu cosmic threat. Like, these are like could-kill-your-god level things. And, like, they just don't stop. Once you start having horror problems, it just never ends. Like me pushing that button and looking at bushes. Yeah, this thing is going to just absolutely, yeah, instantly route. Just instantly route one of our guys. Fear 15... We're just out of here. We're done. It's teleporting around. Yeah. That is bad news bears. So, yeah, that province is gone. Not going back to that. All right. Over here, you claim throne. Everyone else patrol. Hopefully we do not get assassinated. That would be ridiculous. Down here, you... Claim throne. Everyone else, patrol. Add in way too much PD. We should probably do that up top, too. Add in way too much PD. And I think we just roll the turn, because that should be victory. Just double checking. One, two. Yep. We have a lot of cult activity in this game. That was another thing that slowed us down. All right, let's see it. Show me the victory. I feel like I feel like we earned this one tonight, guys. I honestly thought this was going to be an easy stream. Like I can't even blame anything particular other than just giants being giants, I suppose.
we claim the outer throne. We claim the throne of bureaucracy. Man, how'd you like to be doomed to eternity of that? And there is the victory. Woo! Man, <laughs> that is a 8 hour, 15 minute stream and almost all of that gameplay. <laughs> that was intense. I'm, I'm glad we had a cool finish on that one fight because I'm very disappointed with that first throne fight. Um, that's really cool though. I, I never thought the AI would think to do assassinations to take a throne. Um, I need to try that. I didn't even think about that. For some of these really easy thrones that have like five sorcerers guarding it, you could totally throw like 10 assassins at that, clear out all the leadership, and then just literally walk in and claim the throne. So props to the AI on that one. That is a, a shock. That is a shock that they were doing that. We even got done before Bra's phone was below 40%. Man, what a fast stream today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the congratulations, guys. Thank you. Um, I hope this was exciting for the people who stayed. Um, I had a lot of fun. Um, for more as a fun nation, the dogs have absolutely intrigued me. That's going to plague my, my thoughts when it comes to Dominions because I need to move on to other things and... All I can think about is those good boys, and they're they're amazing. Um, let's 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 take one more look at the good boys. Um, let's actually look at one down below because they should have their dark power. And have you noticed we really haven't even had that much attrition? These guys had no buffs. The only thing they had was blessing most of the time, not even all the time. Oh, these are all super experienced ones. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, so an experienced doggo, 19 attack when he's underground, 16 defense, 20 strength, and he'd have uh, awe if he was blessed. That is just bonkers. These guys are so good. Their only real downfall, I would say, is that they only have one attack, and... By using up your death gems here, you're not using Morganas. So, and I guess you're not making death boosters or death research items. But in this case, I think the bar guys are where it's at. I'm super impressed with these guys. Um, yeah, I think doing some hold and attack rear shenanigans could also be super good with them. I'm, I'm quite like these. And the fact that they're stealthy and so fast. You could give some boots to your generic um, Namidian commander. And you could zip around with a very nasty little unit here to do some raiding. And that would not be constrained by your capital production. Because all that would require is some death gems. Uh, if you made the boots, those gems. And then one cap turn to make a, a leader. So quite cool on these guys okay unlike last week i'm not gonna hang around and chat i'm gonna go have my voice completely be shot tomorrow and i'm gonna sleep uh i hope this was entertaining for everyone um i had a lot of fun with this one uh, next week should be arcus of um i have the video recorded i just need to edit it so i'm expecting that to be out on time on monday um should be pretty good. I'm going to... I have the Nation Overview mod running. So we'll be able to look at that a little better, I think, than having to jump out of game into Mod Inspector. So tell me what you think about that one. Uh, if you're still hanging out and you haven't hit like, please do that for me. And if for some weird reason you're not subscribed, please do. I'm trying to hit my 500 goal here. Um, I am months ahead of schedule. I thought it was going to be August to hit 500. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it, guys. I'm I'm so happy to share uh, a game I'm passionate about with other people who are passionate about it. It makes the fun tenfold. Tenfold. All right. Take care. Don't do anything that the doggo wouldn't do. And start thinking about Arca Cephali and uh, get excited for that. We're going to have some human vengeance. Uh, all these giants have been stealing the show for far too long. All right. And with that, the wheel will have to turn again. Have a good evening. I will see you guys for the stream next Friday. Take care.